Hello everybody and welcome to the stream. You may be wondering why we're starting on the just chatting screen. It's because I just wanted to show off this beautiful asset before most of it's cut out and taken away in the full gameplay stream. Um, but yeah, Peppy made this version of school Leonhardt's jacket with the fur around the collar. And it's apparently three confidants wrapped around my neck, acting like the fur around my collar. <laughs> the one in front, obviously having the same scar and hair as Squall. So I just thought this was amazing. Um, there's a link to it in the description of the video. They also said they used Sukumi's reference when Sukumi was drawing a rough outline for a Gunblade asset. So yeah, I just think it's so adorable, especially with the little sheep face. Oh my god. So yeah. As you will see when we go to the full gameplay stream, it gets mostly cut off. You can see the fur. It, you can't even see the jacket. So <laughs> it looks less like a school Leonhardt asset and more just like I've got some extra fur around my neck. So I just wanted to show it in full version before we moved on to the actual game. But good morning, everybody. Today, we are going to be playing Final Fantasy VIII. One of my favorite games of all time. One of the most interesting stories in a Final Fantasy game I've ever played and also has one of my favorite characters of all time in the form of Squall Leonhardt. The overly tuny, emo, angst-filled, crazy sexy man of my dreams when I was like 13. I think even younger when it first came out. <laughs> but he basically influenced my whole childhood tuny angst phase. So, I also still have this sleeping Lionheart pendant, <laughs> which is on the screen right now. I actually have three of those, two of them in the normal way and one of them in like more of a tribal kind of redesign. <laughs> but with that said, I've obviously played this game before many times. I know many of the secrets, so please do not backseat me. Um, that's a pretty normal thing for our streams in general, not to backseat people. Uh, but yes, there may be some times that I want to do secrets and there may be some times that I just want to play the damn game. So don't try to backseat me. Don't try to be like, oh, you need to do this thing first. I'm going to do all the extra things that I want to do. But otherwise, we're just going to be having fun, vibing, playing the game. You may find that I do like dumb shit, like just sit in a battle for ages and draw a ton of magic and just turn it into a Zatsudan for like half an hour. Depending on if we need certain magic and stuff like that. So just, yeah. 100% <laughs> avoid spoilers. Do not sack beat. It's not going to end well for you. You're going to get timed out and banned if you try to do it too many times. Otherwise, welcome. This is one of my favorite games of all time. I've loved it for since it came out. So I think more than 20 years now. God, that's crazy to think about. <laughs> but yeah, sit back, enjoy yourself. Today will probably be a pretty long stream. Um, so get comfortable, get some food, get some drinks, relax for a bit. And we're going to dive in now. Oh yeah, we're playing the remastered version on Switch. <laughs> so there are a bunch of things that are very useful in this game, especially when it comes to like the grindy moments, like the three times speed, basically an in-game frame skip kind of thing. And you can also break the game by getting battle boosts like HP, ATP and limit break whenever you want or no random battles. We're not going to use the ba battle boosts. We may use the row random battles if we have to, we probably won't have to too much. We're definitely going to use the three times speed when we're doing things like drawing magic or otherwise grinding. Let's do this! So excited. I haven't played this game in like... Five years, I think. Whenever the remastered came out, I played it for a little bit. I love this intro song. So evil opera. Enjoy this, like, FMV. <laughs> when this first came out, like, 20 years ago, oh my god, it was so beautiful at the time. And especially some of the cutscenes that they have in this where you can actually move your character during them. Luzak. Bring on the fight, man. Show me my boy school going in on safer. Still beautiful now, though. It's less beautiful for the time, but it's still awesome looking. 
but I love that transition. And the gun blade has to be one of the silliest but most fucking awesome things anyone has ever invented. There we go, the boy! Adea looks kind of badass, too. Never liked her when I was younger, but I've grown to appreciate her as I've gotten older. <laughs> Same for Safer. I never liked Safer as a kid. But now I get what they were going for. The whole teenage rivalry thing. He's so smug about everything. The only other trained Gunblade wielder. Get wrecked, Scrub! Pussy. Absolute pussy. <laughs> Banger BGM. You're gonna find it. Pretty much every song in this soundtrack is amazing. Ah, oh, fuck yeah. The matching scars. So good. Such a good opera sound, man. Is this more tuny than Dante? It's it's more tuny than Dante. <laughs> oh man. Honestly, I thought his design was interesting, but I was annoyed with him. I never liked Safer when I first like played this game way back when. But nowadays I get the idea of the rivalry and like the characterization he gets as he grows. But yeah, we're officially in the game now. God, I love that opening. The way it transitions from the beautiful Rhinoa shots to just boom. School and safer fighting to the death. It's so good. Bum, bum, bum. Dr. Kadawaki. How are you feeling? My forehead hurts. No kidding. I like the upgraded models as well. They look a bit more Dissidia. He's still got the old outfit, but man, that hair just looks freaking awesome. <laughs> looks like your eyes are focusing. You should be fine. Say your name for me. I think we'll just stick with school. <laughs> There's no point in changing it. Feels so nostalgic. I know, right? It's crazy how long it's been since this came out. Why don't you take it easy in training? Next time you might not be so lucky. Tell that to Safer. That's Safer. Won't listen to anyone. Why don't you ignore him? <laughs> it's a bit hard to ignore him when he just tried to cut my head open. <laughs> I can't just run away. You want to be cool, huh? Well, don't get hurt in the process. Let's see. Your instructor is... Quistis. I'll call her now. Just wait here a moment. Back to sleep we go. <laughs> that cropped fur back jacket. I want it so bad. It's so nice. Yeah, the really short bomber jacket. And... Quistis? Come get your student. Yo, that's straight up like a come get your man kind of moment. <laughs> yes, yes. His injury's not serious. It'll probably leave a scar. Right. Now please come by. Well, at least they didn't damage his eye, I guess. The scar's actually perfectly placed to look amazing. Squall. So we meet again. ha. <laughs> Man's just so badass, he doesn't even question it. He's just like, well, that's a random person just chilling by my bed. Quistus is fine as fuck, though. She got the whole librarian look. The really angled glasses. <laughs> the ponytail. God damn. <laughs> I knew it'd be either you or safer. <laughs> I mean... Got to be one or the other. They're just trying to kill each other all day, every day. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Today's the field exam. Hey, get out of hospital bed. How dare you? We've got a class to attend. Squall, is there something on your mind? This is one of the things I really like. Like in the middle of dialogue, you just get to walk along. Not really. Not really. 
What's so funny? Funny? No, no, it's not that. I'm just happy. Feel like I'm beginning to understand my student a little, that's all. I'm more complex than you think. Then tell me. Tell me more about yourself. Nope. Too much of a badass. It's none of your business. <laughs> she can read him like a book, though. Well played. <laughs> and again, same for this point. You get to walk along while the thing's happening. FMV cuts in and we can still hear school walking by. Welcome to Balam Garden. A military school. Fun times. Children being trained to murder each other. Good morning, class. Let's start with today's schedule. There seem to have been some rumors flying around since yesterday. Oh, this music's a bit loud, too. Back down it goes. <laughs> Goddamn. It's a great soundtrack, but whoa. Yes, the field exam for seed candidates will begin later this afternoon. Those not participating and those who failed last week's written test are to remain here in study hall. Field exam participants will have free time until the exam. Just be sure you're in top condition. Meet in the hall at 1600 hours. I'll announce the team assignments there. Any questions? Oh, and safer? Do not injure your training partner while training. <laughs> Be careful from now on. I fucking love that. <laughs> Just the immediate, hey. Stop trying to murder your fellow student, bruh. And his response. <laughs> safe is just as bad as school when it comes to the tuny. It's just Safer lives his life this way on purpose. School thinks he's just like genuinely being a decent person by keeping to himself. Safer, on the other hand, he knows he's a badass. <laughs> Field exam participants, I'll see you all later. And Squall, I need to talk to you. <laughs> I love you can tell the main characters just by the one who don't bother wearing the goddamn uniform. Squall is more handsome, he's got tuny privilege. True. You can access your computer. I forget if there's anything useful in this. Let's see. Turn on the power and... Yeah, I don't really need any of this. <laughs> it's good world building though They're not seeds yet either though Oh True I guess they haven't passed the exam Oh fuck I did the wrong thing I barely read that I'm done <laughs> But yeah I guess they haven't gotten the uniform yet The other students are just better Because you know They were busy murdering each other I love this BGM Me too It's so relaxing It's iconic Goodbye fan group you haven't been to the fire cavern yet, have you? You won't be able to take part in today's seed exam if you don't pass the prerequisite. I was gonna go this morning, but safer. Hmm? Do you have a good excuse? Not really. And let's get going. If you're not too confident yet, you can review your studies at the study panel. I'll be waiting at the front gate, so come down when you're ready. You can access the study panel from your seat. Been there, done that. So angsty? Yeah, pretty much every response out of his mouth is either a dot, 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 or a whatever. <laughs> I'm... I'm so jealous. Maybe I should take up that subject too. Should anything happen to Instructor Trape, the Treppies will get you back. Yeah, she has her own fan club, as she should. <laughs> Alone with Instructor Trape? Man. Okay, incels, get out of my way. It's not my fault she doesn't like you. They're the Swifties of FFA. They're just making their Oshi clear. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. Go ahead. I'm just gonna go full score on this one. I'm not gonna ask. There. Sorry, I was kinda in a hurry. Oh yeah. Hey, did you just come from that class? Is... a homeroom over? What? Oh no! This place is so much bigger than my lost garden! Oh hey hey! I just transferred here, do you think you could give me a quick tour of this garden? 
No. Don't have the time. Ah, oh, bummer, that's too bad. Well, see ya. <laughs> Sorry, Selfie. I have way more important things to do. Like... Playing card games! Oh, hey, would you like to have these? My brother gave me these cards, but they're really not my thing. You could have them if you like. Would? How do you play a card game? Hmm, I think it'd be best to look at the card game explanation in the tutorial. I don't know much about it, really. If you want to play cards with someone, talk to them by pressing Y. But keep in mind, not everyone's a card player. Oh, and by the way, I don't play, so don't bother challenging me. I got seven cards. <laughs> you don't need ladies if you have cards? Exactly. Be gone, wench. My Magic the Gathering <laughs> requires me. Hi, you have that seed exam today, right? And you still haven't gone to the fire cavern? Are you just taking it easy? I don't know. I was going to do it this morning, but I almost got murdered. Oh. Oh, I'll take care. This is basically how I was treated when I was in my chutney phase. <laughs> just thinking I was so badass, like, man, whatever. I don't know. Leave me alone. <laughs> just having people be like, oh, whatever, dude. <laughs> Okay, so you actually can't play games with him. Oh. Confident as always. Later, kid, but thank you for the cards. I miss mini games in FF. Triple Triad is honestly so much fun. I wonder if we can get the Chocobo, the mini mog, right away. I can't remember. That's the kid you get it from, but I'm going to need to save before I start challenging people. Bum, bum, bum. That's not the access menu. That's the access menu. Bum, bum, bum. And yes, I have played this game muchly. <laughs> so let's just erase all of these things from the past. I save scum even offline. Don't worry about it. Oh, God. Okay, there we go. <laughs> On we go. Okay, I know I need to go to the library first. And then I'm going to try and see if I can win Minimog against that guy. We all did a bet. I'd like to hope so. Hope I'm not the only person who saves gums. I don't remember which one's the library. I think it might be pink. Quad. Nope. <laughs> might have been the one I ran straight past. Tried to read the sign, but it did not work. That's a lot. Yeah, I'm going to be doing that all over again today. I know I can get a card from the cafeteria as well. So we'll go there in a bit. Dormitory. God damn it. Bum, bum. Parking lot. I did run straight past the fucking library, didn't I? <sighs> <laughs> Training center. That's where you fight the dinosaur. I've wanted to be a seed since I was little. Makes sense that I want to help out. I'm going to be a seed. I'll work really hard. You know it's bad when the tiniest of children... Is still like, hey, I want to sign up to be a freaking child soldier. You know what? Let's not question the morality of the seed system. <laughs> okay, I think it's her. Yeah! The following acts are prohibited within the library. One, talking loudly. Two, eating and drinking. And three, running around. And also, four, avoid late returns and no fighting over seats. I have to go over the library rules with the children next period. I'm very nervous. I hope they understand. That's going to be important for reasons later. Don't worry about it. How old is school? I'm pretty sure he's 17, but I couldn't tell you for sure. All right. I haven't equipped anything yet. I can't draw. <laughs> I wish they had super exciting books here. Kind of like the one with the girl with the pigtail recommended. That romance novel was pretty good. Uh, she read Twilight. Or like Tusk Love or something. Definitely something erotic. <laughs> Oh, God. The controls are not the best. <laughs> God. I think he's 16 or 17. He is 17. Thank you. And Quistis is 18. Yeah, that's the crazy thing. The instructor is only one year older. Basically the same age. The desks aren't squeaky clean. Those three from the library committee. I bet they're slacking off somewhere. Dude, they're just kids. Maybe you should clean it. So, like, did you read it? Oh, you mean that bloody murder mystery? Did you find out who the killer was? You know, you should read something more enlightening. So, like, you found it boring? It was good, but what I'm trying to say is... So you liked it! 
and you'll like this one too. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> that guy is whipped as shit. I'm sorry, my dude. <laughs> you. Yeah, she's deciding what you're reading now. <laughs> It's a yellow hat. I thought it was a big head. Nah, it's a yellow hat. It's always been kind of creepy looking to me, though. Quistus is young. Yep. Very young. Okay. Let's run around to the cafeteria. I'm not sure if I can actually deal with that yet. But we should find Mr. Minimog along the way, too. Quistus is a genius. Yeah, legitimately. Tensai. Oh, the infirmary. That makes sense. They just ruined it by teleporting me upstairs. Board. Okay, the next one's the cafeteria. I remember she equipped a grade or something. Yeah, she's the youngest instructor they've ever had. To be fair, she does point that out at one point. We'll get to that eventually. She looks older than 18. School definitely looks older than 17 as well. That's the thing for most Final Fantasy and let's be honest, anime things. Oh, hey, Fujin and Raijin. Safer. Drink. <laughs> I fucking love the way she speaks. Could I drink something? I'd like some water, you know. Ignore. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love her. Safe is like, why am I stuck with these two? Does not realize he's the bad guy, and that's why he has stooges instead of friends. What? <laughs> Yo, it's Squall. Oh, yeah, Fujin's got a treat, you know. Want something? Rage. <laughs> I fucking love these two. <laughs> Uh, uh. <laughs> so fucking adorable. <laughs> oh my god. Squall, can't you see the disciplinary committee's busy? Don't bother us. Fine. In more tuny than me. See if I can. Oh, you can't get the Quistus card or the mini. Uh, probably not the mini mod card either yet, then. Just want to pick her up and what? <laughs> Um, bu -bu -bu -bum. Wait, why can I not see that? Eh? Just want to pick her up and squeeze her. <laughs> yeah, she's adorable. Team Rocket of the day. Yeah, Team Rocket at home. They're adorable, though. I'd give them a hug. They're just silly peoples. They're not evil peoples. <laughs> can you get a hot dog? Nah, unfortunately, you can't ever actually get the food. Somehow, I doubt that Fujin would actually pay true reason for their rivalry who's the tuniest so true shit i pressed the wrong button come here you want to play a hard game yeah i do i might lose my cards before i even yeah that this is why we saved first bum, bum, ba -dum. okay so this is like the simplest card game in the world basically big number equal win how many do i get one two three four five okay so two need to be out this is also another incredible bunch of iconic music. Yeah. He didn't even use mini mark. How dare you? So yeah, basically. The numbers on the top left show you how powerful they are in any direction. So if I put this Firebird just beneath him, the three beats are two, so I'll flip him to my side. But then he can probably defeat my two, yeah, with pretty much any card he has from the bottom. Which would be a problem for me. But he's not very strong on the left either, so... This is how the game goes. You just go backwards and forwards. Chat's not on screen? Thank you for telling me. <laughs> how long is that? Did that... Wow. Was it not working from the beginning? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> That's a fish, not a burb. Oh, you are right. I was blinded by my own idiocy. So one of the really fun things you can do is if you have a good enough card, you can even flip two at the same time. I can't do that, but I'm just saying, for example, if I did... <laughs> Bum, 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 bum. You bastard. Oh, yeah, he outplayed me. <laughs> so he's going to be able to take me from the right no matter what I do. But he can't take me from the top. So uh, we just kind of draw, I guess. Yeah. That's okay. Didn't have. You bastard, get back here. Didn't have the card I wanted anyway. We're just relearning how to play. 
And honestly, I don't even know what my best cards are right now. <laughs> I don't really have any good defensive things anyway, so I just kind of have to leave myself open to be taken at the same time, I guess. Is this like tic-tac-toe? Not quite, but I mean, it's close enough. <laughs> See, now what I have to avoid is putting anything in the middle there that they could then take my bottom one and my top one. That would be a problem. I'm thinking about this too hard, honestly. I should just play cards until we get fucked up. This is the stream now? Yep, this is going to be the stream for the next 12 hours. We're just going to be playing triple try. <laughs> Oh no, I'm already fucked. <laughs> and this is what happens when you do go head empty. Bum, 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 bum. That's pretty much the only thing I can do. And even then, you can just take it back from the bottom. <laughs> I can't take it back from the top. No! So yeah, he won this one. Embarrassing. So he takes one of my cards. Ah, fuck yeah. I'll do the fire cavern first. I'll be back for you. Three times speed, baby. I've been here since the garden was established. G good for you. Let me out. Wee. Three times speed is so much fun. <laughs> Not the L. Yeah, the immediate L. It's fine, though. We'll get some more cards and then we'll come back. Ah, uh, her outside of that uniform looks much better. Skull, you're forgetting something. Your GF. My my girlfriend? I, I, I don't have a girlfriend yet. Wait, who wait? Quetzalcoatl. Yeah, I don't see any problem in renaming these either. Shiva. I have a few things to explain before we head off. GF gives us strength. The stronger- wait. Girlfriend gives us strength. The stronger the girlfriend, the stronger we become. So, Squall, do you think you're ready to date yet? I mean, I'm only one year older than you. I know there's a power dynamic, but come on. <laughs> so here's a brief explanation of junctioning a girlfriend. Yeah, that's what I call it, too. Junction tutorial. Junction enables characters to power up and use abilities. This means... A GF, a girlfriend, must be junctioned in order to power up and use abilities. Let's begin by junctioning a girlfriend. Right now, no girlfriend is junctioned. You fucking loser. All other commands are gray, cannot be selected yet. Once junction is selected, the GF and magic commands appear. Since no GF is junctioned, magic is displayed in gray. Let's junction a girlfriend by selecting girlfriend. A girlfriend list appears. <laughs> Press Y to see the abilities possessed by a girlfriend. <laughs> God, this sounds so fucked up. <laughs> Just continuously replace GF with girlfriend. <laughs> the abilities are HP Junction, Vitality Junction, etc. Let's choose a girlfriend. Shiva is the only humanoid one, but okay, you sick fuck. When girlfriend Quetzalcoatl was selected, its abilities, HP Junction and Vitality Junction make the stats HP and Vitality appear in white. Magic can now be junctioned to HP and Vitality. But since there's currently no magic, we will move on to setting abilities. There are three command abilities. And two non-command abilities for characters in party. <laughs> I know it's Guardian Force chat. Don't worry, I'm fucking around. A total of five abilities can be set. Depending on the GF's, uh, the girlfriend's abilities, the maximum is four non-command abilities. This means that up to seven abilities can be set. Let's set some abilities. First, select a slot. The top window is for command abilities. The bottom window is for character and party abilities. Selecting the top window displays command... Oh, yeah, come on, dude. <laughs> Obviously! Those things are si simple. It says, currently no magic. Let's set the command ability draw to get some magic. When an empty slot is chosen, the cursor moves to the right. And I wonder if you could choose one of those to equip. Let's add girlfriend and item. Because for some reason, those are on the same level in this game. Now girlfriend and item are set. Let's add a non-command ability. God damn it. Alexander is my girlfriend. 
See, I'd go for Diablos. Diablos is my girlfriend. This concludes the tutorial. Good luck. Everything okay up till now? You can always check back by accessing tutorial from the menu. Whatever. Once we get to the fire cavern, I'll explain how to junction magic. Use the command draw during battle and stock magic from your enemies. Be sure to have some stocked. Ready to go? The fire cavern used for the test is located east of here. Okay, so now that we can do that, this is how you break the game. <laughs> we're not actually going to break the game immediately. We will eventually, but for now, we're good. I want magic. I want draw. In fact, draw should be top. And then GF. No abilities. Because we weak as shit. <laughs> This is how you break the game. Oh, you have no idea. When you draw the right things for people, oh, shit gets crazy. Draw, magic, GF. Fuck items, we don't have any items anyway. So now we run, mm, you forgot something? I'll be waiting here for you when you come back. Okay, stalker. But now we can draw from the draw points. And that's how you stalk magic in this game, from drawing from those and from drawing from enemies. Ready to go? The fire cavern? Yeah, I know. It's east. It's fine. Okay. Need to stop doing that to try and save. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have all of the slots. Boy runs fast? Yeah, he do. Oh, God. How do you move the camera? Oh. It's not with the right stick. <laughs> that feels wrong somehow. So this is the world map. And this is how you fight fast. All it is you strike. Okay, it's R to do that. Same for Renzakuken. So the Gunblade has a special ability where you can do a special attack by pressing the button at the right time. The fire's good. So you see, for the next 12 hours, we're going to be stocking fire magic. And that's why these streams are going to last forever. So first, we have to kill off one of these guys. And I missed the crit hit because I suck at this game. Ah, it is what it is. There we go. Crit hit. Fireball for real? Yeah, but first we need to get rid of one so there's not one constantly attacking us that we don't even need. Okay. And now we're just going to do this for the next, like, five hours. Oh, I used magic. Whoops. I don't know how I did that like an idiot. <laughs> oh yeah, how are you guys doing, chat? This is the stream, pretty much. Everybody said it was just going to be card gaming, but no, it's actually just stocking magic. This will honestly take a while. <laughs> we need to get up to 100. Draw Sudan? Yep. And I accidentally attacked him. That's fine. Really wish it would remember your choice rather than you having to move down again each time. That's why we put it on the second and I attacked again. <laughs> this is what speed up does to a person. See what that is. Thunder. We need that too. So there we go. How do you crit hit? You just press right at the right time, right when the sword hits the enemy. And the good thing is we can also draw cure from this guy. And I attacked him again. <laughs> This is fine. Bum, 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 bum. Stop. Stop. And let me reset my chat, which is frozen on my end. Damn it. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. And we're both getting close to death, which is nice, because then we can just start using all of our special attacks. Okay, you gotta get the muscle memory to kick in. Yeah. It's also going way faster. The memories when three times didn't exist. Yeah, imagine doing this in normal time. Oh, it was so much worse. And you have to do it, because this is how you get strong. Is there a curse of memory option in the menu? I'm actually gonna find that out, because that would be useful. Now Quistus is enraged, so I can't even control her. That's fine. Everything's fine. 
Oh shit, yeah. I should decide what my GFs are learning as well. Gotta teach my girlfriends what they gotta do. So you can also, you get AP as well as XP in this game. AP goes to learning skills for your mm, things. We're gonna learn card immediately. Because <laughs> we're gonna need card a lot. And then when we get HP Junction, that's when you can really break the game and instantly put like a Kyurago onto HPJ. Have like 9,000 health in like chapter two. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> Boost, spirit plus 20%. Okay, we'll probably go for strength, Jay. School with strength, Jay, is gonna be fucking beefy. So there we go. And now we should actually use one of our cures. This quest is gonna die. There we go. Back into the fray. This game looks ancient. It is ancient. It's older than some of the people watching this right now. Still amazing. One of the best games I've ever played. And I will defend it till the day I die. Options menu? Oh shit, yeah, I should have checked that. <laughs> Wait, it's 25 years old? Damn, okay, that makes me feel seriously old. I knew it was about 20. I didn't know it was 25. Jesus. Classics are classics for a reason. Exactly. If people still remember them, they must have been good. But yeah, I remember the memory button. Remember the like menu button would be very useful. <laughs> At least it will warn me once I get to the maximum. 99 is the maximum you can carry of anything. Um, um, I'm getting better than I was before though. There we go. Okay. So, stock cures. Yep, they both got 99 things. 99 thunders, so we don't have to hunt for those anymore. And that's how we keep alive forever. Actually, it's 100. Oh, I thought it was 99. <laughs> okay, thank you for letting me know. Now we have to do the same for cure. And the fun thing is, we have to do this with every new character we get eventually, too. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Wish I was 25 and not getting so many white hairs. But white hairs look sick. Are you kidding me? Going gray is honestly amazing. Going bald? Debatable. Like, that's up to personal preference. But I think gray hair looks incredible. You can get a memory setting on the cursor. Oh, thank God. That's going to be way easier later. At least with the three times thing, we're almost done with this already. <laughs> then we just need that stupid bird. Love salt and pepper hair. Oh, for fuck's sake, yes. Salt and pepper, especially if you get lucky and it starts going gray like around the edges rather than around the middle first. That genuinely looks like you've just dyed streaks in your hair. Sick, man. I just wish it took longer. Like normally once you start to go gray, you just like heavily go gray pretty quickly. <laughs> 25 of my hair is already going gray. Nothing wrong with that. I know some people that are 30 and are completely gray at that point already. For some people, it just happens. If anything, that just looks cooler because it looks more like you dyed it than you actually went gray. <laughs> you have like a young looking face, but then with gray hair, it's just sick. The Kaneki Ken aesthetic. Exactly. And he's got such a baby face. <laughs> We've got to be nearly at 100 by now. The co-worker who's dirty and completely gray? Damn. I think my dad was, like, gray before he turned 30. I think that just all depends on, like, genetics and stuff. Okay, let's heal up. She still wasn't full. Bum, bum, bum. Actually. Bum, bum, bum. God, she's still not full of health. What are you doing, Quistus? That's so hard to do. <laughs> yeah, on fast mode, that's going to be like impossible. <laughs> Damn. Okay, finish him off. There we go. Time to be edgy to embody this gray head of mine. There you go. Just make it out that you're the next Demon King. Your hair went gray because of the evil you're going to do in the future. Wee. Okay, we might as well save that. <laughs> Just because now we can junction some stuffs. 
It's interesting to me that they still have like the slot one and slot two thing as if you have like an actual memory card in this. Okay, junction, magic. And what you can do is you can combine magic. Like depending on the type of magic you're junctioning to things, the stronger it is. So right now, Thunder puts her magic stat up to 16. So anytime she casts magic from this point on, she's gonna murder people. <laughs> Oh, God. The same for school when it comes to spring. I mean, we can only get it up to 20. But 20 is good until we get our HP junction. So he's now super fucking resistant against magic. So that's nice. <laughs> now we need to go find fire. We need to kill a few of these fish. And then we'll go in to deal with Ifrit. Okay, so we need that. But we also need to kill these guys, actually. We need to kill one of them. And I still didn't put on the memorize where I was doing things. Shit. Okay. I'm an idiot. <laughs> you mean a few dozen fish? I mean, hopefully not a few dozen, but we'll see. We'll see where the day takes us. We don't need that much AP. It would be nice to have some bomb cards, but we don't really need them. But yeah, this is going to be the stream today, guys. So... <laughs> When I said I was doing this for me more than anyone else, I meant it. <laughs> Sephiroth is my BF in FF7. Sorry, wrong game. Should be talking about 8. Fair enough. I mean, we can all enjoy a good Sephiroth moment. Bum, bum, bum. I miss memory cards. Man, I do not. It sucked when you ran out of space and just had to be like, Welp. I guess I have to delete some of my old games, even though I've only got, like, the data for five of them on here. And you'll notice that now, on average, Quistus is drawing a lot more fire than Squall. Or at least she should be. Yep, that's because her magic is boosted so much. It also depends how many things you get when you draw. This is so true. The one good thing about it was you could share your save slots with other people really easily. Oh, so she's already maxed those. I think that's scan, yeah. Which is less important. <laughs> but we'll get those too. It's all part of the game. Bum, bum, bum. Now games are like 100 gigabytes. Yeah, it's a bit harder to just be walking around with that kind of shit. Imagine if we had memory cards now. I'd imagine one save file from a game like Cyberpunk 2077 would just instantly destroy a memory card from the past. I think they often had like 256 kilobytes rather than even going up to memory bytes. <laughs> oh my god. Probably make it go boom. Yeah, I'd imagine that would just be a bricked memory card in one go. At least once we get through this, doing the cavern is going to be really fucking quick. Because we don't have to worry about saving stuff in there. We have to worry about that after we finish the cavern. <laughs> the tiny little bit of damage they do. It's so cute. <laughs> Nothing but dust. Diamond dust, baby. Looking at my 8 megabyte memory card. Shit, that's actually a pretty big one. You know what I liked? Nintendo, when they did um, the Rumble Pack, was such a cool idea. Because that was back before controllers actually vibrated. And so they had a separate peripheral called a Rumble Pack, which you would like slot into the back of the Nintendo 64 controller, and it would make it vibrate when the game had like a vibration kind of moment. Oh, well, you can cast it. Now we've analyzed a bite bug, a bug monster that flies. Stay calm and attack precisely. It's not very strong. <laughs> Basically, murder it. Why are you freaking scanning it? It doesn't matter. Kill it. Damn, even the game's mean to them. Don't die before I get all my scans now. Oh, good. We got eight. That should be good. <laughs> Remember that? So awkward at first, but it had his moments for drama. What, the rumble pack? I quite liked it. Sony came out with the DualShock controller. Yeah, very shortly after that. <laughs> Which was just like, a, oh no, the rivalry goes on. <laughs> okay. Save, and let's see if we can also... Do, do, do. 
Show some more stuffs. Is fire better? No, fire and thunder are actually the same. I thought fire would have been better. That's me being an idiot. That'll still be spirit for sure. Yeah. Okay, now we murder fish. Fish on the beach. <laughs> this is the best place for grinding AP before you go into the fire cavern. Pop out, damn you. Eventually, there we go. I think they have some decent magic as well, but they're mainly for AP. They're way stronger than the last set of enemies. Blizzard, hell yeah. And sleep. And I still didn't do the menu thing I should have done. <laughs> That's okay. You know what? Maybe I'll just kill this one. And then do the memory thing. Yeah, fuck it. Memory thing will make it way easier. We're so weak now. We're such little baby babies. Fish fiends. And 6 AP. Hell yeah. Okay. Do, 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 do. Config, I'd imagine? Ah, memory. Thank God. Okay. Scan once. You don't need to do it all the time. Active or wait? You, you wait when I get to my full thing. Thank you. <laughs> I don't trust myself enough. Not by far. Okay, heal up. We jump back in. Bum, bum. Wait, how did she... I thought she had four cures. Oh. We apparently didn't get enough cures with Quist. <laughs> still looks better than Gollum. It still plays better than Gollum, which is painful. Get out of your dumb hole. There you go. Hiding from me in the sand. How dare. But this is that enemy we have the card of. So they're our friend in the card game. Not so much out here, though. Take a lot to die. Holy shit. Okay, let's see if this actually works. Now I should just be able to smash. Yay! Okay, this is going to go much easier. Shiki, MSHTS, thank you for donating the food funds. This is the first game I bought for my new PS1 as a kid. Dream was to buy the mini LCD screen that attached to the lid so I could play this in bed. I forgot they had that peripheral as well. That's freaking awesome. Yeah, I never got that one either. <laughs> but it was fine. Why are they so flat? It's an old game, man. It's an old game. Twisters is using a whip. True. Sexy as fuck, honestly. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> you can refine it later, I guess. Yeah. All the magic's useful eventually. Just not always immediately. Love the PS1 with the screen during summer. We'd have to go to my mom's work and we would take it and play it in the other room while my mom worked. Oh, God, that must have been nice. It's like having a portable thing, even though it's technically just a home console. Too bad these enemies don't have cures as well. We work with what we can. Everyone wanted one of those PS1 screens? For me, it was just the original Game Boy. I never got to get an original Game Boy. I got an advance when it came out, but I... pocket money didn't quite work out for the Game Boy back in the day. <laughs> oh, good. In fact, maybe we should put him to sleep. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> the Game Boy Advance. The Game Boy Advance was honestly amazing, in my opinion. Maybe you can't put this guy to sleep. But that's another way you can break the game pretty easily as well. There are certain things that you can eventually end up um, chaining to your magic defense that basically make it so you can't be hit with certain stat effects. Yeah, it looks like you can't actually put this guy to sleep. Which is fine. Just go back to the normal. 
The GBA SP was my beloved. Was that the one with the flip screen? I don't think I had one of those either, but I remember wanting one. I loved flip phones when they came out. The flip phones were the big thing for me. Especially since they appeared in The Matrix. And I was just like, yo! Flipping it down to end a call always felt so badass. <laughs> Flip phones are so good. Yeah, I'm glad they bought them back. Even if they don't have quite the same feel anymore. It's just nice to have that option. <laughs> uh, so much sleep being drawn. The drama? Yeah. Just like ending a call angrily and then flipping it down really noisily. So fucking good. My first ever console was the 3DS. It was the coolest thing ever. Yeah, the 3DS had so many good uses for that as well. They didn't just make it for the peripheral. They then built it into the games. Like, I remember it was either one of the Professor Layton games or one of the... One of the other mystery ones. But I remember for a fact there was one... Oh, good. We're done. Um... Oh, she's getting close to death, too. <laughs> there was one where you... Um, it asked you to transfer a map from, like, the bottom screen to the top screen. Of course, it didn't say top screen to bottom screen. It was something like, get the map from that piece of paper to this piece of paper. And one was on the top and one was on the bottom. And you had to, like, close it over to act like you'd basically made a copy of it. That shit was crazy. Also, Quistis has intensely got her draw thing at this point. There we go. You know what? Fuck it. Laser eye. <laughs> oh my god. What is this little spinning dude? He's just a fish. Um, we've almost got all the magic we need. But I decided I'd better heal her. Just to make sure she doesn't die. There we go. And then we just need enough to strength junction and then we can go in. Love that we can blow into our DS as a gameplay mechanic. I forgot about that too. Holy shit. Yeah, Nintendo had a lot of interesting ideas like that. So of like Kojima Productions. I remember there was one time you needed to like get a number from the back of one of the game's boxes or something. I always like it when game mechanics go like out of the normal world for that kind of shit. All right. Do I have to draw anything from these guys? No. <laughs> um, right. We're just murdering these guys. Feels so wrong. We need to get more cures from the cactuars. These guys were just here to murder. The struggle was real, blowing and sometimes flicking those. Well, you got enough practice for it if you played enough of the games with cartridges anyway. Like SNES games and Nintendo 64 games. Anytime it felt like one of the games was breaking, you just had to pop that shit out, blow on the inside of the cartridge. Even though they told you specifically not to do that, it always felt like it worked. <laughs> it felt like it worked. Even though it probably was just BS. The CD case thing was Metal Gear Solid 1. That's even crazier. It was that long ago. Bum, 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 bum. Blowing in the cartridge, the old magic. Exactly. <laughs> Same as like trying to clean off the disc by yourself at home. When it came to like PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2. They were like, sorry, there's something wrong with the disc. And you were like, no, there's not. I just cleaned it with a paper towel and my own spit. How could it possibly not be dirty? <laughs> oh, man. Wait, blowing worked, but not licking? Who tried to... Oh, you mean when people did that with like the Switch things? Well, G our GFs are leveling up. Our girlfriends are getting so strong. But yeah, I remember people putting Switch cartridges in their mouth just because they heard they tasted bad. Which is the funniest response ever to that. It's like, hey, did you hear? These taste horrible. And everyone was like, yo, I should try putting that in my mouth, though. <laughs> Saw people licking the cartridges. Yeah, see, that sounds like a good way to break a cartridge to me. Oh, school's fucked up. This is good for me. You have no idea what you've just done, sir. Fuck. When the HP is yellow, you can pretty much bait yourself a free... Ah! Renzakuken. Like that.
Problem is, you have to be in low health to do it. But, yeah, if you just keep reloading the attack, you can always eventually get it. Times three speed, it doesn't work so well. <laughs> Let me heal him up anyway. So he doesn't accidentally die while we're just farming fish. Intrusive thoughts always win? True. <laughs> Sometimes it's just better to try things. I mean, people didn't know for sure that it would actually taste bad. It may have tasted good. <laughs> and then they would have gone viral being like, I love the taste of Bitrex. Which is actually a thing. There are some people with messed up taste buds that like bitter things. I mean, I say messed up taste buds. Messed up to us. <laughs> but yeah. <sighs> <sighs> Farming fish sounds wrong somehow. I mean, that's what you're doing when you're fishing, honestly. We don't normally say farming fish, but that is literally <laughs> what's going on. It's farming. It's of a different kind. Breath of the Wild tasted stronger than TOTK. It's fascinating that you know that fact. <laughs> Sorry, that's wild. Oh my god. Oh, Quetzalcoatl learned card. That's very good. Okay. So one of the things you have to know about this game as well is the fact that it scales with your level. So if you do grind too early and try to level yourself up, it actually makes the bosses way fucking harder. But with that ability we just learned called card, what you can do is turn enemies into cards, which means you don't get anything that levels you up, but you still get the AP. So you can grind for items while getting like items that can be refined into things and at the same time not power level yourself and get yourself fucked when it comes to bosses so these are the creepy mechanics that i know everything about <laughs> like the back of my hand but right now we're just grinding for ap correct hello Fuchan. today's live was good good i'm glad you enjoyed it i hope you're having a good day I wonder how close we are to Strength Junction as well. Okay, so Quetzalcoatl learned card. Now we want to go to HPJ, which is going to be pretty much game-breaking. <laughs> but that's fine. We want it to be game-breaking. We want the option. Even if we're not necessarily going to do it. Yeah, like three more battles and then we'll... No, four more battles and then we'll have that. Okay, do, 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 do. good. Wait. Oh yeah, I want to assign card. So you also have to junction the ability card. So you have to get rid of one of your good abilities, unfortunately. Wait, how do I... Um... How do I junction commands? Oh, ability. Idiot. <laughs> um... Um... No, we don't really need GFs. Just yet. <laughs> We are going to eventually, but right now. We're going to get Strength Junction and be able to kill everything in one attack. Who plays RPGs and doesn't try to break the game? The best thing is like having the option to break the game. I mean, with the Junction ability in FF8, you can totally break the game. But it's pretty similar for FF10 and the Spheres thing. When you grind the Spheres for a little bit, you get crazy shit in that game. So let's try to turn this one into a card. I'm not going to work too hard for it, but I'll just have her doing that while school attacks normally. Because we need the AP, but there we go. We got another Fausto Chenef. Bam, ba -da -bam, bam, still the six AP. Wait, I thought we had so much to go for Strength Junction. Well, the game is now broken. <laughs> Goodbye, normal enemies, because... Nah, it's not too bad right now. We can only put our stats up to 28. It, it's it's got to be worse later on. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but for now, that's going to be a huge buff for school. Squ Quistus just carded that. Oh, yay. We need you guys. I'm glad I accidentally stepped off ground. Yeah, he does 98 without doing a fucking crit now. 96. Jesus. Okay. Now what we need from you guys is scan you need nothing okay you start carding him <laughs> you need scans bam, 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 bam. what's shiva learning now i forgot to change it 
Oh, there we go. Oh, and she got the card. Awesome. So, yeah, she's probably learning her GF SP plus 20% or something. Which is not useful to us. Thank you for pointing that out. Yeah, summon magic plus 10%. Instead, we do Vitality, Jay. Which will get our defense. You can also get Elemental Attack, Jay. Which can just let you fuse an element into your attack. So if you know a strong monster's coming up that's weak against lightning or something, shit just gets broken. That's why that one costs like three times as much as everything else. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, we're not going to grind these too hard. We're not going to get like everything we need. We're just going to get the basics as we go on. So for now, yeah, just Strength Junction, Vitality Junction, and then we'll head into the cave. Been an hour already, and all I see is Fuchan talking about drawing. That's how we do around here. I played some card games too. What oh, damn, he does 144 with a radio hit. That's like eight times as much damage as he did before. <laughs> oh, man. Poor guys don't know what's coming. Um, um. We do need to find a cat to order kill, though. Dun, dun, dun. No, I think we're good on everything on these. Bum, 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 bum. Yay! More cards. That's the FF8 experience? Yup. Wait, do I have what I want? I mean, yeah, I guess I don't need to farm these actually right now. That's why I was so confused. I was like, wait, what am I doing these guys for now? I got a strength junction. I'm good. Let's go grab some more cures from the cactuars and then we'll head into the cave. Oh, you poor bug. Oh, you survived round one. Impressive. Sweet dreams. <laughs> you can get the car in FF15 for free in FF14. I know. I saw that they're doing that event again. Which is pretty awesome because I missed it. I wonder if anybody on Niji Sandy is going to do that. Because I'd join if they did. Damn it. Still missing the crit hit and sped up version. Oh, Quistus is fucked. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Stop trying to make me limit break them. I don't want them to die that easy. Bum, 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 bum. I like when it does the big dramatic zoom in on things. Free, the regalia is 200,000 MGP. I thought you got those just for doing the event though. Am I wrong? I might be wrong. I'm wrong a lot. <laughs> Cute caterpillar. Yeah, I like him. Okay, we're done. This guy's so dead. We got what we needed from you. Sorry. This is not ethical farming. Sweet dreams. MGP is the gold source of currency. You can get the Noctix glam. You can get the Noctix outfit as well. Noctix's outfit is actually pretty sick. He is so dead. God. Not the chamber in chat. Okay. One more save. Let's see if I can still beat Ifrit at the fastest time possible. Okay, junctioning magic. Now pay attention, we just did it, Christus. I'll be explaining how to utilize the magic you've stocked. Junctioning, my god, I wish there was a skip button. Oh, there isn't. If the GF has learned the ability to junction onto stats, you can do that. Just go here and GF and magic. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know how to use your gun blade? I already know. Okay, okay. I was just concerned, that's all. All right, let's go. Oh, man. You can even three times in this screen. Oh, I didn't know that. Shit, that'll be useful. <laughs> Objective. To obtain a low-level girlfriend. Rude! A seed member must support. Are you ready? Yeah. 
I'm ready. I'm his support. Instructor number 14, Quistus Trape. Select a time limit. Choose one suited to your abilities. Challenging, yet reasonable. Fuck it, we're going for 10 minutes. <laughs> Very well. Good luck. Yeah, this may not go well. We may have to reload, but <laughs> it is what it is. So yeah, literally a time count to get the top right from now on. My job is to support you in battle. Everything else is up to you. Fine. You know, the boys often choke on this test when I come with them. I guess my charm makes them nervous. Whatever. I'm just kidding. Trying to keep you relaxed, that's all. <laughs> she really said, wow, my students find me so hot that they fail their exams when I'm near them. She thought that was a win. <laughs> Christus is trying her best. Yeah, she's just trying to connect with one of her students. She's doing what she can. Sorry, guys, but you're about to get wrecked. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, wow. They didn't even survive one round. And I mean, even Quistus got a one-hit KO. That was fucked. Oh, well. Um, ooh, draw point. I shouldn't really go after the draw point, but I will. Oh, I forgot the bombs are actually quite strong. <laughs> I love the battle music in this too. She knows she's hot. We love a confident queen, as we should. Although, not great that it's her students, but I mean, considering the students are pretty much the same age as her. <laughs> school doesn't fuck with her at all. School don't fuck with anyone. You have to be on school's level of tuny to be able to understand him. Oh, I love this guy. Maybe we should work on actually killing Ifrit before we do any of this shit. Eh, I already started running back. I'm committed. Fire! That's not useful. Well. <laughs> she's like 19, I think. She's literally only 18. School's 17 and she's 18. It's crazy. The fact that she's instructor is just like, shows how intelligent she is. Are you on school's level of tuny? Not quite that tuny. I'm close, but I don't really think much of anyone is on the same level as school tuny. I guess I was right. You and Safer are in a class of your own. You both have amazing strength and potential. Come on, stroke my ego more. Okay, this is it. Are you ready? I forgot to heal, but other than that, sure. You seem confident enough. Here comes the other big boy, one of the other original summons. Ifrit. Okay, can I draw anything from you? Nah, not useful. Fuck it. And unfortunately, you cannot card bosses. Otherwise, I would be so all over that. Hello, big boy. Yeah. I mean, I guess this is your other option if you want something kind of humanoid. But still not humanoid. <laughs> I can't believe I'm still fucking up the right time to do the crit hit. Eat. Yeah, okay, there we go. He's gonna get angry. Yep. Impudent humans. I mean, that was a pretty big attack, but that's all it was, my dude. Still getting crushed by these impudent humans. Yeah, he grumpy. Mmm. <laughs> Not bad for a human. Also, I'm pretty sure if I do this, he gets some special lines. So let's summon Shiva real quick. Even though I really don't need to with how good my attack is. <laughs> He's almost dead, the poor boy. Boom, boom. Kind of humanoid? Yeah. More demon-y, but close enough. Ba -na -na. Ba -na -na -na. Diamond dust for the first time ever. Shiva, my wife? Hell yeah. She's got cool jellyfish hair in this one. I like all the redesigns we've had of Shiva over time. 
Why is the big strong furry mainly casting magic? Because he's a fire demon. It's what he do. They have Shiva. Oh. Yeah, get over it. We're better than you. And that did a lot of damage, but considering how long it took to charge, I'm good with just doing my attacks. Oh, he did his jumping thing. For me to lose to a human, there's no other choice then. I guess I'll join you. Experience? None. <laughs> we got G returners though. And Ifrit's card. That'll make it easier to win games. We should do an FFGF smash or pass. <laughs> Just some like all of the different FF games. We could do that. Some of them are fine as fuck. Some of them not so much. <laughs> there isn't much time, but let me go over this real quick. Good. You got yourself a girlfriend. About fucking time, Squall. Jesus. If you junction that girlfriend, you'll be able to use the elemental junction ability. Here's an explanation. Oh my god, they gave me elemental junction already? Junction can change basic parameters such as strength and magic, as well as elemental parameters. Can I three times? You, you can't three times this. <laughs> By junctioning a girlfriend with elemental junction ability, as magic is junctioned, the elemental A slash D slot above HP turns white, indicating an elemental junction. When that is selected, left, I guess, arrow click? I don't know. <laughs> the elemental junction screen appears. Elemental junction works like other junctions. First, select a stat to junction. Then choose a magic to finish the junction. <laughs> it's girlfriend, damn it. Don't tell them. <laughs> However, non-elemental magic like cure cannot be junctioned. But some of them can in a weird way. Elemental junction affects attack and defense differently. Junctioning to elemental attack links that element to a character's attack. Percentage indicates how much of that attack's damage is linked to that element. At the maximum value of 100%, the attack becomes entirely elemental. In the example, ice is at 50%. This means that damage only increases by 50%. Or decreases if you choose the wrong stat. That's a possibility too. Damage from that element is reduced if you equip it to the defensive slot. Reduction of damage is shown in percent. Blah, 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 blah. And if you get past 100%, you can also absorb. In the example, fire damage is reduced to 20% because elemental defense is at 80%. There you go. The star is displayed when the value goes over 100%, indicating that damage is absorbed. In this state, you can absorb the amount of damage. In the example, 50% of fire damage is absorbed. So yeah, that if we went into Ifrit and had already put like fire on our defensive thing, we would have basically not been touched by him. So satisfying absorbing. Hell yeah. You can also select auto to automatically junction the most effective elemental magic. This concludes the elemental junction tutorial. Has my time been counting down? There's a lot of fire elemental monsters here, so junction blizzard to your elemental attack. You have an easier time with fire element monsters. Oh, the time is gone. Oh, I fucked that up then. I still had five minutes left. Shit. <laughs> That's okay. I, um, it's fine. Everything's fine. 50% blizzard attack. Why not? Junction magic. No. No. I don't want you to auto me. Okay. Let's see what Ifrit's learning. Bam. 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 No. None of that. HP junction, baby. We're going to break everything. <laughs> so fucking quickly. Okay. You such a good listener? I listen to you guys, chat. I don't listen to Quistus. Quistus is busy off in her own world. Timer always pauses during that kind of thing. Apparently, it stops after you bought the e fruit. I thought it stopped after you got out of the cave completely. So that's me being an idiot. Oh, well. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, quite a quarter learned HP junction. Quistus is about to be broken because now she's going to be able to have her... Well, for now, we only have Cure, but I mean, it puts her from 622 to 822. <laughs> and as soon as we get some item refining things, that's going to go way higher. But yeah, from having 600 health to 800 just in the start of the game is kind of crazy. Bum, 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 bum. You listen to us? I always listen to you guys. Just because I don't always agree with what you say doesn't mean I don't listen to you. Bum, bum. Yay! We carded a bomb. 
You're too young to be in this club, bomb. Get out of here. Barely give us any AP as it is either. One plus one equals three. See, that's a case where I just no, none of that. Thank you. Oh wait, I don't want to kill the bomb. No, not school. Damn it! I want to card the bomb. There we go. I don't want to kill this thing either. But can it even survive a squall attack? Nope. Not even a non-crit one. Shit. <laughs> That's okay. I got what I wanted. Finally did it. Wait, what did I do? Did What did I do? Did Don't you fire attack me. That's what I thought. Can you card school? No. If you could... I mean, that would be real messed up. <laughs> you just card school and then you can't play the game anymore because he's just a card in your inventory. Be funny. I'll give you that much. I want one of these as a card. Oh, you're so annoying. Just become a card! It's annoying because it's easier to do when they're lower health, but I can't attack with Squall. Because one normal attack still... Yeah, fuck it. I have to attack with Quistus. No! How does 60 kill you? Fuck me. Reverse Uno him? I wish I could. It's not part of my ability, unfortunately. Bum, 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 bum. Why does it look like a biblically accurate angel? Eh, just for the fun of it. Why not? Biblically accurate angels are cool. They always be fucking with those in Final Fantasy games. But like Seraphim and Fallen Angels and all kinds of shit. Hey, give me one more of those big flights. Yes! Perfect! Hey, okay, now I know I can't even normal attack him with Quistus. This guy sucks. Become a card! I remember you being a decently strong one. You have two more chances before I rend the kook in the shit out of you. Final chance. You might want to become a card, otherwise... You're fucked. Ah, buddy. We got him with like 800 damage. He spins. It do spin. Oh, Vitality Junction. Sweet. Bam, 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 bam. Wait. That's not you? Oh. Whoops. Vitality. Up to 12 with scan. <laughs> uh, Vitality is probably better, honestly. Go with that for cure. Sleep for magic defense. Sure. And then we heal. Bum, 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 bum. We get the hell out of here. The guy doesn't want to turn into a damn card for whatever reason. We oh shit, I should also change my junction skill learning. It wasn't quite squad, it must have been Shiva. Yeah, elemental attack. She doesn't really need it right now. Ice magic refine will be very useful. Let's go with ice magic refine. That's nice and quick to learn. He's still going HPJ. No, not good. <laughs> card mod. Refine items from cards. That's going to be very useful very soon. Takes a while to learn, but it'll be worth it. Love the wings? Yeah. It's, this game has really cool monster designs. I don't even remember this guy. But good for him for being here. I need some cures, in fact. That's all I need. Now you may die. <gasps> Ooh, or become a card, actually. Oh, you're so lucky. You don't have to die. You get to be useful. Most OP ability in FFA. <laughs> yeah. When you get the right cards, yeah, that shit can give you some crazy magic and also crazy shit going on. Ow. Ow. It 
attack so fast? Probably shouldn't have Blizzard on my main attack either. But it is what it is. Bum, bum. I think we'll farm like three more fights against these guys and then we'll go in and finish our thing. Do the Dollet mission. We've been farming a lot early on. Oh shit, we have to do the card hunting actually. We have to hunt down Miggy Minimog guy again. And then the Quistus fan troop. My favorite FF, how's the remaster? A lot of good quality of life changes. Like this whole three times speed thing makes it so much easier to do so many of the things that I wanted to do. Uh, otherwise, we wouldn't have gotten to this point until like the two and a half or three hour mark. So really helps with the grinding. Movements are goofy, especially when it's sped up. Yeah, it is what it is. You have one chance to become a card. Yep, you fucked up, buddy. Oh, we got the rough divide too. He's super dead. <laughs> Remember they censored some GFs though? Oh, I didn't know they did that. What'd they do? Put more clothes on Shiva? Attack, attack. Uh, oh, fuck. Squall may actually die here. But that is... A thing I'm willing to risk. Boom, 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 bang. I missed two of those. Wow, I suck. Sorry, buddy. You could have been a card. You could have joined the family. But you just didn't. Get carded for. <laughs> That's what they get for entering the club when they're too young. Squall's model is so different, though. Yeah, it's more like the Dissidia style with his hair. We're trying to get one of each enemy type. Um, not even, actually. Oh, Squall's dead. Well, I should stop fucking around. Because Quistus is going to die, too. <laughs> Good thing she can laser eye the shit out of him. She might actually die. I might lose the game right here because of my stupidity. Uh-oh. <laughs> Maybe I should heal. Um, uh, rut roll. <laughs> oh God, he'll fix, he'll quit, Quistus. There we go. Note to self, don't let it get that dire again. <laughs> Ah, this is going to take a while to finish him off, too. School looks kind of dead. He's fine. He's just sleeping. I'll be back up in a second. Don't worry. Bum, bum. Ooh, we already had enough. And just like that, he gets back onto his feet. I think. Oh, no, he stays dead. Shit. <laughs> Note to self. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I thought this was one of those games where they got up immediately after. Ah, well. We did our three fights. Let's head back to town. Get rid of Jquistus. Bum, bum, bum. Well done. Let's see. I thought there was something else I needed to go over with you before you take the seed exam. Oh, yes. Taking care of your girlfriend. This is something you have to watch out for. N not that I want to be your girlfriend or anything, Skull. It, uh, don't worry about it. Girlfriend tutorial. A girlfriend will level up as a game's experience. Oh, you can skip it! Awesome. Now change into your uniform and assemble at the first floor lobby. Uh, okay. I can run faster than you, though. Bye. <laughs> Take care of your GF, folks. Yep. Extremely important. You know what? I really like this garden. Even though there are instructors who suck. I mean, for some people, that's a good thing. So now that I don't have Quistus... Oh, the GFs are mine. Give me it back. Oh, wait. I have to do it like that, man. <laughs> School gets all of the girlfriends. He has a harem full of them. And the ability to card and have maximum health bonus. 
We won't set that up for now, though. That'll be important later. <laughs> Take care of girlfriend for real. Yeah. Happy wife, happy life. Otherwise, pain happens. Bum, bum. Save here. Bum, bum, bum. Whoop, I pressed the wrong button. Now we get to go back to the fun that is card hunting. <laughs> oh, shit. Just gonna wait for him to come to me. Aha! Wanna play a card game? Yeah! This time I have way more cards. Come at me, kid. I'm gonna beat the crap out of this kid. <laughs> Hope he doesn't steal my Ifrit. Which is incredibly strong. Pretty stop. Ooh, a seven and an eight. Seven and a six. See, bomb is good enough to like cover a corner by itself as well, which is kind of crazy. That's why we, yeah, carded the shit out of that one. Six and four isn't bad, but uh, yeah, let's go with a five and a four. Let's have some actual defensive opportunities. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, bum. And a double flip ability. Sure. He's beefing with a child. That's my every day. What's your point? <laughs> do they have anything that could... Oh, they do. Shit. What about bomb? Can you beat a seven to the left? No, but you can beat a... Oh, wow. You're kind of crazy. And the only defensive thing I can do is to throw away Ifrit early. At least they can't flip him. Oh, I think that's the only... Yeah. Yes! Sweet. Oh, he can take it back, though. Then I can take him. And then he can take me. <laughs> but it is what it is. Because I can take him from the top as well. Fool! You activated my... And then he can take me. And then I can't take him. Shit. I activated his trap card. Unless I put down this one. Aha! I beat a child with my genius intellect. <laughs> Living with a child is something I do every day. That's got to happen, man. Olga, do you have ads on your stream? It honestly depends on the day. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. This one should have ads on it. Forbidden or Snow Lion? Snow Lion's kind of... Whoa, the seven? Six and six is a good defensive card. I'll, I'll take Snow Lion for now. Snow Lion acquired. No, come back! You bastard! I will catch you. Where'd he go? Oh. They didn't have the ability to render him actually running around the whole map, I guess. Uh, I'm asking because I got one! Well, then I guess they're on. Yes, you should have known that. If you got one, then yes, they're on. <laughs> There's a go. Ifrit. Ista. Bom. Sanu Lion. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, and the rest of these are particularly good. I do like the ability to be able to throw this just in the corner. No saving before duel? Nah. It's not that important until he actually drops Minimog. Like, if I lose a card, it's probably going to be losing Ifrit, and then I'll have to reload, but I don't really... I don't need to save every single time. He can definitely take that back, but he can't take my bomb. Bum, bum. <laughs> Can he take a six? No, but he can take a one. Fuck. Man, can he take a five? No. No, he cannot. So I can take him from here. Then he has to take his own one from the left. But I can take it back. Yeah, okay. That didn't defeat it. Right. <laughs> Stupid Fuchan. <laughs> My god, how the fuck did I fuck that up? Oh, um, this will take this. He can't take me. Perfect. And then I just Ifrit it up. He can't take me back. And I win. The Minimog just won't come out. Nah. But it's fine. All of these are useful in the long run. Um, I think I like the idea of Sam. Eventually, we can refine every card we get into an item. I wonder if you... It's going to be really funny if it turns out you can't actually get Minimog until you do something else in the game first. <laughs> I'm doing this all for nothing. Now we have a pretty strong basic hand. In general, putting Ifrit down here is always a good option. Just gives you something solid they won't be able to take throughout the end. 
bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, ba -dum, bum. Ooh, they can take that back. They could take me from the right too. Interesting. So maybe with this, seven and six. You can't take me. No, okay, good. But they can take themselves back. And then I can take them pretty much anyway. And they have to take themselves back with either the four or five. Which means they may end up opening me up for like a double hit, but that's agreeable. We might draw this one rather than winning, is what I'm saying. Um, bruh. Okay. I need to do this to defend the glacial eye. Yes. Yeah. And I think I win. Yeah. Okay. Can't wait for other rules. The other rules suck, man. I don't want to deal with the other rules. <laughs> Did I lose my one and only Kadacha pillar? Well, I'll take an Ochu anyway. Feel like I'm watching a Yu-Gi-Oh duel? It's kind of like a very simplified version. Bring out Minimog, you coward! Do I want Ochu? Nah, I kind of like having the seven, honestly. <laughs> oh, God damn it, dude. I hate you. <laughs> Why are you like this? Whoa, he has a seven at the top still. That's kind of scary, actually. Take that here, and then he has to take me from the right. Right? Yes, yes. Uh, my brain. That was probably a bad move now that I think about it. Because he can take his boy back. Uh, row. <laughs> but he can't if I do this. Probably going to defend his boy from the right. Yep, yep, yep. Makes sense. And now I'm kind of fucked. <laughs> Shit. Ruh row. Oh, well. First draw in a while. Um, yeah, I can't take him anywhere. So I just have to play defensively. Oh, that was still a you win. He's on to you. Well, eventually he's going to completely run out of things, so... Screw him. Tryface is a good all-rounder, actually. Come back here! Minimog! Do it! Why does this game hate me? Already. Only just started playing. Got you... I kind of like Tryface, actually. <laughs> Three fives isn't bad. Yo, Minimog! Okay. Can you take me? No, okay. Even if I put myself in the bottom right, you can't take me. Fool! But I can take you! Just about. Just just, just about. Holy shit. Only just about. Um, but yeah, I can I can flip you. Then you can flip me. But then I can flip you. And then you can flip me. But what you don't know is that I've already been planning to flip you back again. Probably from the bottom right, actually. Um, four, five. They have to get me from the left, which they can't do. They can get him back, which is fine. Question mark. Because then I can do this and they can't get me from below. Yes. Means they have to go top right and I go bottom left. Did I win? Oh, thank God. We never have to play this douche again. Give me the mini mog. Okay. Goodbye, kid. Enjoy your future. So now we have two super rare cards. Okay. Now let's go find the Quistus fan club who hang out at the library. Was that a cat? It's called a mini mog. It's like a moogle, but tiny. Tiny little small baby. No table to flip? Exactly. I'm trying to think of it. How do they play card games just run it? Oh, I went the wrong way. Although technically, this is where I need to go as well. <laughs> so let's see if I can do this without it locking me out of being able to play card games with all the people. Save on slot two, just in case. Bum, bum, bum. My clothing locker, there it is. Eunuch form, get changed. 
There we go. Now we're in our military uniform. Rest? Sure, why not? Need a plushie of that thing? I'm sure they have one. Oh, I thought there was like a... A magazine in here too. Guess not. I guess I imagined it. Yeah, I guess I imagined it. Cute? Yeah, I'm looking good now. Yeah, there really wasn't a magazine in here. My memory is failing me. Oh well. I don't have time for idle goss shit. Squall, over here. I fucked up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to reload. I'll be announcing the squad assignments for the final exam now. Let's see. You'll be with Zell Dinked. Quite a lively fellow. Lively. <laughs> He's just loud. Can I switch members? I'm afraid that's not possible. Over here, Zal. This character intro is like the best. Yeah, I'd say he's energetic. Genki is the nice way to put it. Man was just shadow but Look at the smile, though. <laughs> Zal, best boy. See, I'm a bit on school side. I'm like, that's that's a bit too much energy with me. <laughs> well, I'm with you. Put her there, buddy. Whatever. I fucking love school. <laughs> Zao's limit break settings can also be changed in the status screen. If dual auto, it's turned on. Limit break dual will execute automatically. That's lazy. Limit break moves listed on the screen are selected randomly. That's all for Zao's limit break. He always used to irritate me, but he's good people. I've warmed up to his nonsense. There we go. That was me with Irvine. With Zhao, I'm kind of still like, hey, he's a bit tiring. But he's a nice guy. <laughs> His limit break is good. His limit break is fucking incredible. You don't get along with Safer, do you? I heard he whipped you pretty bad this morning. We weren't fighting. We were training. I bet you he doesn't think so. Look, Safer's just being a pain in the ass. All you have to do is ignore him. That's none, none of your business. Ahem. Excuse me, but I love how she just knows exactly what he's going to say all the fucking time. Irvine? Oh, uh, you really don't? You still don't like Irvine? Or is it one of those, uh, Irvine is in? Ah, uh, why is Irvine so damn sexy? That's safer you're talking about? He's your squad leader. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Say what? It can't be changed. Safer, are you here? Of course. I can't believe they took him away from freaking Fujin and Raijin, though. Fujin and Raijin tagging along as usual. I guess that makes up the whole disciplinary committee. You're the squad leader. Good luck to you. Instructor. I hate it when people wish me luck. <laughs> Fucking douchebag. <laughs> Save those words for a bad student that needs them, eh? The way the other two are just laughing the whole time as well. Okay, then. Good luck, Safer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. The 90s high school drama. Add instructor Trape to the list. The list? What is it? Don't worry about the list. <laughs> It'll be fine, I'm sure. Definitely not going to get murdered in like three years. Well, then. You're all assigned to Squad B. I'll be the instructor in charge. Teamwork is of the utmost importance. Let's get through this exam, everyone. Listen up. Teamwork means staying out of my way. It's a squad B rule, and don't you forget it. <laughs> Zao. Everyone here? Oh, I love Headmaster Sid. The shipping list? <laughs> he just, like, adds people to the list if he's like, damn. Kind of sexy, actually. Add Inspector Quistus to the list. <laughs> it's been a while, everyone. How's everyone doing? This exam will involve 12 members from Squad A through D. You will be proceeding to a real battlefield. Obviously, the battles are for real. Life and death. Victory and defeat. Honor and disgrace. God, I'm glad I'm sending my 16 to 17 year old students into this. Each of these go hand in hand. There's only one way or the other. How about it? Are you still up for it? 
love the way he moves too. It is so headmaster. <laughs> the lean forward and the look around like, oh, there, my silly students. You'll be accompanied by nine seed members. Should you fail, these members shall get the job done. They always do. Well, that's one less worry on my mind. The pride of Balam Garden, the elite military mercenary force, seed. Learn from them, obey their commands, and accomplish the mission. Prove yourself worthy of becoming a member of Seed. <laughs> this slow examination again. Best of luck. He's just so animated, man. He's such a trip, this guy. I always pictured him played by Robin Williams. Robin Williams would do a great freaking job of him. The way he's both funny and kind of worrying. <laughs> I'm free! Let's get a move on. Let's get a move on. We've yet to have a gunblade specialist in Seed. That's why I'm hoping you and Safer will join us in Seed. Now go. Join Seed. Seed! No, I don't want to... Ah, fuck me. I mean, I could get the Quistus card later. <sighs> the blurry Sid model? Yeah, Sid. I mean, <laughs> when it was zoomed in, they did that, but yeah. Once they zoomed out, they were like, fuck it. Just go with the original model. Yo, Squall. Show me your gun blade, will ya? Come on, man. Just a peek. He's such a badass. <laughs> He's just like ignoring everyone. Fine. Yeah, yeah. Why are you being so selfish, Scrooge? Say something, will ya? What's on your mind? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I fucking love Quistus. She's such a fucking giggly on nature throughout all of this. He's so emo. Yeah, he is. I wonder if I can just reload anytime. Nope. I have to be able to access the menu. See, this is what I mean. Imagine you're trying to relax before an exam and there's a dude just jumping up shadow boxing in front of you. Stop that. It's annoying. Chicken wuss. Why did you kill me? <laughs> well, see, safe is better. I'm sorry. <laughs> Knock it off. <laughs> the character model movements in this were actually way better than I remembered. The way she sat down and you could see the front of her legs bounce up a little bit from the impact. That was great. Instructor. Who was that girl in the infirmary this morning? Was someone there? I didn't notice anybody. Is there a problem? No. Not really. This is great. I have chicken worse than a guy who just reached puberty in my squad. Kid, you are 17. You are barely past puberty as it is too. <laughs> okay. Wait, I still can't open the menu why please free me I shouldn't be getting off I mean that's a good lesson to anybody who's currently with their instructor and in front of other people oh god I'm never gonna get to reload therefore with your seed rank uh, it doesn't matter you could always just do the test to catch it back up this school has a harem. <laughs> that's true. I have three GFs all to myself. So that's the vessel. Ain't no turning back now. Huh? You scared too? Hey, you guys are the last. Hurry up and get in. Don't disappoint me now. Come on, move it. I don't wanna. Just let me load my Jesus Christ. Hurry, Skull. Oh, thank God. Do I exit? Sure. Why the fuck not? Used to be like safer as a kid. Now I don't know. You used to be that angsty? That's another level of angsty in my opinion. <laughs> okay, so. Rot row. <laughs> I load this one. This is right after I got the mini mod card, I believe. Bum, bum, bum. Yep, okay. Let's go get the Quistus card and then we'll redo that stuff. 
<laughs> Don't change into your uniform. Now I know. Training center. I think the cafeteria is at the top ish. Parking lot. This was the dormitory, right? It's the cafeteria on the right. Um, um. It's always the character who gets better as you get older. Safer, safer is debatable. Yeah. Library. Am I fucking blind? Where the hell is the cafeteria? I really am niji blind. I can't even get away from the allegations anymore. How did I walk past that the first time? My brain. Oh my god. He's just a prick here? Yeah, I mean, he's still pretty young. There we go. Hey, which one of you is the Quistus dude? The guy in the back. I knew it. Quistus uh, trip groupie number one. What do I need to do to get closer to the oh lovely Quistus? Snap out of it. You'll never be a seed because you're always too busy thinking about her. He's probably one of the dudes who failed his exam <laughs> because she went with him. The guy in the back. Play cards? Hell yeah. Okay, so this guy has Quistus. Means I need to be a bit more careful. But not too much. You know what? A six is good compared to a triple five. We'll go with that. And he immediately threw out Quistus. Our luck is changing. He can actually take Ifrit. That's the fucking terrifying thing. He can actually take Ifrit. Which makes my strategy here. Oh, fucky wucky. <laughs> That's okay. I'll do my best. Oh, you actually went for that. That's kind of shocking. Oh, the only thing I can take it with is Ifrit. I fucked myself. <laughs> Fuck. Um, shit. He may actually win this one. I may lose Ifrit and have to reload. Uh, <laughs> I have to play on the defensive for now. See what my next move is. Well, he didn't defend Quister, so that's a good start. He can't take that, and he couldn't take Ifrit if I put Ifrit down here. I mean, it just makes sense, right? It also takes away my ability to take Quistus, though. Which is... Oh, wait. No, I can do this one. And then I don't have to worry. Yeah, he can't take a 7 from the bot top. Okay. And then I still have E for it. He defended Quistus. He can take the Glacial Eye back. That's fine. If I throw Minimog here... Then I might still be able to take out whatever he throws down with Ifrit. You've activated my trap card! Enjoy the Shadow Worm. And thank you for the Quistus. Ace trumps everything. Yeah, Ace is like above a 9. It's a full on 10. So yeah. Quistus card acquired. You're good. Play me again, okay? No. So now, if I really wanted to break the game... What I would do right now would be to um, level up my AP until a point where I got a uh, card mod and then just start collecting the cards that can be refined into crazy good magic. And if you do that, you can eventually just one shot everything within like the first couple hundred missions. <laughs> couple hundred missions is a bit of an extension. You can pretty much one shot everything for a good amount of time, but we're not going to do that because that would be silly. Instead, we're going to get changed and we're going to go back to where we were. We just wanted to get the Christus card in case we end up losing it later. Um, Card mod is way too OP for the early game. Yeah, for real. Okay, so we're just going to skip through this. <laughs> the running made me giggle. Score looks like a little bug. <laughs> I love it though. Oh, you can't skip these FMVs? Yet. Oh, we have to see his backflips again then. I do like the tattoo as well. Could theoretically craft the Lionheart now, I think, just through the card game. That's fucking crazy. That I did not know. The running is goofy. <laughs> I mean, it's not meant to be at three times speed. I promise you it looks better at normal speed, but... I mean, we've got to get through a lot of shit. <laughs> boom, boom. Uh, phone Vivo. Uh, keep in mind, please read my chat rules. You'll notice that rule number 14 says, Do not tell me when you're going to sleep. Just feel free to leave whenever you want to. But yeah, that's a rule that we added a couple weeks ago that people still aren't paying attention to, so just for the future. Do you need the magazine first? You don't actually need magazines, no, surprisingly. Um, the magazines tell you which items you need, but as long as you have the items, you can actually craft the things you need. You memorized your own rule numbers? 
Some of them. <laughs> I don't know all of them, but I know 14 was the newest one, so. So I know that's that one. Bum, ba, bum, 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 bum. Just gonna talk to him twice again, too. Just to have that ability. Can I card game you? No. He doesn't want to card game me yet. I'll get you later, Headmaster. That's a promise. Bum, 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 bum. Makes sense, but I'm curious why you'd add that. Add what? The 14th rule? Do you mean the 14th rule? Bum, 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 bum. Um, basically, if that's what you're asking, it's because it ends up derailing the conversation every now and then and making a bunch of people all say goodnight to the same person. And it also, um, in general, it can sometimes just make me feel bad. Like, just straight up. I like, cause, like, I get it because it's annoying. For me, it's less the annoying aspect and it's more the fact that, yeah, I don't like seeing a bunch of people essentially saying, hey, I'm going to bed now. Bye, Fu-chan. It's like, feel free to go to bed. But I mean, if you say it and then a bunch of other people say it at the same time, it feels like people are essentially getting bored. Even though I know that's not what people are actually saying. They're just saying, hey, I'm heading out now. But it can be depressing if a bunch of people will at the same time say like, oh, I'm getting sleepy. Time to go to bed. Kind of thing. Okay. We're almost caught up back to the point we were at. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Hurry, Squall. I mean, you stopped me. You're the one who stopped me from moving in, Quistus. To the vessel now. What if I don't? Where do you think you're going? Fine. Fuck you guys. <laughs> I'll get in your stupid vessel. And we'll return to normal speed. We'll get used to it, Foo. Yeah, I just have to keep uh, re-saying it now until people get used to the rule. I mean, I think it's been up there now for like two, maybe even three months, but people are still learning. Hi, Quistis. I love Shu. Well, these are the members of Squad B. See, school may be antisocial, but he is also loyal, I guess, respectful. The way he stood up to greet her, <laughs> that's something. Nice to meet ya. Pleased to meet you. And he did a proper salute. She is a higher ranking officer after all. Safer, how many times has it been now? Ugh, oh, I just love these exams. <laughs> oh, the poor boy's been held back so many times. <laughs> I wonder if he's older than Quistus. I never actually checked that. He's very respectful of authority. Oh yeah, military raised. I'll explain the current situation and the mission. Be seated. Our client for this mission is the Dalit Dukedom Parliament. A request for seed was made 18 hours ago. Dalit has been under attack by the G Army since about 72 hours ago. 49 hours into the battle, Dalit abandoned their position in the inner city. Currently, they've retreated into the nearby mountains and are reorganizing their troops. That's the current status. Now on to the mission objective. You guys are going to be meat shields that slow them down so the other enemy can regroup. <laughs> oh, man. Pretty much. <laughs> Some people can probably only catch you live every few months, so it may take longer. Yeah, that's why I never have any problem with it. It's just, yeah, I keep repeating it every now and then. And see, there we go again. Somebody who just said it like three minutes after I mentioned. The <laughs> oh, God damn it. It is what it is. <laughs> According to our reports, the G Army is mopping up the Dalit troops in the mountain region. We're going to make a landing at Lapin Beach. We're to eliminate the remaining G Army within the city and liberate it ASAP. Afterwards, Seed members will intercept any G Army forces trying to make their way into the city from the mountain region. So we get to be good meat shields. <laughs> so what are we supposed to do? Seed candidates are to eliminate the G army inside the city. Sounds important. Sounds boring. <laughs> I love safer. So what you're saying is, we do all the little dirty work. It hardly needs to be said, but the order to withdraw takes priority. Do not forget. We're almost there. Why is the camera shaking so much? We're on a boat, like a motorboat, a super fast motorboat. We anticipate a battle as soon as we disembark. Just be prepared. That's all. Any questions? Talk to Quistus. 
Sure. Talk to Christus, talk to Safer, talk to Sal. Sure, let's talk to Safer. <laughs> Listen up. Our goal for this mission is to mop up all the Galbadian soldiers still left in Dalid. All you boys have to do is take orders from me, the captain. <laughs> Thanks, Safer. So useful. What is it, Skull? Oh, I don't need you to explain things to me. We'll be there soon. Be ready for anything, Skull. My first real battle! I'm getting pretty nervous. Better not piss in your pants. Huh, you talking to me? <laughs> Bastard. Okay, enough talk. We'll be landing pretty soon. Get ready. Roger. All right. Yeah, yeah. Well then, Skull. Go see what's going on outside. No. <laughs> okay, I've got to follow orders. Okay. Good. Because it's my order. <laughs> oh, he's so proud of himself. Fuck you, Safer. How do I... There we go. I have to go looking to the right. <laughs> the high schoolers are meat shields? Yeah, pretty much. This scene is so sick, though. The direction for this. The boat's going across the moon. Bum. Bum, bum, ba, dum, bum. Bum, ba, dum. Music in this fucking slaps as well. This is my favorite scene prior to FF9 happening. Yeah, I love the way he comes out of the boat and you just see his face with the hair blowing in the wind. Bum, 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 ba, dum, bum. In fact, let me turn it up a bit. That's such a good shot. It really shows off how crazy his hair is. Because his hair is literally the opposite of a mullet. A mullet. It's like not, it's short in the front, it's long, it's sorry. It's long in the front, but then short in the back. Oh, and the fire reflected in his eyes. Let's go, baby. It's time for war. So fucking sick, the way they burst through the barriers. And again, just the normal model is coming in. It's so fucking good how they've tied that together. Really showing off the graphics. Yeah, there's a reason this took four PlayStation discs back in the day. <laughs> okay, you're to secure the central square. Be sure to equip your GF before you head into battle. Oh, yeah. Right. I equipped them all to Squall. That wouldn't have been great. <laughs> Let's move out. I'm quiet, buddy, but first... Bum, bum. Have I been giving them all the right things to learn? Bum, bum. Yep. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so now we want to junction GFs. Oh, we have to unjunction them from school first. Okay, so... From now on, he's keeping Ifra. Ifra it, even. <laughs> Zell's gonna get cards so he can have Quetzalcoatl. Fuck. Fuck! Oh, right, he has no magic yet. <laughs> this is where it gets fucking annoying. Um, draw GF card. You don't need magic. You'll be fine. You're a big boy. And you, unfortunately, get Shiva. Which is a fate worse than death for Shiva, but sure, you have no magic either. You know what? You don't get Shiva. Fuck you. School gets two, you get nothing. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Well, I can give him strength, fire, vitality, cure? Yeah. Spirit, scan, or sleep? Sleep. We've got Blizzard. We probably want to make that Thunder. Yeah. That's aggressive. Favoritism? Yeah, I'll admit to my favoritism when it comes to my boys. Safer's a bit of an asshole. <laughs> oh, hey, Selfie. So, like, where are all the enemies? Don't worry about it. I'll deal with them. Bum, bum. Doo-doo. Doo-doo. 
Da, 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 da. Back on the slot one. Bum, ba, dum, bum, 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 bum. Cypher's a bit of a jerk. Yeah. I don't want to do that to Shiva. Plus, he has no magic, so what's the point in giving him the ability to junction things? Although we're about to be able to get some magic. Not the fire. Okay. Let's see what they have. Well, actually, no, we have to murder one first. All oh, right, because I didn't give him a GF, he can't even draw things. Well, I guess we're going to have to kill these guys then. <laughs> and then start. No, I guess Safer doesn't need the ability to draw things. Realistically? Yeah, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. I always enjoyed making all boy parties. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people did that. And I'm sure a lot of people did the all girl parties and just the one main character as well. Doesn't even know how to use items. Yeah, he's kind of stupid. But that's okay. He's our himbo. What are you doing, Safer? Oh, you were standing dramatically for the group attack. <laughs> Get wrecked, Safer? Exactly. He can't do shit. Struck first. Look out! It's Seed! Technically, we're just the recruits. Thank you very much. We are nothing to you guys. We are just children. Safer already has 700 health. Just as his basic thing. That's kind of crazy. God damn, dude. Now I'm just questioning whether I should do some other stuff. Scott C's in charge here. Leave the rest to us. Is what I really want to say, but we're not that strong. Go for it, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. School Zell right now is the way for me. That's a good party. The central square. The central square is up ahead. Hey, are you Galbadian cowards out there? Come out and show your faces. Don't leave me hanging now. What an idiot. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You really do be a himbo. You can see why he failed so many times. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Oh boy, party in this game is really powerful. Yeah, I think mine was Squall, Zell, Irvine if I wanted to do max damage. Just because Zell and Irvine's things, um, limit breaks are so fucking good. These poor Galbadian soldiers are dropping like flies, man. <laughs> Oh, Shiva already learned ice magic or fine. There may be more. All right. I want you guys to scout the area for enemies. Oh, the dog's so cute. Hey, buddy. Oh, it's okay. Oh, you cannot pet the dog. Quit goofing around and scout the area for any enemies. But puppy. Found an enemy. <laughs> Found an enemy, oh Lord Safer. Boom, boom. Is he going to die in one hit? Yep. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Too bad you can't card the soldiers. I think it'd be pretty amazing if you could, like, turn the enemy humans into cards and just use them in your card game for the rest of the world. They look like Nintendogs? Yeah. I think that's all of them. What do you think, Safer? Look at the cute puppy. He wants to play with you. Well then, we're on standby till the enemy comes. Standby. How boring. Can't even talk to him. Be nice to the puppy, Safer. He wants to be your friend. <gasps> he ran away. Oh no, poor buddy. He's scratching his neck. Uh-oh. Sounds like it's starting. Bring it on. Get out of here! Scram! Oh, he slapped the dog. Hey, Galbadian soldiers! What are you waiting for? Come show me what you got! It's truly the Vegeta in this. <laughs> Shiki! MSHTS, thank you for donating the full funds. Punch rush, booyah, punch rush, booyah, punch rush, booyah. Yeah, pretty much. Just the speed spam of a quick, like, 9,999 punches. Nothing. 
You, you good, Zell? The hell? Man, now this is what I call boring. This ain't right, man. Okay, puppy. The puppy's doing good. Still keeping us waiting. That's it. I can't take it anymore! What is this? Some kind of dog training? You might need it, buddy. This is why you failed so many times. <laughs> Dolphin Rush? Dolphin Rush looks cool. Not as good as Tifa's Dolphin Kick. Oh, the good boy is howling. Very sneaky soldiers. Very sneaky. <laughs> My god. Safer isn't even hiding. Safer is in the damn open. It's the enemy. Where the hell are they going? Hey, what is that up there? Our next destination. Fell off how immediately he abandoned orders. But that's against orders. Weren't you just saying how bored you were? Skull! I'm not your mommy. Don't try to drag me into this shit. You deal with daddy by yourself. I stand by the captain's decision. Captain's decision? You want to wreck some havoc too, don't you? It's a good opportunity to test out my training. Thanks to you, I feel like I can take on anyone. Even if they do fight dirty, like you. See, that bonding. There's a, <laughs> the tension, man. The sexual tension. <laughs> You'll thank me when the time comes. What the hell? I thought you guys didn't get along. You're like old buddy-buddy now. Listen, this ain't no ordinary battle. It's an exam. An important one. I'm telling you, we have to stick to orders. Then you stay here. I don't need any Boy Scouts. What was that?! Don't take him seriously, Zell. Safer, if we're gonna go, let's hurry. The enemy is headed for the facility. We, Squad B, are to secure the summit. Move out! All right. Fine. <laughs> you know what? He may be a grumpy douche, but he's our grumpy douche. At least he's getting us into some fun battles. <laughs> we. Bum, 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 bum. Oh my god, one Galbadian? Dude, this isn't going to go well for you. Why? Why are you here? Yes, yeah, I'm. Jesus, dude. <laughs> Bonding like men? Yep. Bonding over there. Request to murder people. That's all they really want to do. Wish you could keep the dog. Honestly? Yeah, same. He's a good puppy. Shit. I'm confused by what's what. He's beginning to stock a lot of fire magic. Potion. Phoenix down. We're gonna need that. We've already let school die once. <laughs> Zell looks like Cloud Strife. A uh, tiny, tiny bit. I can see what you mean. It's mostly just the hair. What business do they have with the communication tower now? Thank you for the information. Now I know what the facility is. As a child, I used to play at this communication tower. It was already closed down then, and uh, it was careless. I see that's Cloud Strife right there. <laughs> if you know Final Fantasy VII, this right here is, yeah... Cloud when he tagged along with Sephiroth and Zack. <laughs> was Zell look like a chicken or that guy from Kingdom Hearts? A guy from Kingdom Hearts, I'm pretty sure, was based off of Zell. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure there was one that looked so much like him. Uh, 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 who are you? Don't worry. We're seed candidates. We've been dispatched by Garden. So what's going on up there? The Galbadian soldiers have entered the communication tower. On top of that, that place has always been a nesting ground for monsters. If you guys are going up, be careful. Uh, help! And been murdered. <laughs> spoiler, Folger? Where's the spoiler? It's set in the past. <laughs> Struck first. Listen up. 
The finishing blow determines the experience. Save it for me. Maybe I won't even get experience. Maybe I'm going to card him. You don't know what I'd do with my life, Safer. In fact, what can I draw from that? Yeah, not useful. Card. Now we play the what happens first. He gets turned into a card or do I murder him too quick? We find out. Yay! We got an Anaconda card. That's a pretty rare. Ventus? <laughs> he does kind of look like Ventus as well. But I think one of the guys from Twilight Town is the one that looks like Zell. I can't remember for sure though. Would or wouldn't? Nah, not for me. I'm sorry. The Anaconda? Not humanoid enough for me and not interesting enough for me. <laughs> Monsters, huh? That sucks. More fun for us. Come on. Fun? Please. This guy dead. Ouch. No, he's fine. <laughs> he's just having a Yamcha moment. He's doing fine. They have mouths. Isn't that the only thing you need? Oh. <laughs> it has a mouth though. Two people in chat. I didn't say it didn't have a mouth. I just said not for me. Up to you guys if you would, but not for me. He's going to be dead before this happens. <gasps> no, we did get some fire magic. Sick. I did say one time I would with the basilisk. There are better basilisks in other games though. Ooh, HP junction. Shit just got wild. Okay. Junction, magic, HP. Now we're going to need cure. Yeah. Vitality will change to scan, I guess. Yeah. That's unfortunate. <laughs> we'll sleep. We'll put the spirit down a bit lower. 12 from Blizzard, sure. Till we get something like cure or cure. I got wait. 13 from scan. Holy shit. That's not so bad. Okay, now we have 859 health on school, so he's going to get limit breaks pretty damn fast, and he's got his strength up. Shit's going to go crazy. Snakes have two, though. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't even want to know what you're talking about right now. <laughs> and he died in one hit. Fuck. Okay, good. He only had thunder and cure. Remember to change what GF is learning? Oh, shit. Thank you. I need to educate my girlfriend in the right way. Nope. That phrase didn't sound right. <laughs> Not even a funny way. That was just a weird way. Um, ba -ba -bum -ba -bum. Elemental Defense J would be very useful. Take a while, but man, that'll help us in battles. My girlfriend, Ifrit. <laughs> I love Ifrit. Get down, idiots. I love how Zell isn't even bothered to go all the way down. <laughs> The generator is up and running. No problem with the boosters. What the hell are they doing? Cable disconnection confirmed. Beginning exchange process. Roger. Repairs? Who cares? This must be your first real battle. You scared? I don't know. I try not to think about it. I love battles. I fear nothing. The way I look at it, as long as you make it out of a battle alive, you're one step closer to fulfilling your dream. What? Your dream? You have one too, don't you? Sorry, but I'm gonna pass on that subject. Yo, let me in on it too! <laughs> Zao, neither one of them likes you, my boy. Just... You don't have to keep inserting yourself like this. It feels bad. Mind your own business. I warned you. Freaking hell. He's such a genki, bro. He's doing his best. <laughs> What's the matter, Zell? Swatting flies? <laughs> Damn you! <laughs> We're just getting defeated at every fucking turn. There you are. I like how seamlessly they implemented the FMVs into the rest of the actual content as well. And they perfectly character like like they perfectly capture each character in their entrance scenes. Her doing the tiki pedal. So fucking cute. Also, how did she end up at the 
top of this hill rather than the bottom of the hill she fell down. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Are you Squad B? Mm hmm. I'm a messenger named Selfie from Squad A. The Squad Captain's safer, right? Where's he? That'd be him. He's off doing his own thing. One of these days, I'm going to tell you about my romantic dream. Oh, your squad leader's an idiot. God, this sure is tough. <laughs> Captain! Wait up! Well, she just jumped. What are you waiting for? Come on, come on! I mean... You get minus points for this, but it's the coolest fucking way! Skull. You're not gonna... It's a cliff, man. You're not gonna jump off. Selfie did it. Selfie can survive it. I can survive it. That's the plan. Yeet! Are you serious? Geronimo! <laughs> I love how he's like, dude, it's a cliff. You wouldn't do that, would you? And I'm just like, bruh, I will. And so will you because of that. All the little reasons they detect, detect points. Yeah. They're just like, oh, you didn't follow the mission parameters exactly? Fuck you. Wreck him, school! And he's dead. <laughs> the one hit KO, man. He jumps with his friend, I stand. No, you're not supposed to jump off cliffs just because other people do it. That's like the lesson. <laughs> well, let's get going. Has everyone equipped a GF? You haven't forgotten, have you? She says as she joins the party and tells us, hey, give me a GF. <laughs> okay, so I need to take one away from school. Which I'm not going to like, do <laughs> I do want him to have HP junction, but I also want him to have strength junction. Uh, she can have Shiva. I feel like Ifrit being schools just makes the most sense. Uh, did I lose my elemental? No, I didn't. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, you get Shiva. You're more worthwhile than Safer was. Strength. Oh, two people have strength. I have no magic. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, well, you know what we're going to be doing for the next 12 hours again? Oh, Jesus Christ. You can use items, actually. And also, do you have? Question mark? Sure. She's renting a girlfriend? Yeah. She doesn't quite get one the way we do, but she can rent mine. This is the part of the map we abandoned before. <laughs> bum, ba, bum, bum, bum. Oh, shit. And you're the one person I can't actually draw with. Okay, this is the next three hours of our lives, guys. You can transfer magic from inactive characters, Fuchans. Oh, I know. I can do that for one of them with um, Quistus, but... Not the other ones. That's just why I didn't really bother when it came to Safer. I figured I'd just get these three together before I started drawing things. But I can also move school's magic around so that it doesn't like slow them down and they can all three be drawing things at the same time. In fact, yeah, I should do that next battle. <laughs> Let's kill this guy right quick. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Okay, so I can give you like 20. Then do the same thing to Zell. And they can all be drawing. And same thing with the fires. Oh dear god. Wait, no. He's got a bunch of those. I can just have him draw those. I can give all of Quistus's to Selfie. Split. Give him like 30. Why is it going down? What the fuck? Do the same for Selfie. Ah, oh, the mechanic 
snakes in this game that we have to play with. Um, I don't know if they have scan. They definitely have blizzard. So once again. What? What the fuck are you doing? I'm only holding right. Game. What? Oh, that's way easier. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Well played, game. You taught me a mechanic. I didn't necessarily like it. Two, three. There we go. Okay, now we're ready to draw. Safer needs more discipline. But he'd be less hard if he had discipline. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Thunderstalk. 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 School has the GF. Other people are just renting them. He has to share. Yo, rent a girlfriend. The anime actually began here. Who knew? Where's the water junction? I don't have anyone I can steal water from yet. <laughs> Back to the draw, Sudan. Yeah, for a while, in fact. We need a lot of magic on these two. <laughs> um, 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 um. Ah. Discipline the disciplinary committee. Honestly, it makes me wonder how he became part of the disciplinary committee. If anything, they should be working on him more than anything. Gonna have to kill this guy's fool? No, we're not. We'll be fine. <laughs> we'll just keep stealing things from him. Is it just me or does chat keep freezing? Yeah, YouTube's having a weird day. It hasn't been as bad as it has been in the past, but it's definitely been glitching on and off. Must have been volunteers. Yeah, I guess they are sadistic. Oh. Damn it. Poor Zell didn't get all his thunders. My baby's so weak. Wow, he still needs thunder. <laughs> Probably just picked someone to keep him occupied. Maybe. Maybe it was just their way of distracting him. Like a kid with toys. Oh, finally. My boy, that took you forever. I'm not liking how long it's going to take you to get all the cures. <laughs> like the beautiful big moon in the background. I don't even see a moon in the background. Am I blind? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Kind of thought it was something he made up. I can remember now. No, I think he... Wait. Unless that's backstory that happens later. They definitely called him the disciplinary committee. Ah, sweet. She can start healing us up. Oh, shit. Everyone else is pretty much good at this point. And then we'll try to card him. <laughs> but that probably won't work either. Oh, I fell always the slowest. The moon in the bridge area? Oh, they may have been late. Got ya. Oh, shit, we're good now. Caught him, boy. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. <laughs> it was worth trying, though. Yo, let's fucking go. Free Gizard. Ah. FF noises are so retro. True. They're worth listening to, though. They don't have too bad of a sound. Like, some of the 80s stuff is really out there. Where you get, like, the laser beam noises that are like... Ooh, this is a new guy, actually. What do I need from you? I need fire, apparently. The school doesn't. <laughs> Shit. Okay. It's a bit bigger and buffer than the other ones. The baby croc noises? <laughs> do you mean croc like the shoes or croc like the crocodile? Is there any way to play the FF games of old on PC in a natural way? Or is it a possible thing with... The oh. Um... Uh I'm pretty sure you can get, like, versions that are just, like, the PC. Yeah, you can. You can get the PC version on Steam. Um, a non-remastered version, so the original version. 
I actually quite like the remastered version. For this speeding up thing, and also I just like the character models. I like school looking more Dissidia like. But yeah, you can play the old ones. And you can get the remasters as well. Yeah, you can get either one. If you can't... Wait. Do, do, do. The remastered one comes with quality of life. Yeah, but I know a lot of people do prefer like the look of the older sprites, which is fair. I like the new character models, but some people think they don't look as good for like the art style. They prefer the more 90s style. Like the longer hair. Thanks, folks. Since when are those games on Steam? They've definitely been on there for a while. Oh, I've got everything on school now. Shit. Um, well. Do nothing, school. <laughs> um, shit. You still need to draw things. Blizzards now. School, can you not? I, I can't. There's no option to not do anything. Bum, 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 bum. No, school, stop. <laughs> stop trying to do things, school. Been on Steam for a few years now. Yeah, I thought they'd been on Steam for a long time. I might be misremembering that, though. Uh, I actually use my brain now so I don't overdo things. Ah, she's done with fire. Still needs blizzards. Just had an ad interrupt the stream on me that's not called an interruption that's called me getting my bills paid if you don't want ads join the membership if you can't join the membership you have to deal with ads that's just part of life so many pixels hell yeah especially in the fmvs <laughs> the way school looked in the original version was decent don't get me wrong i liked it for its time it was fine but i still remember everyone clowning on that image when rhino was like you're the best looking man here. And he zooms in on his face and everything's so pixelated and off center. <laughs> that shit's hilarious to me. You're the best looking guy here. Exactly that line. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. I think we're on their final things now, so this shouldn't take too much longer. Oh shit, she's done with... Blizzards. Oh, she still needs scans. Shit. Okay, not long to go. You play an FF8 Remastered? Hell yeah. This is saving me so much time for drawing magic. If I wasn't playing FF8 Remastered, we'd be here for like 12 hours. Ooh, he took one more than one attack too. Bum, 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 bum. Must be close to finishing these guys' stocks off. Selfie looks like she's dancing. Yeah, she's got that energy about her too. She's definitely a dances with the lights off kind of gal. Did not mean to attack him. <laughs> Whoops. It's fine for now. Oof, self is close to death. At least we'll actually be able to junction some stuff after this. Question is, does she die before she gets everything she needs? <laughs> That's our game this time. No, no limit break just yet. She's dancing with tears in her eyes. <laughs> Different song from the one I was mentioning, but yeah, that works too. She keeps dancing on her own. This guy surprisingly does not attack that much. Oh, finally. Okay. Go, go nuts, kiddo. I'm gonna get one more draw here, but you get to pop off now. No, you don't. Sorry. <laughs> okay, now you do. Oh, fuck yeah. I'll just beat him to death. 
Oh, you are so... F hmm. Fucking luck he had there to not get murdered. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, now we're done drawing things. We can finally use Quistus's magic to heal us because she doesn't need to... Oh, I can't use it. We can use Selfie's magic to heal us. Bum, bum, bum. Zell, score, perfect. Now, junction magic for both of them. HP, let's get some cure in there. Magic, no idea. Fire, 16. 16, yeah, fire, why not? Perfect, my boy. Strength, oh shit, they can both do strength now. Oh, why not then? 28. Vitality, 19. Spirit, 12. Okay, so we got some decent bonuses there. Now we save. Or not. So this is the communication tower. Sure is big. Uh. Ah! <laughs> yeah, run away from safer. The camera angles in this game are also pretty damn amazing. Cowards. Hey! He didn't even stop to speak to her. Captain's getting away. <laughs> God damn, that's so fucking funny. Remember Selfie's Limit being an odd one? Yeah, it just lets you cast magic a bunch of multiple times. It's it's interesting, but it is very... Uh, it's when you need it kind of thing. Did he go up? Hey, Squad B, Captain. Yeah, he's gone. Sorry. Blind found. Score stocked 10 blinds. Save the menu to save your game. Bum, ba, bum, bum. I don't think I've missed anything yet. I think we're doing okay. We are going to try to do something in a bit that I don't know if it's going to work. Because technically you're supposed to farm for boosts and stuff. But we're going to see. I think we can take this lift up. Want to go up? Sure. At least you said up rather than down. That could have been worse. It's gotcha in a way. Yeah, basically. It's just random draw. Wow, this lift is pretty cool. Don't get too excited or you'll fall. Like I'm really going to. She already fell down a cliff. Selfie, love yourself more. <laughs> Major Biggs, there's been a report of a monster-shaped shadow on top of the tower. Major Biggs? Be quiet, I'm busy. This goes like this, and... Jeez, what's with these crappy old tools? And... And why do I have to make all the repairs? Ah! He got electrocuted. <laughs> Biggs and Wedge? Yeah, they're in every game as well. Everybody knows about Sid, but not everybody knows about Biggs and Wedge being everywhere too. There's a very graphic novel feel at times. Very three-point perspective shots. Yeah. I just like the cinematography, even in the FMVs. Sir, I'll check around while the repairs are being done. Let's see... Oh, let's see. Hmm. Put this here. And... Uh, this goes here. And there. It's complete. How the hell did Safer get up here and not alert these guys? But again, the fact that I could move while this is going on. That was so rever fucking lucianary for the time. Look at that. Look at that shit. Full FMV, but combined with the character models. Shit was mind breaking. <laughs> they were in FF7 as well. Hell yeah. And they're in FF14. They're in a bunch of FFs. Along with Sid. Oh, I think you got it working, Major Biggs. Oh, look behind you. I tried to make you look behind you, my boy. He didn't listen to me. I like the look of the siege uniform too. Well, it's not as good as the formal uniform. Damn, now that's a serious fucking. What do you even call those? Radio tower, antenna. Cutscenes are also cool. Yeah, especially the way they cut in so like, realistically. It feels like you're still in the world while you're doing it. 
What do you think you're doing? Huh? Likewise, mister. What do you think you're doing? Uh, hey, what happened to all the soldiers below? Wedge, take care of these twerps. Wait. Wedge? <laughs> yeah, about that. I... Uh... Well, uh, I seem to be done here, so I'll just be on my... I, I'm leaving. Move it, move... Ah. Sorry to crash the party. Uh, 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 are you crazy? Just shut up. Safe is badass. <laughs> Even if he did somehow ride up the elevator, but somehow not get to the top before us. I guess he jumped off early to check out some lower fours. Prepare for the worst, you brats. Yeah, prepare for trouble and make it double. You got anything fun for me? Because I could use it. Draw failed. Fuck that. Give me it. Oh, as soon as. Fuck yeah. Don't forget. No, no, no. Spoilers. I know. I know. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to miss anything big like that. Bum, 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 bum. That's not this phase, though. That's the next phase. Dude initiated the fight and doesn't even help. It's just like, you know, the whole cool characters don't look at explosion things. <laughs> right now, it's cool characters don't join the fight. They just let us do the fighting. But yep, even during bosses, we have to draw enemies. Wedge, where are you? Where were you? No pay for this month. Gorge. Okay, boss. Let's see what we can draw from. Okay, good. He has nothing that we actually need. So we just need to stock up these as soon as. Bum, 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 bum. But we should probably kill Biggs first. You know what? I've thought about it, and we should kill him. Death is the only option. Especially since he's hurting Selfie. No, no, no. No draw. No, no, attack that guy. Fuck me. I'm such an idiot. Wait, it doesn't attack. It doesn't auto aim to the one you attacked last time. That's going to be a lot more annoying. <laughs> yeah, you have to always choose the right target. That's freaking annoying. Major, we're doomed. Stop your whining. Oh, the fucking cure. Fuck you. That undid so much of my hard work. <sighs> now I have to do the whole thing over again. Asshole. At least I got the crit hit. Bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum. <sighs> Too early. Oh shit, they're gone. <laughs> I thought... Wow, okay. I didn't know that was going to happen so quickly. I thought we had to deal a certain amount of damage to them, but apparently not. What the hell is it? And Selfie just smacks it with her stick. <laughs> um, I'm going to need that, please. No, I'm going to need Siren first. So this is a fun mechanic they have in this game where you... Oh, wow, we got it on the first go. That, like, never happens. Some boss monsters have GFs that you have to draw. Double is so fucking good. That does mad things for your magic power. Um, but yeah. We essentially just got a brand new GF. Brand new girlfriend. Just by paying attention and taking care of each other. Let's cure some people before this goes on too painfully. Then we'll continue to draw doubles. Yeah, Mr. Steal Your Girl. We stole his girlfriend right out from under him. <laughs> it's such a fucked up way to look at it. Okay, doubles, please. And this is going to be the next 10 minutes of this stream. <laughs> Draw failed? Man, that makes it so much worse. He does big damage with his storm breath. The NTR route. Yeah. Turns out this game was all just about NTR all along. Who knew? Zhao is getting his ass beat. And school can just not... 
draw well at all. He's missing so many times. We're probably going to have to give up on these doubles soon. They're so slow. That does so much damage. Shit, I didn't mean to stop that. You know what? That's enough doubles for now. Fuck this guy. Now we just attack him to death. We really hate Selfie for some reason. Which is weird, because she's not even my hardest hitter. Oh, we're going to need a cure. Yeah, Jesus. Okay, back in fighting form. Still hits like a bitch, man. Ooh, that's dangerous. There we go. Selfie was the one who drew first blood. <laughs> that's why he's so grumpy with her. I thought he just thought she was cute. I thought he was doing the little playground bully shit. I need one more cure on him. And then attack. Oof, dude. Come on, Squall. That hardly does any damage anyway, so I'm just going to make him my resident cure, bitch. Oh, man. Poor boy doesn't have the strength power up everyone else does. Damn it, I'm still missing the crit hit. Ozel? Yeah, he feels so weak. It's okay, he's doing his best. That's all that matters. He's still part of the team. We still care about him. If anything, he can probably grab us some doubles. Nope, Storm Breath again. Fuck me. Someday he'll get a chance to do something useful. Today might not be that day. Oh, the bitch slap. Wait, what did I... I did quit the quarter... Oh, that was an accident. Well, that's fine. Gotta say, he should be low enough now. Don't die now! I was about to rinse a kook in your ass! Come on, man! Damn it! I missed my opportunity again. No, rinse a kook! Fuck you. That was the kind of guy with the best ultimate. Yeah, when we eventually get him a power up to his strength, he'll be worthwhile. Until then, he's just got to kind of be sitting there for most of it. Didn't receive XP, but we got two cottages and two G returners. No weapons monthly. And we got Siren. You got edged? Yeah, I did. <laughs> he didn't even look like he was close to death. He wasn't like down on the ground or looking injured fuck me squad b captain excuse me i have new orders he's only just noticing she even exists <laughs> all seed members and seed candidates are to withdraw at seven at 1900 hours assemble at the shore withdraw there are still enemies around i know but i'm just a messenger in order to withdraw takes priority I don't want to miss the vessel. 
What time did you say? Like I said, all seed members and seed candidates are to withdraw at 1900 hours. Assemble at the shore. 1900 hours? We only have 30 minutes. You got 30 minutes to get down to the shore. Better run. And <laughs> he takes the only fucking elevator. Hey! Wait for us! Who the hell does he think he is? Why don't you ask him? Let's go. <laughs> God damn it. 30 minutes. It's an actual timer. I love this game for shit like this. I love how Biggs is still there, but Wedge is just dead completely. It's gone. <laughs> Why would I want to heal Quistus? <laughs> is my question. Okay. Good people. I wonder if any of that magic is useful. We didn't get nearly enough doubles or Asunas. Bum, 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 bum. That may be good for Asuna. No. Double, because we probably don't have enough. She only got six? Damn, Zell. Pathetic. That's not great either. <laughs> oh, shit, yeah, no. Okay, we got barely any of anything. Let's just get the hell out of here. Want to go down? Hell yeah. And see, the timer does keep timing while you're in the middle of a pause screen. Just keeps going. <laughs> the noises he makes. <laughs> Those little twerps are the targets. Now go! Go and destroy them! <laughs> so many cases IRL where I imagine that corner timer running down. Yeah. It's one of the realest things about this game. Okay. Now. The thing about this next part... <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll explain once we get out there he's so tuny he's so tuny oh my god I like him he's cute right it's part of his charm dude just die you are just slowing us down bam, bam, bam. oh shit I accidentally let Shiva learn something stupid and I have an equipped siren. What the fuck is wrong with me? Okay, you learned ice magic refine. That's great. Next elemental attack, Jay. Sure. That's so long. You know what? Yeah, we're going to stick with it anyway. Siren, you can learn. You already have status attack and status def... Wow. That's kind of crazy. Life magic refine is really good. Tool refine is really good. She has a lot of good things. Oh, shit. Um, find hidden save slash draw points. I will go with life magic for now. Time to break HP. You're damn all right. Not quite yet. Okay, who am I going to give her to? Probably Squall. Like, if I can give him a sleep attack too, that'd be pretty sick. Plus, he gets a magic junction. <laughs> Why not? Why do you do that as two separate things? Just let me junction my magic, douche. Okay, Blizzard 19, sleep 20, though. 20 it is. Now we have a status attack. 10% chance of blinding someone. I can't use sleep. Oh, because it's on something else. So I should use sleep. I can find something else for sleep. I will just give him 1% chance to block everything, thanks to Asuna. Bum, bum. Magic with sleep. Okay. That's okay. We can go down to 19 instead of 20. So now... <laughs> fuck. If I had blinds, that would be really good. But being able to, like, permanently stun lock someone in sleep is pretty cool as well. I forgot the time is still counting down. We're on to 26.16 left. <laughs> Shit. Um, whoops. Um, fuck me. And all of those things. Let's go! <laughs> School is so e OP. Well, we're about to need it because of this thing. Giant spider mech. Now, the thing is, in this first battle, you cannot damage him at fucking all. Well, you can, actually, but it just doesn't work. Can't escape yet, either. So, we'll, we'll play this charade for a little while. At least I've got some thunder attack on my boy, school. 
Oh, he attacks so slow, it's terrifying. <laughs> I don't know what magic he has either. Protects? Oh, that's pretty good. But I don't think we have time to actually steal things from him properly. <laughs> oh, which is unfortunate. We probably just have to smashy smash him. With my two that actually hit hard at least. Zell can keep saving shit. Bum, bum, bum. Here comes the big boy attack. You could, but it takes strategy and it's not worth the time. No, you literally can't in this first fight. In this first fight, you just have to take him down and then run away. You can't actually finish him off. He keeps instantly regenerating. But yeah, in later fights, we're going to try to beat him. But I don't think we've done enough to actually take him down. Which is fine. Because yeah, we don't need the little bonuses that you get for doing that. Selfie's health is so tiny. Does he have cures? Yeah, good. And that's it. Okay. Yeah, you heal her and then we run the fuck away. <laughs> so this is what you're actually supposed to do every time you run into this, uh, this silly spider monster. Because you're not supposed to be able to defeat it. As a timer, you can defeat it. You literally can't in that first fight. I absolutely promise you. Look it up. I know this like the back of my hand. From this point on, we can defeat him. I thought we already busted that thing up. Forget it. Let's go. And it's actually very easy to beat him if you just level the shit out of your Quetzalcoatl, uh, girlfriend. Don't look back. Hell yeah. <laughs> but he ends up rehealing himself like five times. We're going to try to defeat him. Worst case scenario, we miss, we ruin like 20 minutes of our life. That's fine. Just a whole bunch of Quetzalcoatl and thunder attacks. That did a lot of damage. <laughs> Go on, Zell, my boy. Fuck him up. So we don't even have boosts, let alone all the power-ups you can get for your GFs. Let's get the hell out of here. Nah, boy, we're finishing him. Never back down. Never surrender. He can recover as many times as he wants. We'll finish him. Damn it, I didn't even get the crit hit. <laughs> Thunderstorm! Never back down, never what? Never back down, never surrender. You never surrender. Finish our enemies. Even if they're down on the ground and begging for life. That's the seed way. Is this some kind of crab game? Pretty much. <laughs> Men in this part of the game, not the first battle. Yeah. That's why I kept pointing out. You just can't do it in the first battle. Yeah, at this point, you totally can. You just take some finikin. Let's draw some cure. Hope Selfie doesn't die before I get it. Shit. No, don't heal me yet. Nice. Sure. No, I don't want to sooner. Fuck, I fucked up. <laughs> well, that does nothing. <laughs> I panicked. I got scared. I think he can repair himself five times and then he stays permanently dead. Always a gamble with that one? Yeah. Especially when you're on three times speed. Bum, 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 bum. Not getting the crit hits is really hurting me here as well. Oh, the double thunderstorm though. That's good. Never gonna give up foo. <laughs> Never gonna give foo up. Never gonna let foo down. Never gonna turn around and hurt foo. Keep him down. Zell, do the Quetzalcoatl. There we go. 
bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, ba -dum, bum. This one could be Tao Tao because of metal. <gasps> no Tan Tan, but Tao Tao. That's a cute way to do it. Damn, he's down again immediately. <laughs> we got this. It'll take a while, but it's worth it. I think he gets us something like 500. No, I think like 50 AP. Which is just like the equivalent of doing like a bunch of grinding. The double thunderstorm again. Is that a lightning burb? Yeah, it's Quetzalcoatl. It's one of the gods from, I think, Mayan mythology? Giant lightning bird. There's no end to this, Squall says. <laughs> Don't worry about it. There'll be an end. Just someday. Ah, fuck the ray bomb. That actually hits quite hard. Which actually might be worse for him if I get close enough to use my Squall in the break. Stop telling me the buttons to escape. I ain't ready for that yet. Mesopotamian. Thank you. Okay, it's Mesopotamian. I did not know for certain. <laughs> so I'm glad you pointed it out. Oh shit. Selfie's real close to dying. <laughs> I just realized maybe I should heal Selfie. Or at least start using a limit break. Lightning bird. Draw your cast self. Bum, 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 bum. Not again. It's fine, buddy. Don't worry. One more Quetzalcoatl. Also Aztec? Holy shit. Quetzalcoatl is Mayan, although it's a giant snake. Oh. So there's different Quetzalcoatls? Interesting. Oh, that's a lot of triple damage. We're fine. Didn't do too much damage, actually. Quetzalcoatl, attack, and attack. Now we're back on target. We're not getting out of here, Zell. Quit trying to run away. I always put Squats on Squall, Ifrit on Zell, and Shiva on the other member. Don't know why, it just feels like it fits them. Seems. I, I do it this way just so that, like, Zell doesn't have the power up. So these two can keep attacking while Zell keeps spamming Quetzalcoatl. So in my mind, that's just, like, the best way to build up their damage. We might not even be able to kill this guy now that I think about it. Maybe he just repairs until, like, maybe it isn't just five times is what I'm saying. Oh, God. Maybe he just keeps going. Maybe it's just you have to kill him before he repairs if you're strong enough. Maybe I'm misremembering. But I'm going to keep going for now. Go down again, spider bro. You know you wanna. I just follow GF compatibility. Is that a thing? Oh. No, GF compatibility was a thing. For me, Ifrit kind of makes sense for school as well, because he's angsty. Which I've always kind of linked to fire. Well, he doesn't seem to be going down this time. Bum, 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 bum. It is a thing? Huh. Does it go up the more you have them, like, actually equipped to them? Or is it one of those things where it's just like... You're either compatible or you're not. Oof, there goes the clash again. The clash at Demon Head. The more you cast them. Oh, well, his compatibility has got to be sky high with Zell after this then. <laughs> Since it's all we're doing is spamming it. Score should be close to having his limit break, actually. Of course, you have to be compatible with your girlfriend. Yeah, but normally you get compatible before you choose them. Not the fucking ray bomb. Okay. Um. Cure on Zell. Attack with selfie. Friends are cooking with school. Fuck, fuck. I missed twice. 
Give me friends of fucking Kukin. Perfect. Rough divide, baby. Get fucked, spider bitch. And that's how you defeat the tank early. So now the game actually did want you to run away from that fight and just keep running. But you can just kill it. And then you get all of this craziness. Hypno crown. Instant magic plus 40%. 50 AP. We've learned card mod, life magic refine. Let's fucking go. And he stops chasing us now. But yeah, let me just... Ardmog was Quetzalcoatl. Bum, bum, bum. Under magic refine? Sure, don't mind if I do. Uh, you're still learning elemental attack. Elemental defense. No, we do not need GFHP. Thank you very much. Um, recovery medic tool refine. Let's go with that. Okay. Okay, let's be on our way. Does the three times auto turn off during Renzikuken? Only during the like bits where you actually have to click. Everywhere else it's still there. Chance for a first strike. Card him then. Or you're dead, buddy. You should just take the carding. I just shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. GF received one AP. You don't even give good a F a B B B AP, man. You should show the FMV sequence when you finish. Which FMV sequence? Oh, you mean um, the thing where it chases you down to the beach? I think you still get that. I hope. I hope they haven't gotten rid of that by me killing it. There's no cutscene. I think there should be on the beach, but yeah, not before the beach. Bam, 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 bam. Run, guys. Selfie's gonna die. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, that's like one of the best FMVs. Oh, two enemies. You know what, Selfie? You should do your ultimate attack. Oh, God, Selfie, why are you making this so hard? You're in yet. You. Oh, fuck it. You know what? Not worth it. Just die, Selfie. You gotta be that hard about getting your limit break. Oh, he put him to sleep. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, we will. Anyone who's experiencing this for the first time, they have no idea what's coming. Yeah, fuck it. I have time to save. <laughs> Just chilling. Having a lovely time. Can't believe we actually managed to defeat it. Bum, bum. Oh, you don't get an FMV. Holy shit. That's crazy. <laughs> I've never done that before. Wow. Yeah, maybe I will reload that and do the FMV. <laughs> How'd it go? Man, all they did was get in my way. Being a leader ain't easy. Safe? Safer than ever. <laughs> get it? His, his name's Safer. It's okay. <laughs> Good job. Technically, I guess I could reload right now. I already saved. Uh, we'll get to the next saver. Where's Safer? Uh, about that way. Oh, what are you gonna do with that kid? Just be back at Garden by sundown. You're free till then. Okay. Dismissed. Why are these nerds still following me? Inspector Trape? I need an adult! Okay, you're free to go. You can buy some souvenirs, have a review meeting. It's up to you. I recommend you go back and rest, though. Oh, she doesn't want to play cards with me. That's okay. You guys are friends now? <laughs> he took my fucking car. Hey! Not again, man! There goes Mr. Ego. Might as well walk it. I mean, we have no other option, school. You didn't have to act like that was a choice. The sea breeze sure feels good. 
The whole town filled with the wonderful aroma of the sea. And... That's why my car rusts. The sign's not looking too good either. I Wait, did I save over the save I could have actually used? I sure hope not. <laughs> Just realizing I might have. Found an old issue of Timber Maniacs. You finished reading it. Okay. I'm going to save over slot three. <laughs> Dollar Com Tower. Okay, no good. I didn't save over that one. Bum, ba, bum, 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 bum. The Balamo ST is so good? Yeah, it is. Game, you took a while there. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. <laughs> okay. If I fight that main boss again, then we'll be fine. Bum, 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 bum. We're just going to speed run this real quick. Then run away from the baby. Want three times speed for reading? Oh, if only you could do that, man. Just turn your brain to three times speed. That's what that movie Limitless was all about. <laughs> Save it a different slot and go back for the cutscene. Yeah, that's the plan. We just have to watch some of these cutscenes too. I did save over my one right after the fight because I'm a dumbass. Oh, I really thought they'd still give you this cutscene. That's kind of scary. Really wish you could skip these. <laughs> Is this your cannon route? Nah, we're going back to the other one because I got the extra AP. I just want people to see that cutscene that you get when you run away from the spider. It's really sick. So we're just going to speed run these fights real quick. Run away from the spider. I can't remember what my favorite cutscene in this game is. But this one's definitely up there. Not this one. The one that we're going for. <laughs> the one at the end. I've always thought that the Spooder never actually die until that cutscene. Yeah, I guess. We're just too strong. We're just too powerful. <laughs> Someone's about to go burr. Technically still only quits a quarter. Um, I think I'm doing pretty good when it comes to just attacking with Squall. If anything, I might just let his HP get a bit lower this time. So we can rend the kook in two. Bum, 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 bum. And this time we don't need to draw anything. This is gonna be real fast. Bum, 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 bum. I'm pretty sure you can accidentally kill this guy before Wedge even shows up, too. I doubt we're gonna be able to do that, but that's something you can do. My favorite cutscene is the ending. Okay, that's fair. I also like a certain... Oh, we didn't do it. We suck. A certain scene that shouldn't be too long. We'll probably get to it within this playthrough. Um, At the end of the seed mission. In fact, yeah, we will get through it in this playthrough. I forgot how quick that is, actually. The one where school has changed outfits. Laguna ones are nice. I don't even remember the Laguna cutscenes. I like playing as Laguna, but I don't remember any of the cutscenes for him. And they're done already. Bum, bum, ba -dum. Not the fire! Okay, I'm gonna wait for that. So that I think he's low enough to get a lucky Renzikuken. I was wrong. Fuck it. Now he would be, though. <laughs> Shit. Ba -ba -dum. Laguna's battle music is great. It is. The what's the names? The the band that's made up of the composer for this game also did a cover of that one, which is really good. Oh. Ren's a kookin, baby. She should be able to get hers, too. My timing is off for now. Fuck it, just heal yourself then. Just so you don't die, self. Ah, it's so close to getting scores next thing. The Black Mages, yeah, they did a good cover of Laguna's battle theme. Where it's like even more heavy metal and even more energetic. No, just attack. 
Michael was gonna die. <laughs> it's okay. It's worth it. Yeah, you have to press the button so early. Rough divide, baby! And he's dead. Most of FA8 music is good? Yeah, it's pretty fucking awesome. Yeah, we're not far from the FMV now. Just have to run away from the spider a bunch. Come on, Safer, do your thing. Take him forever. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Would you like to go down? Why, yes, I would. Now go! Go and destroy them! Well, we saw how that worked out last time, so I'd like to see you try, buddy. Ah, uh, that'll do, sure. School doesn't need to be super healthy for this. It's so much funnier in fast mode. <laughs> You still quite sequoia. Clash at Demon Head all over again. I think I know which cutscene you're talking about, and it's a JRPG classic. Yeah, we'll definitely get to that one by the end of today. So I forgot how early that was, but that is right after this, essentially. Nigerundayo! He'll end up catching us up here anyway. Yeah, we did bust that thing up, but it just keeps coming back. Oh, we actually got away from it there. Shit, 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 shit. Ah, that sucks. Did not want to get caught here, but it is what it is. Don't hit Quetzalcoatl, hit Squall. He can take it. It's the one after you're the best looking guy. Exactly. That's probably my favorite cutscene. Run away! Now we're seeing the other side of what you can do. <laughs> Run like a bitch. Those are your two options. Fight so hard you break the game or run like a bitch. That time he jumps over us, which is pretty badass. <laughs> nah, we can't run Skookin yet. That's okay. We'll just run away like scaredy shits then. The one that got played at every wedding. Pretty much until the Final Fantasy X wedding came out. And then everybody wanted to be wearing Yuna's dress and shit. Not the ray bomb. Oh, get the fuck out of here. It'd be funny if it was actually on your right side when you finished it there. Get out of here, spider creep. This shit's funny in three times mode, but damn, it was so much more scary at regular speed. <laughs> Fact, yeah. How much more intimidating it is. Keep running, Squall. Squad C, withdraw. Roger. Wow, they really did shit all. They just hung out in the bar the whole time we were fighting. Eh. There we go. And again, I can control it. Oh, God. Run, Squall. Unless... My dude almost died. He fell like 20 feet onto his head. This is such a sick cutscene, especially with the seed uniform on. Try as you might, you'll never catch my boy. The boat genuinely started to leave without him, too. They were like, fuck it, we're getting out of here. Quistus with the LMG. Do 
She doesn't need magic or her whip. Just a big old gun. So, great cutscene. <laughs> Very good cutscene. Just, we were too powerful for that. We didn't get to see that. Um, 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 um. Yeah, I still can't go back to <laughs> main screen yet. Have to get through all this talking. Okay, set me free, Quist. Just there we go. Now we go back to my real save. <laughs> so good. Yeah, the way he barely gets on the boat in time, the slow mo when he jumps forward, and then Quist is just appearing with the machine gun. Jeez. So sick. Um, ba -bum -ba -bum. I, 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 I guess this is the one. Milan Hotel? Sure. Yeah, there we go. Comfy. Thank you for going back to show us. No problem. I genuinely thought that you were supposed to be able to see it even if you killed the monster. I thought it just reappeared at the last second anyway and did at least the final chase. Hello there, chap. This is one hell of a town. This would be a great town to live in when you retire, don't you think? Maybe my wife would cut back on her yappity yap complaining if she lived here. Jesus, you started off as such a nice man, but that's such a fucked up thing to say. She's one of us. She goes pew pew pew. Hell yeah. <laughs> the yappity yap, you know. These guests are from Galbadia. How interesting. So unlike this hick town here, you can get your hands on the latest fads. Oops, I'm sorry. I just got caught up in my story. Welcome to the lovely Balam Hotel. <laughs> oh, no, I'm good. But also, I was just in Galbadia. It didn't go well for them. He really told his wife to stop yapping. Thankfully, he didn't do that. He just told us that his wife likes yapping. <laughs> he will have enough thunder. Hi, Zell. How are you doing? Hey, how's it going? You know me. I'm always good. Good. Make sure you stop by and say hi to your mom. I'll be saying hi to her later tonight, if you know what I mean. Dude! Down is like a one minute... Oh, there we go. Mom, home! So, what a surprise. Are these your friends? This is my house, but don't make yourselves too comfortable. Okay. At least she doesn't have dead anime, Mom. Hire. It's okay. We're safe for now. <laughs> Fuchan, no. Fuchan, yes. Okay. But no issue with Timber Maniacs. Not. It's a porn mag. Let's be honest. I know what Zell's into. Bum, bum, ba, dum. Yo, Squall. That's my room up there. It's sacred, so just keep out. I haven't cleaned out all the lotion and tissues and... Anyway, how about you hang out with my mom instead? <laughs> okay. Oh, Zell. Are you off today? Nah, outdoor class. Up by whenever you can, even just to say hi. Okay, but more importantly, I challenge you to a do 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 do. Have you improved your game? I hope you mean Zell. I, my game is fantastic. Thank you very much. Okay, so as you can imagine, Zell's mommy has the Zell card. We would like that. Yeah, oh shit, we've got a really good fucking hand now. And she didn't bring out Zell. Fuck you, lady. Screw you. How dare you? <laughs> this is fine. Oh, I could kill it with that. Can it kill me? It can't kill me, but it can take back its own thing. That's fine. I don't have anything good for... Well... Oh yeah, the Zix is untouchable, actually. He can't take me back. Oh, you are so fucked, my dude. It's exactly where I wanted you to go. I'll just take all of your cards, thanks. Zhao, your mother is very giving. Very passionate. You win. I forget. I think Chimera is good for card refine. I'm trying to remember that as we go on as well. Give me the Zell card, woman! Yes, have you improved your game? I just defeated you! What are you talking about? Do I want Chimera? Ah, I prefer Bomb, actually. <sighs> God damn it. 
Okay, this is this is fine. Uh, she can't take my six back. She can take him back, but that's fine. It will weaken the shit out of her. Oh, she actually went for it. You're brave. Can't break this either. Good luck. Oh, he can actually take that. Oh, shit. This just got kind of scary, actually. Wait. <laughs> I'm going to have to double take. Yeah, I'm going to take him. He's going to take me, but then I'm going to take him back. Question mark. No. Oh, shit. This is actually kind of scary. Can he take that? He can take that. Oh, no. <laughs> she might actually win this one. Uh-oh. Well... We're gonna... Oh, my God. Yeah, we might either draw or lose this one. She flips that. I flip this. And then she flips my final one. Fuck. I still... Oh, I can't count, apparently. Ignore me. Iron Giant, I know, is good for some things. Bum, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Oh, good. People in chat can't count either, since they're saying bye, Quistus. Ah! I'm fine. I held on. <laughs> Is this Ifrit Minimoid Crystal? I enjoy... No, bomb. I still like bomb. Use the Zell card, you coward! Oh, man. This was so much easier to get Quistus. Nine is fine. Is eight fine? Eight's fine. Come at me. Can defeat six, seven from the right, so start with something a bit easier. Can't defeat this, though. Oh, yeah. But he'll take back his own thing, which is fine. I don't have anything good defensive on the left, which becomes a problem. Also, that didn't take the enemy. <laughs> Whoops. This is fine. Um, I can do this. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, now we're in trouble. <laughs> Fuck. I need to actually start thinking ahead rather than just doing things. Doing things is my weakness. <laughs> um, uh, I've got to flip that one, but then he's got to flip me. Uh, that should be fine, I guess. I didn't flip that one. I'm an idiot. Did I actually just lose? Holy shit! And they took my Quistus card. <laughs> Mass isn't your strong suit? Nope. Nope, it isn't. Give me Zell, damn you! Now I have to get fucking Quistus back, too. <sighs> Fine. Chimera and bomb. You're not even giving me fucking... Oh, okay. I'm just going to have to reload, aren't I? Probably. Uh, fuck it. We'll just speed run this one then. He says, and then immediately starts overthinking things again. Oh, he can take that back on either side. She's smart. I don't like how smart she is. Restart? Yeah, we're just gonna restart. Be easier to get one card back. I was just hoping she'd use it again immediately. <sighs> Here we go again. She's like a boy mom? What, what does that mean? <laughs> she just means she's gotten a lot of practice playing the game because of Zell. Oh no, she can count? Yeah, she knows math better than me, unfortunately. Wait, I went to the wrong home. Sorry, random people. Mom, I'm home. Blah, 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 blah. This is my house. Blah, 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 blah. Take care of Zell for me. No, play a game against me, damn it. Wait, why won't they let me card battle her? Do I need to find Timber Maniacs first? Try to go upstairs first? Oh, there we go. Don't do that shit to me. Mother obsessed with their son? Well, maybe she should use his damn card then. Still no fucking card. Are you shitting me? 
Okay, she can't defeat my Quistus even in the top right. So, well, actually. Ah, they're about the same. That's fine. I cannot defeat that with anything good. <laughs> Fuck. Um, we'll just stay defensive for now. Oh, I really should. You know what? Ultra defensive. Fuck you. Stop doing things I don't like. <laughs> I don't like that. Um, take this here. I can take it. He's definitely going to take me, but that's fine. Because whatever he takes me with, I can take with Minimog. I guess. I don't know. I don't like having to think during these things. Fuck. <laughs> he didn't play the way I thought he would. Uh, but if I put this here... They'll take it back from the bottom, and then I won't be able to take him back. Shit. Yeah, I think it's a draw again. <sighs> oh, wait. She played the wrong one. She could have avoided that by playing the other one, but okay. Whatever. <laughs> Mood? Yeah, I just want to turn my brain off, man. I just want the Zalcon! Give it to me, woman! I wish you could just pull out if she didn't have the right card that you wanted. Still keep the bomb. Bomb's failed me a few times, but I still trust it for the most part. Okay, can they defeat a six from them? Yes, they can, but they can't defeat this. There's no way. Nah, we're good. Zell card. Psst, 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 exactly. How dare they make me work so hard for this? Bruh, they're keeping their high level one away from me. You fuck. <laughs> That's annoying. And they defeat a seven to the left. No, but a six to the bottom. No. Okay. Defensive. Play defensive. Like a little baby bitch. Hope that they get rid of. They have two with strong. Oh, my God. This is aggravating. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to lose this one, too. Um to go on the offensive. They're going to have to use one of those. And then they can take my one too. Mother fricker. Unless I instead take their one at the top and defend myself against their assaults. But then I won't be able to take them either. That's fine. Oh, they let me have it. What the f- What is this woman doing? Sometimes she's a genius, and sometimes she's just taking the piss. I'm not sure whether Adamantoys or the T-Rex is better. But let's go. Might not even keep these if she ends up stealing from me again. <sighs> just use your baby boy card. I know you have it. Six, five, and five. Ooh. I still prefer bomb. <laughs> I just like bomb, man. Bomb is love. Bomb is life. She just wants to troll you? Yeah, she's making me overthink about things. I don't like overthinking about things. Oh, fuck me. She's got some really good cards, too. Oh, I actually have to think about things occasionally. Aggravation. Why does she have a behemoth card this early? I can't take that with, like, anything. So I just need to stay defensive By doing this Which sucks Oh uh, no Probably Minimog instead But still I don't like either of these options Okay She's Fuck Doing good still Got a 7 and a 6 Okay she can't take this But she can take her own guy back uh, Fine Oh, somehow she gave me the option to take her back. What is wrong with her? She could have... If she just put the behemoth in the... Okay. Give me the behemoth. That's mine now. It is a strong beast, and I don't like it being on your side. It's playing 5D card game with you. Honestly, if she just keeps not using Zell, she's technically winning. I just have to keep playing her. Maybe this is just her way of keeping her baby boy around. Oh, for fuck's sake, woman! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. 
How many times are we going to do this? How many times do I have to teach you this lesson? Okay, this is actually well defended this time. It's shocking. Can't take the bomb back or my Quistus. Thank you very much. Mm. Shit. You also... Oh, two at the bottom would be bad. <laughs> oh, but I can do this. Wow. She's just giving me winning options. My lady, you're not going to have any cards on the board. How did you beat me so many times? It's just blue. It's just blue except for your final card. Oh, take the Hexadragon. Watch her completely wipe me next time and make all of this just unneeded anyway. Have you improved your game? No, if anything, I'm getting worse because you're driving me insane. Um, Behemoth? Yeah, that's even... Yeah, fuck yeah. Oh my god, woman. I am gonna actually lose sanity to this. This is a thing that's going to happen. Oh, she's got the Biggs and Wedge card. That's kind of sick. It's not a super rare one, but it's special. Um, I can take it with this. It's not defend enough. Ah, I can pay defensive. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. I can stay defensive for now. I didn't even know there was a Biggs and Wedge card. It's kind of terrifying for how they exist in this universe, honestly. <laughs> do I play this here? I think I do. I, I mean, it's not super defensive, but... No, she's, she's baiting me. I know she's baiting me. She's not very smart, but occasionally she does really smart things. Oh, God, aggravation. Well, uh, I don't know if I go on the attack or I stay. I should stay defensive. It's smarter to stay defensive and just get one mo winning move at the end. Like now they can't take this back, so this is perfect. Yeah. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, bum. We can't deal with Minimog. Boom. And we win. Thank you for the Biggs and Wedge card, I guess. Six, six, and seven is not bad at all, honestly. Give me a cell card. This is why I hate Triple Triad, man. I like the game, but man, when you're having to try and deal with rules and this shit of just like, hey, bring out... Where's the boy? He's your baby boy. You want to bring out the picture? Everybody likes sharing pictures of their kids. Oh, Christ on a bike. Okay, I could take him this way and I won't be attacked. Yes. Well, they'll take him back. But I can overpower that with literally anything. They can take him back, but that leaves them open and defenseless in a number of ways. I do this and they have to try and take it back one way or the other. I have a seven and six. I'm defended enough. Good job. GG, no re, enjoy my Ifrit in your face. There we go. Backseat the mom on how to be a mom. <laughs> I wish I could, man. I'd teach her a thing or two. My Kaze, thank you for donating the food funds. Actually, after that Biggs and Wedge card, I'm going to save real. Oh. Right, the save is all the way back at the hotel. Uh... That didn't take too long, actually. <laughs> Just felt like forever while I want to be doing other things. Mikaze, thank you for donating the food funds. Hi, Foot Chang. How's FF treating you? Hope your day was better than mine. I had to explain store policies to someone and got called an effing bitch. Jesus. Retail jobs are honestly fucking nightmares. But I'm glad that's done now. You're done for the day. Welcome to the stream. So far, Final Fantasy's been good. Um, Triple Triad is fucking with us, but everything else has been good. <laughs> Selfie's dying this whole time. Yeah, she just wants some sleep and some milk. But she won't get it. Because I'm busy playing cards. <laughs> retail is a battlefield? Yeah, no, honestly, retail sucks in a big way. But I'm glad you got through the day. You're free now. You don't have to worry about anything else. And yeah, Final Fantasy VIII itself has been a lot of fun. 
And even the triple triad, even though it's kind of torturous. I have fun with it. It's just, you know. Oh, I just destroyed her completely. I wish they had that rule already where you get as many as you want over them as well. That adds a good amount of speed to these kinds of things. Challenge me. Use your child. Come on, he's already a child soldier. Put him into battle in the game world too. Bum, 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 bum. Triple triad is addicting until the other rules start to spread. Yeah. Especially with the new version where it's even harder to trade the rules. Ah, shit, she's using a dinosaur. The dinosaur is much more difficult to deal with. Which means I have to be defensive for now. I don't like being defensive. Oh, good. She got rid of it early. That's nice. We choose Biggs and Wedge. And then they'd have to attack Biggs and Wedge with something with one of those two. One of them has a seven to the right, which is a problem for me. I have another with a seven. To oh, my fucking God, dude. I could just put Mini Mog. Oh, well. Or this boy up here. He can't be taken. Yeah. Okay, they're going to go into the middle. And I don't have anything good at attacking to the left, so... Oh, they're going to take my Quistus if I put her at the bottom left. Ah, neither one of these are particularly good for me. Unless... I do that. They take my Quistus. I take them with Minimog, and they can't take me with them all. Okay. They didn't take my Quistus. Uh-oh. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Not a problem, though. I still win? Question mark. Or withdraw one of the two. We win. Okay. Well, now I get a T-Rex or... Isn't Fuchan so old? He's already a dinosaur himself. How dare. <laughs> You're not wrong, but that doesn't mean you get to be right. Like, rude. Just rude. <laughs> Still no... Um, am I going insane? Do you not get Zell from this woman? I'm so sure you do. Seven, but not to the left. Okay, I can put Quistus down here. Um, Yeah. I woke me up. That was just mean, man. I didn't even do nothing. I, uh, I got shots fired at me for no reason. <laughs> um, oh, shit. I don't actually want to attack that. I'll just go defensive for now. I've already got one point ahead. And I take this with this and they can't take me from the right. They just have to continue playing defensive. And then they could take Minimog with that. I guess it doesn't matter, though. Feel free, but take this guy instead. I like Minimog. Oh, they couldn't have even taken Minimog. Oops. <laughs> I'll take a Blobra. Or well, Behemoth may be better. Did I learn Card Refine or did I learn something else? Let me check. Oh, no. Am I being Ability? Card Mod. Let's see what a Behemoth turns into. Ted will refine into one barrier. Oof. Those are not useful for me. <laughs> Bombs turning into bomb fragments is pretty cool. Yeah, okay. That's not great. The RNG has always been horrendous on stream. This is true. <sighs> Give me Zal. God damn it. They gave me Quistus like instantly. Minimog took like three rounds, but this, this is just taking forever. Ooh, that Marlboro is not fun. But they'd have to use the Marlboro if they want to take back this. Sure, go for it. Yep. And then I can take the Marlboro from below. And be defended. And they can't take the Marlboro back. Okay, we've won. As long as I don't do anything too stupid, we've won. And I say that specifically because I may end up doing something stupid. <laughs> I'll be fine. I'm sure I'll be fine. Yeah, this is fine. Remember, it's easier during the second time here, but you can still get it now. Oh, so it just takes longer doing it this way. Aggravation. Let's try a mall, bro. A mall, bro, bro. 
Okay, we'll try like three times. And if we still don't get Zell, maybe we'll move on for now. <laughs> or maybe I'll at least Google to make sure you can. <laughs> God damn it. Army Chan, thank you for donating the full funds. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. I love FF82. Thanks for showing us the play along with your happy laugh. The Chan with the gum blade is so cool. Triple Triad is really interesting. I like Triple Triad. It's very simple, but it's enjoyable. Oh, they've got a lot of things that can take me on from the right this time. Okay, defensive play we go. <laughs> oh, shit. Thank you for donating the Foo Funs Army Chan. I hope you enjoy the stream today and I hope you have a wonderful evening. I'm definitely going to take that guy back. But then I'm going to do something. <laughs> and they, they can continue to take him back, but... um. Yeah, no, this might be unwinnable now, actually. Uh, um, I put this guy here. I guess I could put him in the top right, too. But would I want to? Or I could put this guy here. But that doesn't take him. Shit. Um, yeah, fuck it. We bore. We see what happens as we bore. You bastard. <laughs> I was... Okay. We still win. But it feels less pleasant. Crap, Fungua, Turtopod, Ruby Dragon. Give me the Ruby Dragon. And so many cards, but not the one that I want. Woman, please. Please, mommy. Give me what I need. For the love of God, I'm gonna go insane. Next time is our final time. I really hope she delivers. People hate plus combo rules, but for me, the closed hand is the worst one. Closed hand sucks. Then you just can't prepare for anything that's coming. Um, Six. Can they be to six? They can't be to six. So sure, fuck it. Yeah, come at me, bros. Reset the game and try again. Well, no, because then I'll lose all the cards that I got, too. <laughs> six. They can't be the six. Can they be the seven? No. Okay. We get defensive now. That was dumb of you. I mean... I, I could even... Yeah, okay. And you can't take it back. Okay. Guess I'll go with this creepy critter. Okay, final time. Please, for the love of God, give me Zell. I'm begging you now. I am no longer asking. I am pleading on my hands and knees. Yes! Okay, now just don't fucking don't make me go first. That puts me on the back foot. And he has an ace. Oh, God, he has an ace at the bottom. He's the one thing that can actually take out my Ifrit. And he can... Oh, he can't take out my Quistus. Okay. This might go horribly. <laughs> Fuck. The fucking dinosaur can take out my Quistus. Oh, shit. Um... I might be in trouble here. <laughs> I might be in trouble here. Um, six from the bottom. Uh, yeah, Safer can take that. Fuck. Uh... uh, uh, uh I don't like this. I'm on the back foot and I'm going to lose. Uh, there's no actual defensive move I can make. Mm. I could leave Minimog open to be taken from both sides. But I don't have much defense when it comes to the bottom either. Uh, better at the top, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll put Minimog down here. Ah. Okay, at least she played Zell early. If I take back Minimog... I can do that here. They can't take out my 7. So that puts me back on equal game at least. Um, Or I could do this one. Which has a 6 at the bottom, which is still good enough. No, this one has the weakest stats overall. God, I hate you. Why are you so aggravating? Finally get you into this position. 
play defensive? Yeah, play defensive. They can take Minimog from the other side too. But that's okay. If they do, I can use Quistus. Hmm. Okay. I can use Quistus. Fuck. <laughs> or I could use these. Um, fuck. Why does nothing have a good left and bottom? Oh, probably overthinking this. I have to take him from the right. That is a fact. And then they can't take him back from the right or the top. So what I need is things that are better at defending from the side to side. Okay. Oh, but then I have no attack going downwards. No. Okay. I need one attack going downwards. So instead, I take Zell with this. And then we see what he does. Yes question mark oh you're setting yourself up to take that back you absolute prick and my quest is defeated no because it's got a two on that side oh well, my ifrit can now yeah my ifrit can okay i drop quistus here they take back the bat and then i take their final monster do i win am i free oh thank god go to the fucking shadow realm i'm done Give me Zell. You know what? That, that, that Jurassic Saurus Rex looks pretty good. I could go. No, give me Zell. I'm out. I'm done. Goodbye forever. Okay, I'm done with this town. Wee! Super speed! <laughs> okay, let's save just in case Selfie dies on the way home. It should be fine. We don't want to find out the hard way. It's so weird moving the camera with the shoulder buttons. Fuck yeah, we'll go off the road. Bum, 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 bum. Ha! Finally made it back. Seriously. Well, I guess we just wait for the test results. Till then, see ya, Squall. See ya. Oh, it's just like, finally. Peace and quiet. They can leave me alone. Ah, don't draw. That beach with the fish was ours for the Q00 water? The what water? Beach with the fish. I mean the fish where I was just getting AP? That didn't take long for me. But you certainly can spend a while there. Oh, Sid still- shit, he stopped me from saving. Mission complete. I think we did a pretty good job. The candidates are back safely, right? Although we did realize the Galbadian army was after the abandoned communication tower. We've just received word from the Dolat Dukedom. The Galbadian army has agreed to withdraw as long as the communication tower is repaired and the uplink remains operational. Yep, the Galbadians have something else sneaky going on. A safety block? How oh dare. <laughs> well, in any well, in any case, Galbadia is out of there. We could have made more money if they'd stayed and caused more ruckus. <laughs> That's the first inclination of like, oh shit, are we not the good guys? We wanted the war to continue for more money for us. <laughs> you you're good? You're just going to nod at me? There we go. How did it feel out there on the battlefield? Whatever. Whatever. That's great. Whatever. ha <laughs> ha. He's so proud of me. Well, I'm just glad nobody got hurt. Good for you, Sid. Are we the baddies? Nah, I'm sure we're fine. Tried to challenge him to a card game. It's not yet. <laughs> the results of the exam should be announced soon. Just stick around here. Hey, you did pretty well. Of course, he's my best student. He's not very social, though. I'm training to be a mercenary. Why would I need to be social? You quit bitching about me to random people. Where do I go then? She told me not to leave. Ah, hey, Safer. The way the music just cut to complete silence. Holy shit. Did you hear about the communication tower in Dalin? We would have been heroes if it weren't for that withdrawal order. You were only looking for a fight. My dear instructor, I'm hurt. Those are rather cruel words for an aspiring student. 
A mediocre instructor like you will never understand. Oh shit, he went there. Safer, don't be so stuck on yourself. You'll take all responsibility for leaving the designated area. Isn't it the captain's duty to take the best possible action? Safer, you'll never be a seed. Calling yourself a captain is a joke. Oh, he's so sad. He broke his heart a little bit there. My dear instructor. Yeah, he has balls. Now he's shaking in rage. <laughs> he got put right in his angsty place. Love that they're saying that right in front of him. I mean, he completely ignored orders. You can't be having someone like that in an army. Safer. You will be disciplined for your responsible behavior. You must follow orders exactly during combat. But I'm not entirely without sympathy for you. I don't want you all to become machines. I want you to all be able to think and act for yourselves. I am... Headmaster Sid, you have some business in your office. Oh, there are so many issues at hand here. Goodbye, Robin Williams. He doesn't have no criticism at all? Nah, he, he's too prideful. Pride cometh before the fall. Seed shall not act beyond the exact wording of a contract. We are not a non-profit organization. This incident will be hand-learned lesson for the Dalit dukedom. They'll now know to be more generous when hiring Seed. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe we were just like, hey, fuck it. We'll abandon them. <laughs> they paid us exactly to hold the beach, not to do all the work for them. So we'll just leave early. All students who participated in today's field exam report to the second floor hallway. I repeat, report to the second floor hallway. Oh, I can finally save. He's still immature? Yeah, he is. He's just a little baby. And you know he's gone now because he isn't even on the missing party members list. Oh, here we go. Sap, said they're going to call out our names one at a time. Fujin was saying, it'd be all your fault if Safer doesn't become a seed. She can be pretty scary, you know. Safer did his own shit. That's on him. Rage! I fucking love Fujin. Fujin's just so funny to me. Thump, thump. Thump, thump. Thump, thump. You don't want to talk to me? Is it because I took your Quistus card? Fine, fuck you. You, ma'am? No, okay. Where's my instructor? Fine, I'll leave without her. I can't leave without her. Just tell me I passed the exam already. I talked to everybody. Except for the guy who won't talk to me. The rage, I know. She's awesome. <laughs> dinked. So dinked. Oh, yeah. See ya. Look at that run as well. That's why I can't take him seriously. <laughs> Squall. Scroll from squad B. Please step forward. That is all. Dismissed. Oh, do the clap click. I love that. <laughs> they stomp their feet and do the click at the same time. They're so grumpy. Only two of us passed today. Holy shit. Fantomo Raid, what's up? Hey, Moo Moo. Hello, Fantomos. How are you guys doing? I just got here. Well, you aren't too far behind. Even though we've been playing for four hours, we've mostly been doing no life kind of stuff. <laughs> we've been doing like the card game and grinding for AP and killing a boss monster we didn't have to kill. Um, but what up? I hope you had fun. What was Moo Moo streaming today? And if Moo Moo likes like, oh man, Moo Moo was really into Clive. Maybe school would be a bit too tuny for her. But I feel like she'd like school. She definitely likes Cloud. And school is like an upgraded Cloud for me. He's just as angsty, but he's better looking. Poppy playtime. Oh, okay. Moo Moo back to the horror games. Let's go. Hope you guys had fun. Um, we are just playing Final Fantasy VIII. This will probably be quite a long stream today. I'm definitely not planning on stopping anytime soon. Um, but yeah, we just got past the first mission. And now we're about to find out if we're allowed to become a seed member. We are in a military unit school. It's weird. We're all 17 years old, but we're also working as mercenaries. It's what we do. She likes Zach Fair, so she'd like school too. 
I don't think those two connect as much as like Cloud and Squall. <laughs> they, they have similar looks, but I mean, Zack was such a nice guy. He was the typical like heroic person. Or his school was like pure angst. <laughs> Both are good though. There are four stu- These are the four students that passed today's exam. First of all, congratulations. However, from now on as a member of SEED, you'll be dispatched all over the world. We're proud to introduce SEED, the Lamb Garden's mercenary soldiers. SEED soldiers are combat specialists. But... That is only one aspect of Seed. When the time comes... Headmaster, it's almost time for the meeting. Please make this short. That's mean, man. Let him do his job! <laughs> it's the hair for Chan. I mean, the only similar thing there is the dark hair, though. Raymond only knows Zack by looks. Oh, okay, yeah, she'll definitely like school. School's better looking than Zack, I'm sorry. Zack, for me, it's the personality that sells it, not the looks. <laughs> Seed is a valuable asset to Garden. Its reputation is solely dependent on each one of you. Handle your mission with care. Is that what you wanted to say, sir? No, he was saying what he wanted to say. Here is your Seed rank report. I like the little whispers he does here. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the Garden Festival. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> he he just wants to be friendly with his students, but his staff are such pricks. Psst, psst. Do your best, even if you don't stand out. I mean, I can't help it that you're the only non-main character here. We're never going to see you again, kid. Good luck on everything, I guess. Psst, psst. Try to control your emotions a little. <laughs> yeah, Zell definitely needs that. He gets angry so quickly. <laughs> Finally, a gunblade specialist. He's so hype. Honestly, I would be too. Gunblades are just cool things, man. This ends the seed inauguration. Dismissed. Wait, Zao, don't leave me. In fact, do leave me. I've got some things to talk to Headmaster about. Oh, Squall, let me give you this. It's a battle meter. Access the menu and you'll see battle report in the information section of the tutorial. It may come in handy for future battles. Yeah, yeah talk privately one day <laughs> okay now give me the magic lamp wait is this not magic lamp time i really thought it was oh okay i talked to this guy it is expected you'll be using quite a number of girlfriends along the way be sure to ignore all the girlfriend criticism you hear from other gardens or military forces girlfriends are vital <laughs> Oh, I can't even challenge into cards yet. Okay. It must be later. Okay. Bye, Sid. Nice meeting ya. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, guys. Congratulations. Seed. 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 Yo, Skull. Let's get back to class. What do you mean, why? Don't you remember what new seed members do? They give a speech in front of the entire class. And after that, the inauguration party. Oh, the party's gonna be fun. After 17 years of suffering, my chance has finally arrived. Oh, what? what? Squall? Yeah, go back to being a background character. Nobody needs to hear your thought process and you're having suffered for 17 years. Oh shit, square up, boys. Nah, safe is good even in defeat. You're like, you know what? I fucked up the orders. Good job. You passed. <laughs> Zell was so ready to fight. I mean, that's all I like about Zell. Zell? Cypher. Safer. <laughs> Fuck me. Um, He's a bit of a dick, but he, he's an okay guy. He has his own level of morals and shit. 17 years of suffering. I like this game already. I mean, that's just him being at school too. <laughs> Conduct 30. Yeah, that's because I ignored orders a lot. Judgment 50. <laughs> Attack 80 because we killed a lot of people. Spirit 100. Points deducted 50. That was for jumping off the cliff. <laughs> but then we got the bonus 100 for taking out the giant spider. So rank 8 for FFA. Exactly. It was perfect. 
As a seed member, you will be paid a salary at regular intervals. The salary is determined by seed rank. Seed rank goes up according to your actions in battle. Some actions will cause your rank to go down. I don't even remember if that's actually true. Selfie, what are you doing in my bedroom? Ha! Found you! Well, well, what do you think? My seed uniform. Um... Whatever. You should get changed too. We have that party to go to. Okay. Still don't get why you're just outside my bedroom. Unless you live in that room right next to me, which... Fair enough. You run a lot? Yeah? Oh. <laughs> I thought it was just like the silly little... Oh, look at my outfits. They gave me a new seed uniform. It looks so pretty. Um... Yeah, let's get... Wait, wait, wait. Not just yet. Okay, let's get changed. I can't rest. <laughs> Time for a selfie? Oh, God, no. The joke is set in already. Hell yeah. This is why I play the remastered version. Look at his face. Now he really is the best looking guy here. Look at the itty bitty waist and huge fucking shoulders. Ah! School is fine as fuck, man. And his Dissidia upgrade just made him better looking. Oh, he's so angsty. See the edge on his face. You can see the edge on his hair. Hey, how do I look? Hey, looking good. I know. All right, let's hit that part. Hey. <laughs> I keep trying to give her a Valley Girl accident and then I keep forgetting that I was going to do that. This is my favorite cutscene coming up. Oh yeah, take the champagne. We're getting drunk tonight, boys. But yeah, there's something about the Amano like character designs, like the high waists as well, that always looks so awesome. Look how high his waist is. He's like, what? 70% leg? <laughs> Yo! Sup, Squall? <laughs> I guess we're both seeds now, huh? Still not gonna shake your hand. Put it there, man. Oh, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm... Hmm. Oh, sorry. Just, I, I can't. My hand's full. <laughs> Even as a seed, you're still the same. Well, that's typical of you. See ya. Later, bitch. Oh, hey, Zell. Wanna join the Garden Festival Committee and... Sorry, I... Uh... Just remembered something. You gotta go. See ya! <laughs> I fucking love it. Hmm. <laughs> Squall, hi! Yeah, still not joining your committee. Wanna join the Garden Festival Committee? You can help out whenever you have time. Please? I mean, it gives you a bonus mission, but at the same time, I gotta roleplay as Squall, man. Whatever. Sorry, too busy with all this. Excuse me. <laughs> She's just off. She doesn't care. She's on to the next one. <laughs> Love Amano and Nomura. Yeah, and this is the best FMV for me. The first meeting. Rhinoa. Yeah, he's just like, the fuck does that mean? Who do you think I am? A dog? I don't know hand signs. He looks so good in the white dress. You're the best looking guy here. Dance with me? He still gave her the whatever treatment. Let me guess. You'll only dance with someone you like. The way the music cut out. Holy shit, they made that dramatic. Okay, then. Look into my eyes. You're going to like me. You're going to like me. Did it work? <laughs> the little chuckle though it worked and he actually spoke words to her that's an improvement for school <laughs> she's so silly yeah i mean this was from the time zone where every series that had like a grumpy main character had to have like his manic pixie dream girlfriend so yeah i know her very much a manic pixie dream girl but i still like her <laughs> she's cute i can't dance you'll be fine come on I'm looking for someone. I can't be on the dance floor alone. And this is why I turned up the music. The waltz. 
He really can't dance. My poor boy. He's so awkward. <laughs> She's doing her best, Bob. That's so cute. <laughs> He's just like, no, I'm done. I'm not embarrassing myself. She adopted him so quick. Yeah, this is 100% ext extrovert taking in an introvert. <laughs> right, I got so angry at that guy. He didn't even do anything wrong, man. The smile, though. I love how this is just a different version of Eyes on Me as well. Fireworks. Such a good cutscene, man. He gets there. Yeah, you're actually going to hear in a second. He's actually a good dancer. He was just nervous. He didn't want to be dancing. Ah, uh, and score gets ditched. Ah, <sighs> best looking guy there. He only got one dance. And then Rhino is just off on her own again. Blown away by the cutscenes back in the day. Yeah, it was so beautiful. And especially the cinematography in general. Final Fantasy always had like really well directed scenes from people that knew how to set up like cutscenes. He's fallen. He did his best, man. He got one good dance with the extroverted Manic Pixie Dream Girl, and now she's on to the next victim. <laughs> you really are an excellent student. Even that dance was perfect. You gotta hit her with the whatever. Or we'll just don't even respond. That works too. Oh! <gasps> Character growth. <laughs> Thank you. And that's it. <laughs> good, good talk. Good talk. Yes. So you'll dance with someone you don't even know, but you can't stand being around me? I mean, you're my instructor, dude. I don't know what you want out of this relationship. <laughs> Whatever. You're an instructor, and I'm your student. The sassy hand on the hip as well. School really did fucking <laughs> influence my teenage years so much. It's kind of awkward when you don't say anything. But now you know how it feels, school. <laughs> That's true. I was like that myself. Oh, I completely forgot. I wonder what's to become of me. I've come to give you an order. You and I are to go to the secret area. It's where students secretly meet up and talk after curfew. It's inside the training center. What do you want to do there? Are we going there to tell everyone they're violating curfew? If that's the case, forget it. Leave that for the disciplinary committee. No, silly. We're going there because she thinks you're cute, dude. I think she's made that very clear the entire time we met her. So that was also your personality back then too, Fuchan? Yeah, I've said this many times. My late secondary school years and early college years were pure me ignoring everybody, dyeing a blonde streak into my hair and dyeing the rest of it black to look like your mappy from news. <laughs> Yamashita Tomohisa. <laughs> Cutting my hair into a really edgy style with like long sideburns like an anime character. Oh God. And wearing like a really long over like duffel coat kind of jacket. And just, yeah, acting like school. Difference is, he's cool enough to pull it off, unlike me. <laughs> You're cool to yourself, that's what matters, Fu? Exactly. To me, I was being awesome. Looking back on it, I cringe. <laughs> You'll get changed and meet me in front of the training center. This will be my last order. Whatever. <laughs> she just doesn't even say anything. He's just like, you know what? fine how do i slow walk i need the dramatic yeah this is going to be your last order from me whatever I need to leave anyway fuck you get back <laughs> get you 
Get changed and meet at the training center. What's this all about? I don't know, but I also don't know why they teleport me back to here, but still make me do the getting changed thing. Just do it for me, man. Did you wear your school necklace too? Yes. I had my sleeping lion heart necklace. And I also made a customized chain because the one I bought came with a normal chain and I wanted the dangly chain like he has. So I like, I, that was the first time I learned to customize jewelry. I learned to like manipulate the chain links and made like a normal necklace that then had the little dangly hangy bit. Well, oh, you can't see it right now. Change your clothes, dude. There we go. Kind of cringe, celebratory, like that. Like he has a very specific chain where it's like a normal necklace, but then meets in the middle and hangs it dangling off. I've never found someone who actually sells the chain like that. It's always just been the pendant that looks perfect and then a normal necklace. And it's like, come on, man. Give, give, give me the full tuny thing. <laughs> I need the dangly dangly. <laughs> and you know what I found out after doing that and customizing my own jewelry? It is incredibly annoying to have something that loose bouncing around your chest all the fucking time. <laughs> That's the one thing I learned. <laughs> Had to give it the Y? Exactly. V-neck isn't good enough. You gotta have the Y. The dangle dangle. <laughs> Look at his funny run cycle. <laughs> I mean, it, it looks good at normal speed. See? Everything's good. It's just... <laughs> He's zooming. <laughs> That's the training center. Dangly necklaces are great fidget toys. They can be. However... <laughs> They also just bounce around so much on your booba. It's distracting. Whereas a normal necklace will stay in roughly the right place. Squall, I was just wondering, have you fought t Rexar in the training centaur? Centaur? Centaur! I'm not sure. We can defeat it quite easily by using Status J. Let's go over status changes in the tutorial. I already know this, Quistus. I've done this. Skip. <laughs> well... Use a sleep attack against Terexar. Just junction sleep into your stras to attack you and attack. Come on, let's go to the secret area. It's just inside the training center. Okay, I need to change my GFs anyway. My girlfriends are all over the place because I just lost a Zell and Selfie. Do I have to take them off them? God, I do. Yeah, they could have used a few more quality of life changes to make some of these things easier. Stop, wait, what's she still got junctioned? Oh, I gave her an extra one. Whoops. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, you get GFs. Yeah, you can have quite a quad on Shiva. Whoa, you have so much magic to junction. It ain't even fucking funny. HP, cure. Strength, fire. Right? Yeah. Wait, do you actually have sleep? Oh, not blind though. Blind's what we need. Doesn't have any status ones. Magic. I never use magic, but fuck it. 18. Ooh, 20. But that'll probably be better as a defensive thing. Vitality. 12. 12. 18. Okay. There we go. Not bad. Now let's actually give you some skills. Card for sure. There we go. Secret area, huh? Oh, yeah. Shit's about to get kinky. Hope you guys like student teacher <laughs> stuff because it's about to get decent around here. Used to wear chains around my waist rather than a necklace. That sounds fucking badass. That sounds very Final Fantasy character coded, actually. Oh, this is too loud. Down it goes. Bum, ba, bum. That's the best part. <laughs> Are you talking about the Gigguk video? Where he's talking about fucking Persona 5? <laughs> the whole teacher who works as a maid being like, We can't do this. You're my student and I'm your teacher. And him just being like, That's the best part. Wait, was that actually in the game? It's Shizun fucking I'm down. I mean, same thing. We're not in a martial sect, but close enough. Okay, murder one. Um, um. Yeah, okay, they've got the sleep. So I'm pretty sure these are the ones that I can draw blinds from. 
Go to sleep, my dumb friend. And then get bitch slapped. And you go to sleep, so you can't hurt me while I draw shit. Oh, it was in the actual game? Let's fucking go. Let's see if they have blinds. Silence. Ugh. Not what I wanted, but we'll take it. Cute bugs. I mean, these are definitely plants. They kind of look like Venus flytraps. <laughs> okay, but some teachers are hot. Let's... Let's make sure we keep that in the fictional realm. <laughs> yeah, in the fictional realm. There's nothing wrong with a bit of shizzle and fuckery. Or, you know what? The Persona 5 teacher was one of the best characters. Oh, are you fucking putting me to sleep? How dare you? Oh, this is going to take a while longer than I wanted. Go back to sleep, you dick. Oh, I accidentally attacked again. <laughs> The teacher from Assassination Classroom? Do you mean the monster teacher? The, the tentacle man who can destroy the world? Oh, God. They're like an improved version of the Koroks. <laughs> I think the Koroks are cuter, personally, but that's just me. Ah, shit, we're both asleep now. You dick. I might die if this goes on much longer. You know what? Fuck it. It's your time. Oh, yeah, he's so dead. Part of the game made an appearance in one of the Charlie's Angel movies. I actually know that. I remember the exact scene because I freaked out so much. I think I was like eight years old or something at the time. I was definitely like somewhere under 10. I remember watching Charlie's Angels and being like, that's the game that I play. That's Final Fantasy VIII. Oh my God. It's in the scene where one of the girls is like literally having to run around and collect clothing or something, I believe. Like, yeah, there's like two teenagers playing the game on the PlayStation. Blizzard found. We don't need that. Arena, that's her name? Who's Arena? There's a somewhat... Oh God, the fucking thing. It's the T-Rex R. Squall, be careful. Sometimes it's better to run. I didn't even find blinds yet. You dick. Fine. Fuck you. You're dying. T-Rex or dies today. That did big damage. He, he stumbled a little bit. Boom. Shit, I missed. <laughs> Put him to sleep and then immediately woke him up. And again, really need to reverse the order of these attacks. <laughs> Too early, fuck. At least he's asleep now. Wanna pet the dino? He's not friend. He is food, maybe. Definitely not friend. I can probably turn him into a card, actually. I'm not sure if that ruins the whole quest. But fuck it, I'll try it. I don't need the AXP. Damn. If not friend, why friend shaped? He's Yoshi shaped. I wouldn't necessarily say that's friend shaped. Damn it. Yeah, go back to sleep. Damn it. Stay asleep? He didn't stay asleep. <laughs> it's really not being carded either. I'll get laser eyed then. Yoshi is what? I mean, you're right. He is a friend. He's a good boy. 1,000 damage does not fuck around. <laughs> fuck. Well, that did way less. Fuck. Oh, shit. 
dog shaped? It's not dog shaped. Dog may be close to that size. He's nowhere near that shape. <laughs> guy has a lot of health. Holy fuck. Bum, 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 bum. Everything is dog shaped. You think cats? Are, I don't. There are very few things that are dog shaped, actually. <laughs> You could definitely call them dog coded, maybe. Oh shit, she's dead. Well, it's bound to happen eventually. <laughs> Good night, sweet quest. Ah, <laughs> oh, we don't need her anyway. She was holding us back. See, now we can just keep him permanently asleep. Bum, 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 bum. I should probably bring her back for the experience, though. Oh, I don't have items. Um, she's gonna stay dead. I might lose this battle, actually. <laughs> You're so mean to her, why? Why not? Yo, this just keeps going. He just stays asleep. Uh-oh, he woke up. Okay, he's asleep. Give me a Renzo Kukin! Come on, school, finish the fight. God, you have to do those so early. Friends are cooking! Just keep doing it! School solo run? Hell yeah. Perfect. Give me that rough divide. He did not look like he struggled against that attack at all. He just kept going. Oh, death approaches. Renza Kukin, don't back down. We never surrender. <laughs> we could heal, my man. But then we wouldn't have so many Renza Kukins. Yeah, he's gonna die. This is the hit that does it. Unless. Finish him, Squall. Get the rough divide. Thank God. Isn't it weak to ice? I don't know. The main way to defeat this guy is to just spam him with blind attacks. But I didn't get to unlock the blind. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Fuck. Dying to a low level dinosaur. Okay, this might be your final chance score. For the love of God. Come on, man. We've done like 5,000 damage in the last three attacks. Stay down. No, nope, we're fucked. There we go. <laughs> Ah, game over. I did not realize he had that much fucking health. And your GF shield, maybe? Yeah, we could have done that. I was just kind of hoping it would be epic if we won in the final second. <laughs> ah, we didn't save much before that, anyway. Now, we just have to get changed again. Go back in. Bum, bum, bum. Those level 30 there? I don't know. What I do know is you're not supposed to fight the dinosaur on the second fucking fight. <laughs> There's enemies in there that can teach you blind, but we just happen to fight the dinosaur like immediately. Ba -bum, ba -bum. Status J, we know, go away. Dino is too strong? Yeah. That's a nuggy we just can't eat. Let's try going left instead this time. Surely we won't encounter him immediately again. Ah, good. Am I going to drain these guys again? What did they have? Silence. Nah, no point. We'll get them later. And he's dead. The joy of random battles. Yeah, I really thought it would be on the map somewhere that we'd find the T-Rex or... But no. Oh, there's a save point right there. That'll actually help a lot. So I guess the secret area is right in front of us. Now we know where it is. Oh my god, it's Squall? Hell yeah. 
Oh, I forgot to... You're right. I didn't do the GF for her this time either. Whoops. <laughs> that would have been bad when we actually got into the fucking fight. <laughs> oh my god. HP to cure. Strength to fire. Vitality to... I don't know. Sleep, I guess. They're all about the same, really. Magic 2 should be sleep, actually. Because that's only one down. Spirit 2. Scan. Okay. Oh, God, we really have to do this every time. <laughs> this time, we should have someone with items. Just in case we need a phoenix down. Bum, 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 bum. Definitely need items. Yeah, I learned that the hard way, unfortunately. <laughs> it's okay. Every day is a learning lesson. Fucking... And we got back attacked. I don't want to run. Turn me around. Let me fight this douche. Damn it. Okay, so this time, we don't try to turn him into a card. That was one of my biggest mistakes. <laughs> oh, and she doesn't have magic. Uh-oh. Potion it is. That only heals 200. Yeah, I might have made a few mistakes. <laughs> That's okay. Also, it might be weak, some of the magic. I should probably do that. Dino puppy? How it? Ugh. Oh, I need to switch their attack turns again. Yeah, keep it stun locked in sleep. But considering how long it took to not kill him last time... <laughs> Are we even going to be able to do this? Good luck, Foo. Thank you. I might need it. At least he's sleeping a lot. Bum, 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 bum. This is why I'm glad we have three times speed. <laughs> the RNG? Yeah, twice in a row. I thought you could only fight one of these two. Maybe you can just fight multiple. Uh, I should probably use that to do some magic. Oh, I did the wrong fucking thing. Stop, stop trying to fucking use cure, squall. This is where the bad part comes of having it know exactly what you did last round. Oof. He's a meaty boy. Constant attacks on him. This may take a while. <laughs> but we won't die this time. As long as we keep ourselves healed, we'll be fine. When I played this part, I tried to find him and he just wouldn't show up. Yo, you had the opposite RNG. <laughs> well, you'll die eventually. But it might take a while. At least I'm not wasting my time carding this time. Maybe I should even use her GF. Ah, she can't use a GF. I didn't set her up to use her GF. <laughs> this is fine. Bum, bum. 
Nothing else. It's nice battle music. You got this, Fuchan. We got this. Confidants together, strong. Even if sheep probably would be delectable to dinosaurs. There we go. Dealt with. Sleep and poison are its weaknesses, I think. I know not sleep, but actually blind for sure is one of its weaknesses. If you blind the T-Rex or it basically never manages to hit you. So you just get to fight it as however you want. Quistus leveled up. And we got a dino bone, which is a very good item. Two GFs leveled up to... Okay, let's save. Although we still haven't found the blind magic. I'm pretty sure there's something in this training area that's supposed to give you blind magic. But we already killed the dinosaur, so fuck it. <laughs> Sleep is my weakness. Sleep is my life. I haven't been here for a while. <laughs> I love how uncomfortable this gets. <laughs> It's weak to Doom Train for sure. Everything's weak to Doom Train. <sighs> Christus. You're going to have to be the one to say something. You know he's not going to say anything. What time is it? <laughs> My man's just like, I'm not engaging in the fucking small talk. It's after midnight. Oh, well. It's so awkward. She's cooking. She's doing her best. I'll give her that. I, Quistus Trait, I'm no longer an instructor as of now. I'm a member of Seed now, just like you. Who knows? Maybe we'll end up working together. The way he fucking looked at her and then just looks away, stares out into the distance for a solid second. Oh, really? Is that all you're going to say? <laughs> if that's how it was decided, you have to abide by it. <laughs> She's trying so hard. Yeah, she is. Every word you get from school, you have to pull like a fucking tooth coming out of the mouth. They told me that I failed as an instructor. Basically that I lacked leadership qualities. My girl, you are 18. You shouldn't have to lead anything right now. You give it like five years. You had one job, school. <laughs> his one job is to look pretty. He's doing great at his job. I was a seed by the age of 15. On my instructor license at 17. It's only been a year since I got it. <laughs> Fucking school. He's so ready to leave. I wonder where I went wrong. I did my best. Are you listening? Are you done yet? I don't want to talk about it. What am I supposed to say about other people's problems? I'm not asking you to say anything. I just want you to listen. And go talk to a wall. Are there times when you want to share your feelings with someone? Everyone has to take care of themselves. <laughs> I don't want to carry anyone else's burden. Good talk. Good talk. <laughs> No leadership qualities? Failed instructor? Perhaps they're right. Holy shit, he's edgy? Yeah, he is. That's why I love him so much. I saw somebody say, damn, he talks even less than Cloud. Yeah, and he's more biting than Cloud as well. Cloud will occasionally drop a line where you're like, oof. But school does it like every other fucking sentence. <laughs> school is the wall yeah he doesn't give a shit that line then go dark to a wall so fucking good and she's still with us she followed us despite that rudeness oh quistus no you deserve better go talk to one of the to the trape troopies they love you 
They'd be so happy to listen to you. The awkward return. Yep, she came crawling right back. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, but we are going to have to redraw all those fucking silences. Ugh, okay. I think you failed the relationship rank up. I don't know. She's still with us. She still decided to come with us, so... I'm starting to think she's into it. Maybe she likes being ignored. Maybe she's one of those, yes, slay, give me nothing. <laughs> kind of things. Shiki MSHTHS, thank you so much for donating the food funds. Nothing Krista said made sense to me as a 12-year-old kid, and school was so cool to me. Man, things hit different 24 years later. Yeah, I feel that. When you're an angsty emo teenager, you're about the same way. You're just like, oh, he's so badass. He only cares about himself. And she's just being so boring and weird. She's a teacher. She shouldn't be trying to connect to her student who's pretty much exactly the same fucking age as her. <laughs> she's just having some insecurity. Yeah. She's honestly, she's doing fine. She's a fine instructor. She just needs time to realize that. I can fix him. <laughs> you can't know. That's the thing. He knows who he is and he knows what he wants. <laughs> Chris just does deserve better? Yep. She'll get there someday. She'll figure it out. The more you beat me up, plant, the more I'm going to destroy you with a Renzakook. Oh. Renzakookin wants this ends. Now I've got full sleeps, too. Oh, you can put them to sleep. Nice. Oh, we're good then. You die now. How did he survive two hits? It's actually kind of crazy. Three hits? Really? There we go. <laughs> I think the biggest problem with Quistis is her confidence. If she were to work on that, she'd be a great instructor. Yeah. She just needs to be able to overpower Safer more than anything. Having Safer as one of her students did not go well for... Uh-oh. Somebody help! Come on, Squall. May not be an instructor anymore, but we still care about random students. Oh, shit. I forgot about this. Uh-oh. <laughs> I am so unprepared for this. Squall? Christy? Oh, shit. That's the girl who visited me while I was sleeping. And she knows my name. I'm in. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of enemies. You know what? I don't like the looks of this. Uh, Squall, you may be GF. Yeah, maybe fuck them all up at once. Get whatever that is. Even though it may kill us. Oh, shells. Those are actually really useful. Can I draw from the babies in front? Fire, thunder, protect. Protect would be good. But first, I need to actually fucking survive this. Okay, that didn't do too bad. Go on, Ifrit. Hellfire them. That did not do as much damage as I was hoping for. That's okay. Maybe we'll just beat these guys to death the old-fashioned way. Stop. It's not cool, my dude. Oh, yeah. That's much better. Just eats them at you. <laughs> yep. Just picks up his buddies and destroys me with them. Oh, he can roll them at us, too. Oh, ain't that cute. But as long as I cut them away, he can't do shit. Okay. Now do I actually want anything from this guy? The shells would be... Oh, they've got blind too! In fact, maybe that'll work on him. Let's find out. Nah, he's probably defensive about it. Bum, 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 bum. You don't have cures, that's a problem for me. But I can cure with Squall. Okay, here comes the next 20 minutes of our gameplay again. 
No, 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 draw. Stop. Yeah, he doesn't do too much damage. I think we'll be fine. More draw forming. Yep, it's the Jot Sudan. Not even the one people are used to with me drawing images. <laughs> I hope he doesn't have any special attacks. Or oh, this is going to get painful. <laughs> It's always time for Dratsu Dan. Yeah, in Final Fantasy, it really is. Having those blinds is going to be so useful as a junction. Because most enemies aren't actually defensive against blind, whereas a lot are defensive against sleep. Channeling that inner football star. <laughs> you know what? I preferred the football one to him, like, swinging them at me from above. Maybe he should play more football. Just squeeze the magic out of him, just like with every boss. He's just lucky he doesn't have a GF, or I'd be stealing that too. This is the Mr. Steal Your Girl run. Oh, shit. Okay, on to Shell. Oh, school's actually looking pretty bad. Quistus now too, fuck. <laughs> Um, yeah, we quest us. There we go. We're back in the fight. Ah, uh, uh, shit. Now your turn to get those. Fogger, steal your GF, steal your magic, steal your... Comfy. Uh, yeah, actually. <laughs> like Ageha Snow said. Look at the fur on his neck. I did steal this from Confidants. I did not grow this fur. <laughs> Mr. Steal Your Girl, the ultimate Rizzer at a mo emotastic school? Cheer for him, guys. I mean... The school also lost his girl. Rhinoa went running off with somebody else, so... Maybe he's just trying to inflict the same pain he felt on other people. That doesn't defend his actions, but maybe that's the reason for him being a dick. <laughs> maybe that's why he steals everybody else's girlfriend. We consider school a gimp. It's pretty much a regular drawing stream. Huh? Oh, okay. School is no gimp. How dare you? He's wearing a lot of leather, but he's not wearing nothing but leather. Does he riz, though? He does not riz. This must be said. He just doesn't speak to anyone, basically. Anyone who thinks he rizzes, they're just into the whole, like, standoffish thing. He has no riz, but he does look good. This is the problem. Sometimes that's all it takes. <laughs> Unspoken riz. See, that works. <laughs> who could forget his most iconic line? Whatever. Whatever. I mean, honestly, it would work on Teenage Me, so... Teenage Me thought that was the epitome of badass, so... What can I even say about it? <laughs> oh, there we go. Um, sleep cast on you. Wow, she still finished before school. That's kind of crazy. Draw a uh, shell cast on school, I guess. Oh, good. We're good now. Um, blind cast on you. Now we can attack the shit out of him. You have no more magic for me. You must die. And sleep. He falls asleep quite easy considering he has it. And he's gone. <laughs> he did not last long. <laughs> Yo, that's a lot of wizard stones. 14 AP. We got thunder magic refine and elemental defense and tool refine. It was a good day. Oh shit. The ninjas are so fast. It is not safe here. Please, let's go. All right. You gonna comment on the whole knowing my name and calling Quistus Quisty thing? No? Okay, have fun with the ninjas, I guess. Who was that? Dunno, but she seemed to know us pretty damn well, in fact. I'm sure we'll find out in time. Nothing weird here? Nah, nothing at all. Oh, already been that way. At least I killed the dinosaur accidentally. 
I'm pretty sure you were supposed to do that after the boss, since the boss is the one who gives you the blinds, but fuck it. We got good RNG on that dinosaur. Bum -ba -da -bum. Skull, it's not like everyone can get by on their own, you know. <laughs> She's so mad. <laughs> she didn't even wait for a response. She was just like, you know, you're kind of a dick. Anyway, fuck you. I'm out. Says who? Yeah, school can get by on his own. That's his OMO. You tell him, Queen. Yeah, we all need help sometimes. We all need reassurance. Is the dormitory? Oh, yeah. Kind of an asshole? Yep. Finally, there you are. Where the hell were you? I was looking all over the place. We're both now members of Seed, right? Well, guess what? We got our own rooms, baby! Your new room's right across the hall from your old one. That's what I was asked to tell you. Man, it took me forever. Yeah, sorry, I was on a date with our instructor. How do you feel about that, Zell? Your new room's right across the hall from your old one. Yeah, I, I did figure he wasn't interested. Honestly, he doesn't care. <gasps> My room's so much bigger! I'll just go to sleep. He's too cool to care. <laughs> I just noticed Fuchan is the same fur jacket as cool. Yeah, Peppy made me this asset. So I've got the fur around my jacket as well. It's actually a confidant, but you'll only see that once we get into the Zatsudan mode. Skull, it's our first seed mission. Looks like we're going to timber meet. Oh, looks like we're going to timber. Meet by the front grate. Hurry. My man slept in his leather jacket, leather pants, like 12 different belts and with his fucking leather boots on. God, he's so fucking cool. Received weapons monthly. April issue. I'm gonna think of it. We've got two of those now. Um, bum, bum, bum. Wait, where's the first one? March! The original revolver. Weapons monthly March issue. This time we introduce a basic weapon. The Gunblade's original model is this revolver. What it lacks in power and more than makes up for with its reliability. And Zell's gloves. And selfie sticks and Christus's whip. An improvement in power over the revolver. Sheer trigger uses the same blade as a revolver, but the gun aspect is now more powerful. I need a pipe and some screws. Because of course you can't use your pipe unless you can screw. With the Maverick, the combatant can deliver direct punching blows to the enemy. The gloves are made of black leather and have metal plates on the knuckles. Fuck yeah. Weapons that can be used from a distance have many advantages. The pinwheel is one of the more basic projectile weapons. <laughs> In other words, if you just want a fucking gun, they have the advantage of range, but damage is less compared to swords. That is not a fact. The Valiant uses powerful bullets to cause damage comparable to a sword. Comparable? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I think you'll find that kind of, like, little shotgun can blow a hole in just about anything. I don't think you have to worry about dinosaurs if you can just one-shot them in the fucking head. Wonder whose weapons are these? Good question. We'll find out. But not yet. But first, to look cool. <laughs> At three times speed, even the slow walk is kind of weird looking. Look at him go, his little fitzies. <laughs> anyway, um, I think I have to hit the library. And I have to find Sid. Oh, I got 7,000 G just for existing. I love getting free, girl. I'm going to be a seed. I'll work really hard. Hey, Skull. Heard you got your first mission already. Looks like they have high hopes for you. Good library. Walk, walk, fashion, baby. God damn it. Did you hear? They're going to cut the library budget again. Why do they always do that? Do they have some kind of grudge against us? If all the committees, we the library committee, are the only ones beneficial to studying. I know, seriously. We get the same amount as the disciplinary committee. How sad is that? Oh my, oh my. Well, at least we have a different budget to buy books with. But... But, what about our snacks? Now that adds up too, you know. That's that's not library business, thank you. There's so much competition. That's why I'm scoping out a book now. 
If there's a book you're looking for, please let one of the library committee know. We'll be happy to help you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all I had to do, was just talk to her. A sooner found. Don't mind if I do. Thorn, I can't remember the name of the book the instructor was talking about. It's too much of a hassle to ask him again. I'll just check out whatever. Can't find anything that's relevant. Library girl with the pintails, huh? Yeah, she's cute. Don't worry, she'll be important later on. Um, but fuck. I didn't mean to go back. That wasn't me going back. That was me going down. <laughs> snacks are under the library budget. Makes you wonder how much they're spending on snacks now that I think about it. <sighs> I have a test coming up. It's actually a makeup test. I'm the worst, man. I'm the only one taking it. <laughs> that sounds like a you problem. I saved a seat, but where's my study partner? I'll get in trouble if she doesn't come back soon. Apparently she's talking about the snack budget. Damn, you really can't get the library book here yet. I don't know when that unlocks. So we'll just have to keep doing it. Probably have to go up to Sid's office, I'd imagine. Um, do I have to do anything else here? I don't think so. I think I just have to talk to Sid a whole bunch and challenge him to a card game. Hell yeah, 3F for the first time. Shouldn't snacks be under your own budget? You would think so. But I mean, if it works for the... Oh. Maybe it's the second floor where they give me my mission. <laughs> Whoops. I'm to think of it. Maybe they told me where to go and I just ignored it. <laughs> I don't like talking to Selfie. I don't trust Selfie. Bum, bum. Yep, it's not here either. Uh-oh. Maybe the quad? Maybe the entrance. Oh, God. Wee. God, I love triple speed. I'm going to guess the entrance. I don't think they'd send me out to the quad immediately. They said something about our mission being at Timber. That's all I remember. Ah, there we go. <laughs> One more minute. Yo, Zell with the hoverboard. Let's fucking go. You can tell as soon as you saw him, he was a skater boy, right? <laughs> Made it. T-boards are prohibited within garden. Have you forgotten? Oops, sorry. But this isn't really cool. It may come in handy on a seed mission someday. We'll be the judges of that. Oh, man. Confiscate it. He probably just bought that with his first seed paycheck. My boy, no. All of you are members of seed, but... Sorry, I need to put some oil on my microphone arm. It's so squeaky right now. Nevertheless, you're still students at this garden. Furthermore, because you are seeds, you must set an example to all others and abide by the garden's rules. Understood? Love how the headmaster's so chill. That guy's such a douche. <laughs> Well, about your first mission. You are to go to Timber. There you'll be supporting a resistance faction. That is your mission. A member of the faction will contact you at Timber Station. This person will talk to you and say, the forests of Timber sure have changed. And I have to say, but the owls are still there. Wow, I remember this after 20 something years. That's, that's not great. <laughs> that's information my brain could have used for something useful. There we go. At this time, you must reply, but the owls are still around. <laughs> that is the password. Just just follow the faction's orders. Uh, just us three? Correct. We've agreed to do this mission for very little money. Normally, we would never accept such requests, but... Enough talk about that. Well then, Squall, you're the squad leader. Use your best judgment based on the situation. That judgment was spelt wrong. There was no E in the middle. <laughs> Zell and Selfie, you're to support school and give your all to carry out the faction's plans. That's it. Why? Oh, and Squall. I forgot to give you this. It's a cursed item, but if one with enough power uses it, it should be of great help. You got the magic lamp, which is very, very fucking useful. Best of luck on your first mission. But do you want to play cards? No, he doesn't want to play cards yet. 
Okay, I'll card you later. Once again, the password is, but the hours are still around. Don't forget. Yeah, I, I don't know what to tell you, my dude. I apparently could not forget. Not sure how I feel about that, but it is what it is. Yes! She's not with us anymore. Leave me alone, Quistus. God, she's so thirsty. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, he only has two. That'll do. Um, magic GF card. Shit, he needs draw. No magic. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> magic lamp, nice. Yeah. I'm not sure if we can use that right now. I'll try, but uh, we might not be strong enough just yet. Strength goes to thunder. Vitality goes to... Shit. <laughs> I mean, I guess... No, not cure. Well, we don't have anything else. And then 11, 11, 12. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. I need to give Quistus's magic to these guys as well, though. Um, Magic. Definitely draw. What am I doing? Draw a GF item. Okay. Magic lamp beat my ass the first time? Yeah. It is actually quite a hard fight. Best of luck on your first mission. Okay. Magic. Quistus. X. Oh. No, the opposite. <laughs> Shit. Um, we need those shells. Give them to... Sure, let's give everything to Zell. Those silences. And those sleeps. And those blinds. There we go. Now let's check if he can do better with the junction magic. All oh, right, he only has the two things. Oh, he can though. Any of these are good. Okay. Fuck it, I'm going back home. I wonder if they'll actually... Oh, they actually let me. <laughs> I wonder if this is when I go fight Sid. Can I go find him on his third floor now? Very good question. Bum, 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 bum. I'm just going to check real quick. Bang, 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 bang. Yeah! Oh, do you want to play cards? <gasps> this is where you get it. Okay. Trade rule one, rules open. So, Quistus, Ifrit, Minimog. Wait. Yeah, no, this is fine. Krista! He didn't use it. This may be a while as well. <laughs> um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Can you beat a six to the right? No. Can you beat an eight to the bottom? No. Okay. New defensive thing. Well, actually... Ifrit's better there. It hides his weak points. Good luck, Fu. Yeah, I'd imagine this guy's a bit harder to deal with. <laughs> can they beat a six to the left? They can. Shit. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. So we play defensive again. Don't like playing defensive. They can't beat a six to the right, so sure. I'll do this. Use your elastoid, you coward. Fucking coward. What uses elastoid? Um. Fuck. <laughs> now I have nothing in a good defensive position. Um. Why am I so weak when it comes to left? I really need to work on that. Um, I have to attack them. I have to attack them. I put Quistus here. They're going to throw the Elastoid to the right and take my Quistus. They have a six. Which I cannot fucking take back. Ah, oh, fuck me. I fucked up. <laughs> I fucked up in a big way. Um, so I'll put this over here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Then they have to use the Elastoid, and I have to beat... Shit. Okay, whatever. Uh, oh, he did a dumb. Um, I, I just win. I just win. Uh, okay. I... We take those. We most assuredly take those. <laughs> Give me another game. Okay, so what he has, which we really want, is the um, 
safer card. She'll probably defend to his dying fucking breath, unfortunately. This will take a while. And he's got big Z's and wedgie Z's, which is not great. If it's one of my few things that I can attack left, so... They can beat me, though. Fuck! Yeah, I still have to use E for it in a defensive mode. You overestimated the computer? The problem is, if you underestimate it, then shit goes real fucking bad. <laughs> um... At this point, I have to do this. At least it will make Wedge easy to take back, but they'll have my Zhao until the end of time. Oh, and I don't have anything good defensive on the left. Oh, fuck me. He's playing me like a book, guys. He's playing me like a fucking book. I put this here. There's a few ways he can take me. Shit. But he didn't. And so I think I'll defend that. <laughs> Oh no, this isn't going well for me at all, actually. Put this here, but then he can take back his baby. Oh, and now I have nothing hard hitting at the sides. So I have to put this there, and then they can take Quistus. Shit! Did I just lose? I think I just lost. I think he just outplayed me. Because he gets a double take there. Oh, fuck. <laughs> or I tie at least. Yeah, I tie. Oh, man. Damn. It didn't matter. He didn't have safer out anyway. Come on, hit me. Still doesn't have safer. God fucking damn it. His cards are so strong. I could instead waste mini morg early, because my problem is I don't have enough attack that goes left. Meanwhile, he keeps having things that can actually take out my Quistus and Zell, which is a problem. <laughs> oh god. Could have still won pretty easily. Well, my brain's too dumb to figure out the way. He's either going to use Elastoid or... Yeah, fuck. I need to... Stop this shit. Uh, if I do that, he's going to take Zell. Yeah, this is just aggravating. I'm just failing so much. I could take him that way, then he could take me from the right, and then, I don't know, I have to try and lock it down or some shit. I, uh, fuck you, dude! Everything is pain. I didn't even take it. I'm an idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. Okay. I need to defend the one from the right. He can't take it from the bottom. So I got lucky on that. He's gonna take my Zell. But if he takes my Zell, I can take him back with Quistus. Or Minimog. Or that is an option too, I guess. And I win. I'll take the Tomberry King. Thank you. Play safer, you coward. I should probably repair the fact that I have nothing good on the left. Yeah, I'll do that next time. I'll stop just summoning everything at the bottom. Um, Do they have... Oh, I can actually use Quistus Fawns. They can't beat a six. In fact, they can't even beat a five. I could use Zell, but he's better on the left. Bum, 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 bum. They're going to be able to take this back, but it leaves them open in a bunch of ways, so fuck it. Fuck it, we ball. Bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum. Ah, that leaves me in a predicament. <laughs> Shit. Um, whatever I do, I kind of leave myself open in some direction. Unless I just put Ifrit in the bottom right defensively, but then I don't have much attack to the sides. Fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put Minimog down here. Yeah. Fuck it. He's going to take him. 
I can use Ifrit down here. And then hopefully whatever they throw out, I can beat it. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, bum. I forgot they could take Minimog. But yeah, we win. Tomberry, Abyssworm, and Cactuar. I'll go with Tomberry. Bum, ba -dum, bum. You Kako, thank you for donating the food funds. Omadetto FFA stream. It's a memorable game for me and everything about it was a shock to me as a child. English version is new to me, but I can feel Kuchan's tuny memories. Oh yeah. Man, as a child, this game hits so different. I still love it even now though. Even the remastered edition feels great. And I forgot to choose the wrong fucking card again. Ah, it's okay. They keep making me play first as well. But you Kako, thank you for all the beautiful art you've done for this as well. I'm planning on using um, your first one on the next stream. I think that'll be good where it's still like school, just looking angsty. And they've got a thing that can take me out. Shit, fuck me. And we're going to be on the defensive all fucking game again. Yay. Uh, uh, why must you do this to me? Difference is he can play as many times as he wants and keep going. Whereas if I lose one of my super rare cards, I have to reload and it fucks everything. What about eight and six? Can they beat a six on the right? They cannot. They definitely can't beat an eight down, so fuck it. We continue defensive. How does this game work? Is it like how many of the colors on the board? Yeah, and you flip them by like defeating them. Like the higher number takes whichever monster's in front of it. This guy never fucking uses his Elastoise early either, which is a problem. Literally anything can take that. And they have some good downward defenses, fuck. Mm. If I do this, he's going to take Quistus back with the last choice and it make it so that I can't attack his top right one. So I just need to put something in the top. Fuck. <laughs> this is where it gets tough. You know what? We just hide this boy up here. We may still lose this one, actually. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, now what we do is we put Quistus here. He either takes back the Ocho or he takes Quistus, and either way I get to Minimog my way through. So it's either a draw or a win. It's a draw. Oh no, that's a win. That's even more confusing. I should really learn to count at some point. <laughs> but not today. Back to our card acquired. Give me safer. You don't lose the card permanently, just a hassle to get back. That's what I mean, though. It's like going through the whole thing from the beginning again. Just hoping they actually drop the one that you want. God damn it, dude. Bum, bum, ba -dum. And they still have a thing that can take out my parking Quistus. Uh... So we start defensive. And we continue defensive. It is what it is. Sure. Use your behemoth, you coward. I put this here. He has to use the behemoth either at the bottom or the top. And I can't break a six from the right, so that's fucked for me. Um. I put this. Shit. Yeah, I'm kind of screwed. <laughs> I'm kind of screwed. This is so aggravating, man. I might have lost this one. Oh. I'm overthinking things sometimes. Borg is only two, so he can't count. Exactly. We've got to knock Dix level up a few more times, and then I'll be able to count. Okay, let's get something with a... Okay, okay. Wegs and Big, better than Krista. Still no fucking safer. Are you fucking kidding me? They don't have anything that can break my quest just this time, though. Come at me, scrub. I'm already winning. You don't even know. Why didn't you take back your boy? That's a very confusing moment for me. <laughs> but okay, I'll just take every one of your cards. That doesn't bother me. 
Um. Okay. You had two at the end. I go with a cockatrice. I'm getting a very full deck of cards, at least. That's something. No, no, Krista. Stop. Really wish you could rearrange things. My dude, drop the fucking card. They can beat me with wags and bitch. Okay. We start defensive again. Hey, can they even defeat Biggs and Wedge? They can't, so I could play that defensively too. Interesting. Um, they can break that card. But I mean, then I've got nothing but aces anyway, so... I could smack that one. They'd have to take it with Biggs and Wedge, and then I can take Biggs and Wedge back. Yes! Or you can just do that and make it so you don't take back anything. That works for me too. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Again, the math ain't mathin'. Uh, so you can farm infinitely from one guy if you keep trying to beat him. Yeah, I mean, all I want is just the one fucking card from this guy, though. But yeah, if you want to complete a full deck, you can just keep going after the same person. It gets easier later because you get later rules where, like, you can make it so that you get, like, every card you flipped kind of thing. Nine, six, six. Yes, I can use Quistus. Start on the offensive. Uh, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, Maybe I should put this here instead. Yeah, uh, I mean, there's no point. They'd have to take him back specifically with the Tomberry King. Yeah, actually, then I can mini mog him up. Tomberry King, mini mog. Drops that bear, he can't hurt me, and I get to flip him. Armadodo! Dude, I've taken so many of your cards. Don't you want to use your one rare one? Come on, you gotta try your hardest. <sighs> and they can fuck up my Quistus this time. In a lot of ways, actually. This is a very strong deck. Can they... Yes, they can defeat Begs, Biggs and Wedge, too. Holy shit. They cannot defeat Zell. Zell's actually better than Ifrit, so I should use Ifrit for now. Oh, that's a strong hand. Expecting JRPG getting Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> Hell yeah. We like to change expectations around here. If I use this, they have to use Behemoth. If they use Behemoth, he only has a three on top. Which I could defeat with Zell and take Elastoid at the same time. And they can't defeat Sal. Okay. Trap card. He didn't even use Behemoth the way I thought he was going to. He's planning something. Don't know what he's planning, but it ain't gonna work. They got a seven down. Yeah, they can't do shit. I think I'm good. Oh, that was clever, you son of a bitch. But I can take two at the same time, so... It doesn't work. still win. Close, though. Tried to set me up just by being able to do the double-sided. Yes, the game of cards. Give me safer for the love of fuck. Bum, bum, ba, bum, bum, bum. Finally! Okay, now if we actually... Fuck, it made me go first. Ha <laughs> ha ha! This is the one card that destroys all my bottom right things. <laughs> And he has things that can take out my Quistus. Oh, fuck me. This is actually quite hard. Um. What about Zell? No, Zell's no better. Ah, shit on a brick. Safer card, strong. Um. Rut roll. <laughs> Very rut roll. I don't know what to do in this scenario. Maybe I put Minimog down, let him take it from one side, and then take it back. I guess... Where am I weaker? Bottom or top? Got a lot of good tops. I've got a few good bottoms. Yeah, go for bottom. Shit on a brick? Yep, shit on a brick. Okay, he didn't attack my Minimog. 
but I cannot break his safe. <laughs> so I am on the back foot now. Fuck my life. I can defend Mini Morg from one side, but that actually fucks me up because he was meant to be there as bait. And I just want to take him back. Frick. <laughs> um. And they can still break that with Biggs and Wedge. Oh, shit. This ain't going so good, Batman. Um. They can't break a six and they can't break an ace. Okay. Plan stays the same. I can break that. But it leaves an opening to them to break. Fuck. Oh, man. Why is he playing so smart this time? Fuck you, dude. If I break him here... He can break me with Biggs and Wedge, but I can break Biggs and Wedge. But then he's going to break Minimog. But if he breaks Minimog, I get to instantly take him back with Quistus. So I think I'm okay. I think. We're going to find out. He didn't do what I expected. Fuck my life. Fuck everything. Fuck everybody in particular. I can take Minimog back and he can't take me. But then I can't get the final card. So we draw. No, he can still take Ifrit. He's one. Oh, he's one. I put this here. He can take Ifrit, but then I can take him. Or he can take Minimok, and I can't take him. Oh, Minimok's already his. I'm an idiot. Um... <laughs> The math doesn't math, but at least I never have to play that shit again. Get the, go away, Headmaster. I don't like you anymore. My brain hurt. My brain no feel good. First four, please. Congrats? Yeah, it only took way too fucking long. Ha! <sighs> but we got what we wanted. We've gotten all the rare cards so far. We're not missing... I don't think we missed anything. I might be wrong. There might be some missable. So yeah, uh, as far as I know, we're doing great. Got lots of cards, and we're heading to Dollet. Well, actually, first, we're probably going to use the magic lamp and see if we get our asses kicked. Which we may, because <laughs> I don't remember how to fight that thing. Your point? Go for it, Squall. You deserve Dems. Should be fine? I'm hoping so. We've got some good strength junctions, at least. Okay, let's see save again because I'm scared always scared and then let's use the magic lamp that the headmaster gave us what could possibly go long you should save your game before using it I know game I know yay who dares disturb my sleep me I probably shouldn't be trying to play with this guy, actually. I should be properly fighting. Oh, my fucking God. Draw failed. Fantastic. I'm so glad that fucking failed. Kill your friend. School is going to die. <laughs> Apparently, I should have had magic on selfie. Yeah, I think we're getting fucked, dudes. Oh, now he can't even do his limit break, so that's fun. And here comes Demi again. Yeah, it's time for a cure. See, what Demi does, it's gravity magic. It works on a percentage of your remaining health. So thankfully, it can't hurt me much when I'm already close to death, but it just rips away your health otherwise, which is all kinds of fun. Yeah, I should actually start attacking. We'll be fine. 201 attack. Yeah, we will we will be fine. We'll we'll be fine. Well, Squall is both my main healer and my main fighter, which is not a good balance of things. <sighs> Beat the crap out of him, Zell. 
Yeah, he does like no damage. Not the Gravija. Everybody magic. Can you get gravity magic from him? Yeah, you can. Which is very hard to draw it from him right now. Use a potion on yourself. You, Duel. You, Renzakukin. They're probably both gonna die. Booyah! Heal drop! Booyah! Heal drop! Mac kick! I pressed the wrong buttons. Whoops. <laughs> Fuck me. Well, at least I got the free rough divide. I did not earn that, though. Bum, 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 Oh, that's so close to death. Oh, he doesn't have that either. Wow, fantastic. You know what? Quetzalcoatl seems like a better idea now. Yeah, he'll selfie. She's about to die. You know what? Yeah, cast that one. Oh, you can't choose who it rolls on either. Well, I hope it's Squall. Nope, completely useless. God damn it. <laughs> Tekken looks wild. Yeah, it's a, it's a crazy time. Oh, I forgot. Selfie's limit break is not the best. Well, he's only using gravity attacks for now, so... As long as he doesn't randomly punch Squall in the face, we're doing fine. 20 health, though. Yeah, Renzakukin the shit out of that. At least it was a lot of attacks, too. Okay, potion on yourself. Honestly, Squall won't survive one more hit anyway, so fuck it. He needs to cure himself properly. Oh, good. Just Demi. To any health in a dream? Hell yeah. <laughs> Free with Kai. Who's Kai? Demi cuts current HP speed, I believe. Technically can't die from Gemi. Yeah, that's the problem. He can smack you in the face when he gets your health low enough. And his normal punches do like 200 damage as well. So he is not to be trifled with. I forget what his weaknesses are. Okay, now's the time for a potion. But first, Doren's the Kukin. Come on, school, I believe in you. Come on, baby. Still not dead? Fuck you, dude! Zell just immediately get- Oh, he could still die in one punch. <laughs> Shit! Yeah, just summon Quetzalcoatl. Double potion on score, please. You're gonna get the Renzakukin. There we go. Check with Scan. Oh, I know. I just don't wanna. I mean, I could just also look it up on a walkthrough, but... I like to keep the mystery alive while this is going. Okay, no more Renzakukin. Gravidja! Fun times. Believe in him who's powered by belts and zippers? Fuck yeah. Do any of you want to do your specials? Yeah, do that. Blizzara three times? Fuck yeah. Oh, we are so close to death. Quetzalcoatl and Renzakukin. We might die, but we're gonna die fun. That's more like it. That's a good set of slots. Give me a rough divide. Oh, thank God. He doesn't like an all attack right now. We are so dead. <laughs> it's not even funny. <laughs> oh, Zell will be alive. Oh, you can cast Demi on him. Oh. 
Oh. Can I draw his Debbie and use it against him? That'd be kind of sick. Okay, we're going to need some actual healing magic here. No, you know what? Fuck you. Cast on you. Do over. Do over. Do over. Do over. Do that. Cure someone at least. Oh, he's on such low health. If Demi only does 87, that means he barely has any health left. We're close. We're so close. Oh, everyone gets a full cure. Oh, we've, we've got this. Holy shit. You know what? Yeah, fuck you. Do your groovy, Joe. See if I care. It'll only make me able to do my limit break. There you go. Door time, baby. Lucky? <laughs> I mean, if I just kept fighting, I would have won too. But now I know. God, I keep confusing B and A. Yeah, I suck at that technique for now. Oh, I had Renzo Kukin. I fucking... Finish him, school! It should do it. Too much sleep. Too weak. That's okay, buddy. Welcome to the team. G returner times eight. And Diablos' card. GF received 20 AP. And we have a new one. I'm going to actually name this one. Because I'm going to name this one. Voxy. There we go. Okay, now I'm about to die, so let me fix that real quickly. <laughs> the school get a third junction? How come your mom lets you have three GFs? Because he's just that cool. Oh yeah, now he has elemental defense as well. Sick. 20% against everything? That sounds good to me. It's probably a better person to put Diablos on, but fuck it. <laughs> no, you don't need that. So with this guy, you can get an counter half and a counter 0%, but we don't really need them, <laughs> honestly. Um, Hit J is pretty good. Dark Side is like a stronger attack version. Mug is really useful as well. Ability times three. Too bad I don't have any ability. <laughs> That's okay. I think maybe time magic refine first. And then probably mug is the way to go. So we don't need HP junction unless we equip him to someone else. Which we might. Um, but why are you learning that? That is not useful. And you... At two? Let me fire magic refine. Oh yeah, you're doing the right thing. At least I have one good student. Fuck. <laughs> That's another one. Um. Mid-level magic from other magic? Sure. That'll give us more powers. Girlfriend Voxy. Well, don't put it that way. <laughs> that makes it feel weird. Um, um, um. Um, um. Okay. We're good to keep playing. He is a GF. He is a GF. He's the one that will actually call a guardian force. Everybody else, they're a girlfriend. Voxy, on the other hand, no. You guys are so fucked. How did I get a limit break already? Who was that who was able to do a limit break? <laughs> Yeah, they don't have anything useful. Oh, Selfie's still low health. I must have tried to heal Quistus instead of her accidentally. Whoops. <laughs> I think we're going to try to get to the train scene for today. And then finish there. We'll see how that goes. That should be doable. Hey, we got another 7,000 gil. Okay, be careful. See you around. She wants you to go away, my dude. Are you still talking to the poor lady? Just selfie? Yeah, she'll be fine. <laughs> she'll live. 
Still good on that one. Should save at the hotel. Well, I just saved outside. But maybe there's something interesting there. There was not. <laughs> it was worth checking, though. Welcome to lovely Balam Hotel. You know what? 100 gil? Yeah, fuck it. We'll get fully healed. You, you guys good? There wasn't even like a funny noise for it. That's sad. Bum, 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 bum. <gasps> Yo, it's Zell's mommy. Hey, have you heard? Mrs. Dick's son passed... Dinked. Not dicked. Mrs. Dinked's son passed the seed exam. Really? I wonder how in the world that rowdy boy passed. Does Mrs. Dink know? Yeah, I think she does. Also, whoops. <laughs> they just said that right in front of him. It's so mean. Hello. Oh, you can buy weapons already? Need steel pipes and screws. <laughs> you can get the metal knuckles, but that does nothing for me. Ah, shit. Steel pipe and screws. When I get tool refine... Well, maybe card mark, actually. Find out. Card mod. I can get the screws that way. Can I get a pipe? I think you get a pipe from the giant spiders. The elastoids. One steel pipe. One of those and the five screws, please. Okay. Make me my new weapon. Bum, bum, bum. Sheer trigger, baby. Hit 255%. Holy shit. School just does not miss. Shit, what did I need for Zell's one? You know what? I don't care. He doesn't even have strength mod. He can stay weak. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, no. Not her. She gives me nightmares. Um. Ugh. I just saved. I'll be fine. Do you need to buy anything before you go? We carry various gifts, too. Um, I'd like some high potions. Well, not that many. A le uh, um, like five? Phoenix down, I'm good. Antidote, no, 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 no. Remedy, no. Tent, no. Fuel, no. Normal ammo, shotgun ammo, G potion, G returner. Let me check something as well. PTSD? Yeah, I feel like anyone who's played this game before knows who I mean. Fuck her. Fuck her so much. Um, do I have life? Yeah, I do. Okay. I think with a tent. Do you guys want to really break the game? Because <laughs> I kind of want to really break the game. I mean, we don't really need these, so... Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Buy two more tents. Refine one. Bum, bum, bum. Do, 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 do. Okay, now I've made 100 Curagas, which is the strongest healing spell in the game. So what I can do with that is junction those to the magic ability of HP. And suddenly I go from having 900 HP to 2,900 HP. <laughs> which means having like 600 HP, which is a good amount of HP for this part of the game, already puts me into being able to use Renzakuken and just spamming it. So that's kind of game breaking. And you know what? I feel like I deserve that. We're not gonna like do... We could also turn a bunch of other things into like heavy level fire augers and flares and all kinds of things make our attack be like 999. We're not going to do that, but just being able to spam Renzakuken, we'll, we'll live with that. <laughs> it's a feature. So true. It's not a bug. It's a feature. They programmed it in. They knew what I was going to do. And Diablos has HP 20%, 40%, and 80%. Oh, Jesus. We're just going to get max HP with school by like level 30. <laughs> Be able to rend the kooken at like 6,000 health. Fuck yes. 
Breaking FF with 999. Even better in FF10. In FF10, you also got skills that let you go over 999 in stats and 9,999 in health. You could go to 99,000. This is a scary woman. <laughs> I am the queen of cards. I travel all over the world to monitor and enforce the various card rules. What do you want to know? So you can ask her about the rules because different regions have different rules. And they also get passed on depending on how you play with people. It's so fucking annoying. And she also has a bunch of the rarest cards while also fucking sucking to play against because she's so good. So I should just run for now. Um, how is this region's rules? Open. Pay me 30,000 gil and I will pass on a new rule to this region. No, 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 I don't want... No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, good, I'm free. When they didn't give me the option to move away from same, I was so scared. I was like, are they just going to take my gill? Make me pay for that shit? Oh, Christ on a bike. The train to Timber is here. Please purchase a train ticket. It's a good thing I didn't spend all my money. Shit. Please go inside right away. The train to Timber will be leaving shortly. Oh, yeah. Oh, by the train scene, I mean the fighting train scene. I don't mean this train scene. But yeah, we're still going for a little bit. The train will be departing soon. Please hurry if you're getting on. Don't mind if I do. Ban Ban, thank you for the raid. Vezkits, how you doing today? We're playing one of my favorite games of all time, but a certified classic from way, way back. I think 1998? It's either no, 1999. This came out in 1999 uh, originally. This is the remaster, so it looks a bit prettier than it did back then with high quality music and just some quality of life stuff. But yeah, I'm playing some Final Fantasy VIII. Bujan TY for helping, Zali? What? what? Thank you, Fuchan, for being with Zali in game. Okay, now I need to know. What, what was Ban Ban playing? And in what way was I in the game with him? <laughs> Thank you, Fuchan. No problem, Ban Ban. Oh, Folga Anjanath. He was playing Monster Hunter. In which case, I don't think I helped him. Unless he killed me enough times that he got all of the armor set. <laughs> But yeah, Folger Anjanath is a pretty cool monster. In Monster Hunter World, hell yeah. I wonder if anybody's going to end up playing Monster Hunter Rise. I like that one more than World, honestly. Just because of the vertical movement. You dropped the Toby? Good. <laughs> you killed the other monster? Holy shit, I actually did help. Well, thank you for the raid, Bamban. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Vezkits, thank you so much for being here. I'm just going to be chilling. Um, yeah, we're going through this game. We've already played... Holy shit, it's been almost six hours already. We've already played for about five and a half hours. Um, we're probably going to go for like another hour and a half. There's a certain scene I want to get to if we can. I don't remember all of this game. I just remember like the general plot points. So we'll see if we get to it, but I'm planning on being here for like another hour or so. It's been six hours. I know, it's crazy. Five hours, 40 minutes. <laughs> this train is awesome. A transcontinental railroad, baby. It even runs through an underwater tunnel to get to timber. Pretty cool, huh? Sure is. I fucking love school. <laughs> oh, God. He's bullying the, the extrovert so hard as well. That was just like, come on, man. Give me something. I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> I guess you're not interested. By the way, Scrawl, you have to use the ticket to get inside. Okay, where's my ticket? I want to get comfy. Next stop, Timber. Okay, we can go inside now. Confirming. Access granted. I'm going to go check out the front. Tee <laughs> Thanks. Wow, she even tee -hees. She doesn't just do the pedal. <laughs> Let's go check it out, Squall. Nah. You go ahead. I'm going to stay here by myself and play with my computer terminals. And my save points. This is my happy place right here. No queen of cards can hurt me. She's so silly. She's so adorable. <laughs> Funny thing is, in another game, she would be the love interest Manic Pixie Dream Girl. In this game, she's she just selfie. <laughs> she's just around. Yo, check it out. So this is Seed's private cabin. 
If we have a private cabin, why the fuck did I have to pay money to get on the... Okay. Well. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Well, he's having a good time. How about yourself? I love trains. <laughs> train, train, take us away. Take us away. Our way to the future. We will go. You know what? She's happy. That's all I could hope for. She likes trains. She likes trains. <laughs> oh, the energy. <laughs> this is so cool. He'd, he'd just be bouncing. He'd just be training that gat. That gat is going to be strong as steel. I'm glad you're so excited. I even have magazines here. <laughs> he's trying so hard. He's like, here, Skull. There's books. Do you like reading? Pet Pals, Volume 1. I'll read about Doggosh. This is pretty damn amazing. It pays to be a member of Seed. God, I love being a child mercenary at the ripe old age of 17. Squall, you know anything about Timber? I don't care. Come on, Squall. Don't be like that. I want to tell you. <sighs> All right. Yep, that's what I wanted to hear. Allow me to explain briefly. Timber used to be a country surrounded by deep forests. But 18 years ago, Galbadia invaded. Timber fell quite easily to Galbadia, so now Timber is under Galbadian occupation. They're the guys we just wiped out of that island, actually. We did pretty well against them, so I'd like to see them try. <laughs> it's said there's a whole bunch of resistance factions, big and small. And? Nope, that's it. <laughs> that's everything. My dude, you knew, like, two sentences more than me. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Know-it-all, Zell. Hey, no prob. He didn't even get the sarcasm. I love him. <laughs> Zell just wants to be school's friend. He does. He's doing his best. He gave him a magazine. He's trying to share in interesting factoids. He waited all night for him before he went to bed. He, he, he's a good friend. It's not being reciprocated, but that was a good boy. I'm not feeling well. The way school just looks away. <laughs> you should get some rest if you're tired. I'm really sleepy. Oh, shit. Yeah, actually, we may not be able to get to the train scene. I forgot about this scene. This is important, but I completely forgot about it. You okay? Hey! Uh, what the... Ugh, something's wrong with me, too. I feel... sleepy. What's going on? <clears throat> what... is... this? It's Laguna time, baby. Zao's like a golden retriever. Yeah, he is with all the energy, too. Selfie fucking dies, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Uh, Laguna, are you sure it's this way? Huh? Who's Laguna? Bum, 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 ba, dum, bum. This is the fucking crazy battle theme. So these are Laguna, Ward, and Kiddos. Man with a machine gun, hell yeah. This theme's so good. Hemstone pieces. And one AP. Oh shit. Wow, I must be dreaming. Dream? Huh? I need to stop fast forwarding when there's possibility of that shit happening. Um, Laguna. Laguna stocked five cures. Yeah, we'll play at regular speed for now. The confusion about this is part of the experience. Yeah, it'll explain in a bit, don't worry. Hmm? Hmm? Mm, 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 mm. There's a lot of confusion going on. Wait, it's not this way? Oh. Well, now I feel dumb. <laughs> oh, okay. 
I always loved Kiros' movement. I like all of these guys, especially Laguna. Laguna is just a lovable goofball. And the long hair really sells it. He put me to sleep. What a dick. Man with a machine gun is so good. It really is. And if you haven't already, uh, make sure you go listen to the Black Mages version. It's just even more metal and even more intense. Why are you? Oh, shit. I haven't even been looking. Nah, you're good. Sped up battles make it so much easier. Wait, which way the fuck do I go then? It was just slightly further up before I pressed left. Fuck you, game. Hey, aren't we here to fight a war? You know, against the almighty Timber Army? Wait, am I doing the... I am. Um... Yeah, so why are we wasting our time messing with these animals? Well, you see, it's just that... Uh... Don't tell me we're lost again. Anyway, we're going home. Delling City, here we come. Well, wait. Laguna! Yeah, I got Kiros and Ward's names mixed up. Whoops. Water found. That's going to be so useful. Laguna stocked five waters. Bum, 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 bum. He's lost again. I'm not lost. The game just confused me. <laughs> I was right next to the point, apparently, and jamming left and up, but nothing worked. Apparently, I went too far left. Wait, which one's what? Oh, right. Uh, hey, you can't park in the middle of the street. Chill, man. It's cool. All right, then. How's about a drink? Whatever. Like you drink. We already know you're not in it for the drinking. Just admit it already. Yeah, just drink some juice like a weenie. And then gawk at the piano lady. Don't call her the piano lady. That's it. Forget it. I'm not going. We know you will. <laughs> yep. Oh, I'm sorry, traffic. Are you having problems? Get fucked. Piano lady. I respect his choices. <laughs> He's just like, hey, I don't care. At least I have pia piano lady in my life. And make fun of me all I want. Ooh. Is that the wrong way or am I just an idiot again? I'm just an idiot again. This way? This is not the way. <laughs> do you want to go up or down the ladder? I don't think I want to do either, actually. I think I've gotten misled. I've been led astray. At least there's no RNG battles out here. Bum, bum, ba, dum. There we go. This is the direction I want. And there's no buses yet. The hotel. Yay. This is where I want to be. Prepare your cringe, everybody. We're about to have things that are even more cringy than school being a tuny edgelord. Also, look at their images. <gasps> Ward with the giant star scar, Kiros with the sexy hair, and Laguna just all around beautiful. My man looks like David Bowie in his prime. I respect it. Okay. Cramping up. <laughs> That was also a thing I felt a lot in my childhood. It was like, ah, oh, man, I always got calf cramps as a kid. Welcome. Your usual table's ready. Huh. Huh. Excuse me. What? What's wrong? I... I don't know. He heard the voice in his head. Yay. I... <laughs> As of today, I'm assigned to the Engineer Corps. N nice to meet you all. What a joyous day for me. Please, everyone, don't try to stop me. I'd like to propose a toast to myself. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. This is the beginning of Biggs and Wedge. Listen up, soldiers. I'm Julia's private bodyguard. Better not make a pass at her. Or maybe it's not Biggs and Wedge, actually. <laughs> he definitely said Engineering Corps. That sounds like Wedge to me. Um, let's take a load off. Let's sit at the table. Thanks. Is this a dream? Laguna's pretty cute. What's going on? What's happening to me? 
So yeah, as you can hear, they're not in control of the people, but School, Selfie, and Zell are kind of like conscious right now and watching this as well. They're all speaking, but nobody can hear them. At ease, man. We're going all out tonight. Right, boys? He's so fucking awkward. I love him. <laughs> May I take your order? The usual. Me too. Keep them coming. God, I forgot how big Ward was too. So, Laguna. Julia should be making her appearance soon. In fact, there she is. In the sleek red dress. Let's fucking go. You going for it tonight? Yeah, go for it. On this stage, on my own, I never sang my words. Wishing they could be heard. I fucking love that song. Whatever, man. Can't you see she's working? Don't go back on your word. Come on, go wave to her. Give me a break. So you say. We know you'll do it. In the corner of this tongue, kneel it to a bar. I didn't walk backwards, guys. Laguna did that. He's so shy. <laughs> Come on, Laguna. Square up, bro. Uh, to be this close to Julia. Is this guy serious? I love school being stuck in this guy's head. School is just like, oh my fucking god. This is why I don't talk to people. <laughs> Uh-oh. My leg's cramping up. It's okay, buddy. Walk it off. You're fine. You can come back. Stronger than before. It didn't look that awkward. You didn't get super close to her before you had to turn around. He's so fucking cute. That's a thigh cramp. That's not a calf cramp. Sad. It is sad, school. Let him have his time. He's he's doing his best. Some people actually like relationships, buddy. This is so sad. Yeah, but he's trying. <laughs> oh man. G give me more liquid courage, please. Your strongest whiskey. To be able to listen to Julia play on a day like this. Oh, baby, this is turning out to be a lovely night. Hey, soldier, you got a little too close to Julia. I'll get you for that. Try me, bitch. It's my girl. Good work, Laguna. Mission successful. Here, have a seat. <laughs> They're fucking ribbing him so much. <laughs> Maybe Julia likes silly dudes. Maybe. Maybe she likes them innocent and adorable. I didn't think you'd actually do it. Our popularity rating's gone up a point. <laughs> oh god, they're all forever alone. Yeah, but you caught a pretty pitiful figure up there. I'd say you're about a minus three on the manliness scale. <sighs> say what you want. <sighs> Julia sure is pretty. Oh, <laughs> but he's such a fucking sip. <laughs> he's doing his best. Maybe take off the uniform before you try to flirt with someone, my guy. Uh... Ooh. Laguna, we're taking off. Hey, what's the rush? It's on us tonight. Relax and stay a while, Laguna. Oh, they're such good bros. Oh, I'm turning this up. I love this song, too. May I? Yeah. <laughs> The fucking cramp again immediately. <laughs> oh, my poor boy. He's doing his best. Did I interrupt anything? N -n 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 not at all. P please sit down. <laughs> He's fucking burying his face down. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's really her. What do I do? Kiros? Ward? Help! What do I say? But man, she is pretty. What's this guy thinking? Aw, she's laughing. She likes it. <laughs> you okay now? Kind of. How's your leg? L leg? Oh, this. 
Yeah, it's fine. Happens all the time when I get nervous. <laughs> Are you nervous? Oh, yeah. I'm still kinda. <laughs> he's so cute. He's not even lying about it, at least. He's just like, a pretty c -c girl. Uh, yes, nervous. Uh, can relax. <laughs> you don't have to get nervous around me. Oh, sorry. You're kind of his dream girl. I mean, he can't really help that. It doesn't work out that easily. <laughs> Say, would you like to talk somewhere private? I have a room here. Holy shit. The immediate wow. This is what happens, guys. This is the pretty person privilege. School has it with the fact that he's being a dick to everyone, but at the same time, everyone still wants to keep approaching him. And Laguna has it because even though he's cringe as fuck, she's still like, hey, want to go to my room? <laughs> also, Laguna's so pretty, man. The close look on his face. God, I love this remastered version. In your room? Well, it's pretty hard to talk freely here. Everyone's listening in. If you'd like, look at every holy shit. They are not giving them any space, even the waitress. If you'd like to, please come by. I've been wanting to talk to you. You don't want to? Uh, of course I do. Then I'll go ahead and wait for you. Ask for my room at the front desk, okay? The way everybody pretended to leave. <laughs> Am I dreaming? This is a dream. This is a dream. No, this can't be a dream. This is too weird to be a dream. Julia wants to talk to me? He talks to himself too much. And just the two of us. Get it together, Laguna. Whatever. I always screw up by talking about myself too much. It's always been like that. But not tonight. I'm all ears for Julia. Ah, time to use my manly charm and help Julia with her problem. <laughs> I fucking love him. He's doing his best. <laughs> Pretty bold for just a grunt. Julia this, Julia that. Yeah, I'll fix ya. Send you off to a war a million miles away. Fuck you, dude. They're in love, your honor. Where is this manly charm? Oh, come on, he's adorable. It may not be manly charm, but he's got a boyish charm about him. Today's my special day. But Julia chose you? Why? Why must it always be like this? And why must it be on this day of all days? He's drunk. Go home, sir. Can you really carry on a conversation with Julia? Make sure the conversation's sophisticated. No worries, man. That's like my specialty. <laughs> One wouldn't say you converse, though. All you do is yap, yap, yap and never listen. Okay. Yeah, fine. Look away from me. I see how it is. You know what? I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to make sweet, gentle love to the woman I love. Fuck you guys. Enjoy your hands tonight, boys. Saving alone now. God, I get really obsessed with save slots. He's a yapper? Yeah, he is. Welcome. Please step up to the counter. Hey, do you know where my girlfriend went? She's really cute. She plays piano. She told me she has a room here, but I don't know. She didn't tell me where the room is. This may actually be a horrible, horrible prank. Welcome. Checking in. Without any context, this is just so fucked up. Hey, my good man. Which is Julia's room? Which? Is he really going? Ah, Mr. Laguna Lore. I've been expecting you. Let me show you to Miss Julia's room. Damn, she even told the receptionist. She was like, yo, there's going to be this adorable puppy dog creature with long black hair. Show him to my room and bathe him. Make him clean for me. <laughs> I walked in and that's the first thing I heard. Good. I hope you enjoyed it, Noah. <laughs> Thanks for coming. We haven't gotten that far. Wow, they time skipped a lot. They time skipped beyond me just going upstairs, but okay. Thanks for coming. No, not at all. Uh, thank you for inviting me. 
I thought he was going to be like, um, you too. <laughs> she has two beds. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, she's used to having company. God damn. Have a seat. Okay. Oh, he went straight for the bed. He did not go for a chair. My man. And then immediately felt uncomfortable. Yeah, he realized. <laughs> I bet his mind was like, oh no, this is the bed. This is where Julia sleeps and it smells like her. No, Wangi Wangi, leave. He's so fucking cute. You got any secrets hidden in this room? Anything fun to steal? Three times speed so I could try and check out like a creeper. Any fun things in the drawers? You, you have nothing here. You live like this? Okay, um, what up? She's so pretty in that dress. Yeah, man. The long opening up the side. How much it shows off her booty and her chest. The fact that the chest is a different color just to draw attention to it. Oh, damn, man. Going so soon? We haven't even talked yet. You barely came. <laughs> just like a man. Coming and immediately leave. <laughs> damn, he's tall. Yeah, he's a big boy. There's no link-sized people in this game. Everybody's a big boy. No, it's not that. It's just that I'm a big fan of yours. So I'm really kind of nervous, you know? So that's why you come to hear me play so often. You... You saw me? Oh god, perceived by a f female. <laughs> he literally runs away. You're always smiling while listening, right? And like the four different straps to go up and around the neck. God, yeah, that dress is beautiful. You have beautiful eyes. Oh, they look a bit scared now. I mean, if you're into the whole... <laughs> if she's into the Onechan kind of play, she may be into that. Dude is literally walking in pace. He's, he's doing his best. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not going to pluck him and eat him. I just want to talk gazing into those eyes. Would you like a drink? Wine, perhaps. And now she's trying to get him drunk. Leave my boy alone. <laughs> I must be dreaming. Yeah. The goon is in heaven. <laughs> we are so in. Yeah, we are. Yeah, I don't like fighting too much, but you get to travel, you know? Seeing new places and stuff. And it's fun, because Kiros and Ward are always with me. Hey, we should go all out drinking sometime. What do you think? And, uh... What was I talking about? Oh yeah, so I want to quit the army and become a journalist so I can tell people about all the things I've seen on my travels. <laughs> Remember when he said he was going to shut up this time and be all ears for Julia? My boy. <laughs> He's already loosened up. So like the other day, one of my articles made the readers call him. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, that was way cool. <laughs> he didn't even wait for her to respond. <laughs> I'm happy for you. I'm also regretting bringing you into my room. This is not what I brought you here for. Oh, yeah. And then? Wh wh what were you talking about? Sorry. Oh, my God. He fucking laid down in the bed. My boy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know wine made you sleepy. You look adorable when you're asleep. Uh, it's a good thing there were two beds. Otherwise, oh, wow. Yeah, no, we fell asleep for a while. <laughs> uh... How did I fall asleep? My man, you slept in Julia's bed, but you did not sleep with Julia. <laughs> what are you doing? Just run away. Retreat while you can, my child. She's too much woman for you to handle. Damn, you are pretty, though. He got those Marco eyes. Man's face looks like Cloud. Yes? I... I must have fallen asleep talking on like that. Tell me about yourself. Like, your dreams for the future. Is it bad that I want Julia to eat Laguna like a tasty meal? No. She has that energy about her, and quite frankly, he's an adorable little puppy boy. <laughs> it's just, it kind of works. The ship is just shipping itself so hard. Besides, he wouldn't be opposed to it. I... I want to sing. Not just play the piano, but sing too. 
Oh, I'd really love to hear it. But I can't. I'm no good at writing lyrics. Hmm. That must be tough. But thanks to you, I think I can come up with something. Thanks to me? Yes. The many faces you've shown me. Times when you were hurt, worried, or felt pain deep inside you. Your smile when you saw me. I, I fuck. I, I cut that line off accidentally. <laughs> you've shown me something. I think I can come up with a song. Wow. I must be dreaming. It's not a dream. Is it? This is another version of Eyes on Me. This is so beautiful. Sorry to everyone who's seeing this game for the first time. Both the song she was playing on piano and the song for this. Uh, these are the same tunes. It's just rearrangements of the of the main vocal song from this series, which is a really cute romance song. By Fei Wong called Eyes on Me. Laguna, new orders. Meet by the presidential residence on the double. Can we meet again? Of course. I have to come hear you sing. I mean, I have to hear you sing, not the other thing. I, um... Train announcement. Next stop, Timber. Timber. Next stop, Timber. Timber. That was a weird dream. <laughs> Were we all asleep? <laughs> Maybe someone released some sleeping gas. There's lots of people who resent seed. Maybe. Better be careful. Am I missing anything? Anyone hurt? Yeah, I'd check my pockets immediately. They just left him on the floor. I know, right? Both of them woke up before him and they were just like, eh, he's fine. There's literally two beds there and a giant fluffy sofa. Oh, damn it. Like Laguna so much. It was so awesome. Yeah, I just have a big dumb smile on my face every time I'm playing as Laguna. I don't think so. What a relief. Although, you know, the whole narcolepsy thing is not great. Something weird happened. <laughs> I had such a nice dream. I had a dream too. It wasn't nice though. I dreamt I was a moron. <laughs> God damn it, school. Train announcement. We'll be arriving at Timber shortly. For those getting off, please be sure you wear a condom. Safety first, God damn it. But also have all of your belongings. But seriously, Sir Laguna was so cool. Hey, there was a Laguna in my dream too. He's a Galbadian soldier, right? A Laguna, Kiros, and Ward? Huh? That's it. That's what? There's no way we can understand this. There's, let's just concentrate on our first mission. I guess you're right. We'll put this incident on hold. I'll report it to the headmaster once we get back to garden. I can't believe Selfie was just that quick to be like, hey, we all got pasted out at the same time and had the same dream. But fuck it. I mean, we got a mission to do, am I right? <laughs> School is like a wall. He can handle the floor. He is built pretty well. We should be there soon, eh? Here we go. Psych yourself up, baby. Ew. Still sleepy. Yeah, I'd be quite concerned with the whole everybody having the shared dream. Oh, this is not the time for this plot point. Let's move along. Exactly. Meanwhile, we're not even at Timber yet. <laughs> we had a few minutes before we showed up, but that's fine. Selfie also like, Laguna's so cute. Yeah, she gets it. She gets it. <laughs> Timber Station. The land is that way. But it's a long way that way and across the fucking ocean. So I'm surprised they even bother having a sign for it. Oh, the forests of Timber sure have changed. 
but the owls are still around. Welcome to Timber, sir. Come with me, sir. No. I need to talk to the old lady. Welcome. How's Timber been treating you? Pretty good. Thanks. I've been running a souvenir shop for a long time. But there's nothing to sell these days. Take a look inside when you have time. We still have stuff in here. House tears, map of timber, model trains, naughty magazine. I can't sell naughty magazines to underage kids. Well, but Zone is a regular here. I sell them to him sometimes. He was looking for a book called Girl Next Door. You should tell Zone if you ever find one. So in this world, I can't buy naughty magazines, but I can join a fucking mercenary military group. I don't know how this world operates, man, but I'm not a fan of it. Owl's <laughs> tears, huh? We're out of stock. The old man living on the edge of town would have some. Do you have fucking anything? Model map of timber. The map of timber is not for sale, but I'll show it to you. Want to see it? Sure. You built out the map in ASCII? That's actually fucking funny. You are here. One balam, two deling. Okay, so we're at the bottom left. Balam and Delling. Okay, three dollars for desert. Useful. Very useful. <laughs> That's a great map. I love that map. I drew it myself. Easy to understand, huh? What about model trains? Model trains are out of stock. You literally have nothing. Watson Zone bought the last one. The owner of the hotel used to make some great models. He used to make a lot of them. He disappeared after the war. No one makes them anymore now that he's gone. Fine, screw you. Literally nothing. <laughs> Gave FAQ vibes? She said she didn't. Yeah, but I didn't think they meant literally nothing. On vacation? That's not fair. My Georgie's in there. I hate this pet shop. Kid, if you haven't bought him yet, he's not your Georgie. He could be somebody else's Presley or something. Some other stupid... Oh, wait. No, wait. <laughs> Did you already bond with the pet? That's no fun. I wonder if he's being fed. Hope he isn't sick. I want to play with my Georgie. Oh, the dog whining on the other side. Fuck. Kind of messed up, man. I forgot I have 3,000 health. You know what? I'm doing fine. <laughs> Get me out of here. Puppy, I know, right? Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to read Pet Pals. Shit. Please, please, this way, sir. The Raiders. They're not very secretive with their fun club name. <laughs> Poor doggo. I know, right? I've never thought about, like... God. Yeah, when pet shops have, like, days off. I guess they never really get days off because they have to have somebody feed the pets and shit. So, you guys are seats. I'm the squad leader, Squall. This is Zell and Selfie. Nice to meet you. I'm the leader of the forest house. Get that thing away from me. Germs. <laughs> but it'll shake everybody else's hand. <laughs> it's a very colorful train. Yep. Not very secretive. So, let's get on with it. What do we do? Did he not shake Zell's hand? Just take it easy. Here, let me introduce you. He did! He left him hanging! Oh, what a dick move! He got denied by Squall, shook Selfie's hand, and then just ignored Zell. Wow, what a dick. Looks like you already met Watts. I am. I guess it's just our princess, then. It's the princess's nap time, sir. Oh, man. Hey, Squall, sorry, but could you go get the princess? She's in the last room up those stairs. Some of our other guys are in the room on the way. Ask him if you get lost. Were we hired to run errands? Well? Uh, are you angry? We're not gophers. We're seed. Special forces. This is the last time for this kind of thing. Ow, ow, ow. He tummy hurty. <laughs> Wouldn't it make more sense to send selfie? So much more sense. 
But maybe they're scared she'd kill Selfie. They know what the princess is like. Getting ready for the strategy meeting, sir. Ouch, my tummy hurt. These guys don't seem to have it together. Skull, way to go. You tell him. They can't treat us that way. Okay, go back to enjoying your trains, little lady. The stummy ache? Hell yeah. Save up! And that's good, because I need to challenge someone to a card game here. And I don't remember who. <laughs> Begs some interesting questions. The sound of the train moving. It's so relaxing. What? You're going to wake the princess? You got some guts, man. Our princess is in the room further down. I mean, they literally told me at the end of the thing, but okay. No, I don't want to play a game with your stupid rules. Ah, fine. Come at me. Trade rule one, open same. What does same mean? Oh, that's when if you have the same number, it still flips. I hate that. <laughs> I hate everything about that, honestly. Oh, yeah, right. I have some rarer cards now. Safe is damn good. Zell, Quistus, and I got Diablos. An ace and an eight. Oh, hell yeah. Do I not need Minimog anymore? I guess I don't. Fuck yeah. Rule spreading time. Uh, I hope I don't have to do the rule spreading already. <laughs> Can you guys beat a six? You can with the dinosaur, but you can't beat a nine, baby. Get fucked, kiddos. Just use up everything that has a weak spot, honestly. Um, Both of these are good. Quistus is the weaker one. I take him back. He takes his own back. And then I destroy him. Yeah, with one of the others. We're good. Oh, or you do that. <laughs> I mean, I still take you. Or I just get defensive. You know what? I'll get defensive so it hurts harder. You can't do shit to me, sir. Enjoy your loss. Pretty sure Hexadragon has some good shit on him, but... We'll go with this for now. Diablo cards, beautiful. Hell yeah. No! Oh, the open rule was spread throughout this region. We actually want that. I think. I'm going to save on a second slot, but I think we want that. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, no. Open lets me see what cards. Okay, I'm literally saving on slot two. Which I've also used for saves coming. <laughs> Fucking hate card rules. Card rules are stupid. What we need to do is abolish the fucking same rule. You want to play cards, sir? Yes. Open same trade rule one. Come at me. Just give me the freaking card. I don't even want to spoil it for people waiting at home, but you know what card I want. Um, eight is good. Nine is definitely good. Yeah, go defensive. How do you abolish? It's just completely random chance. The only way to control it is to just save a bunch and make sure you get lock in the ones that you want. I have a six to the left, so... And same is in effect, so I can only use safer safely. And then they will take back their one. And I'll have to use Zell. Unless they use Bomb, but they can't use Bomb to take him. Okay, we're good. Boom, 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 boom. Gonna do this, and then they're obviously gonna take cockatrice back. Shit. I'm gonna do this <laughs> so that I have left and right damage. Yes, okay. They're gonna take cockatrice back, and I can take cockatrice out. I can take whatever takes cockatrice. Yes. I mean, I should just be able to win this, right? I do this, they can't win anything else. Okay. You win. 
Bum, bum, bum. We'll go with Hexa Dragon. I think those have some decent items. Are we doing? We're doing good. We're doing the worst part of the game, though. <laughs> Not really. I like this. I just... I wish you could just make them use their rare cards. Ah, still no boy. I need best boy. Best boy card comes from this guy. Bum, bum, ba -dum. Okay, what do I want to play? I could start with Safer. Safer is better than Thing Ra. I'll play him down here. He's always safe down here. Bum, 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 bum. Can't defeat me, but you can defeat me with the Imp. And I have nothing to retake the Imp, so there's no point in doing that. Yeah, I think I just play defensively, actually. I put this down here. That guards me. They can't defeat an eight now again. And then if I play this here, can they defeat a five? Yes, they can. Fuck. <laughs> oh, I hate how good these cards are. And with the same rule, they could even defeat my Quistus. Shit, fuck, fuck, shit. <laughs> if I put this here, they can't do anything right. Yeah, we're good. They're defending their card. I can put Quistus here and take their card. That's not how the same rule works. I thought the same... Oh. I was wrong about what the same rule means. I like your jacket, sir. Could I have it? Um, no, but you can buy an official Folgerovid hoodie from the Niji Sanji store. It's got a lot of... Um, stuff about Folger Ovid on it. <laughs> what the fuck does same mean then? They didn't even teach me what same meant. I just thought it meant like same numbers ended up winning against each other. Still no best boy. Nice ad. I mean, guys, I gotta do it occasionally. <laughs> and they take the five. They can with the Adamantois, but the Adamantois isn't too strong. I'll do that. Okay, I can take the Adamantois with this. And they can't take him back. So you play defensively, bitch. Bruh. Can they defeat a six? No, and they can't defeat an eight. So I do this here. They might hide either way I've won. Yep. Nice try, scrub. Bum, 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 bum. I know Adamantois has some good items, but... I haven't got a blood soul yet. Shit, the necklace is out of stock. Oh my god. Good job, confidants. I'm sorry. I didn't know that was out of stock. But thank you guys for supporting us so much. Still no best boy. I'm just going to start with this again. They can't. Oh, they can take him back with the mummy. That's okay. Then I can take their mummy. They can take him back, but only with their bestest card. Oh, and they actually did it this time. Well played, sir. I can do this. They can't take him back, and they can't take me. And then we just win. We just win. Bum, 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 bum. Wow, you're still playing? We might end up playing for a long while if they keep not giving me my good boy card. I'm going to go save. We've actually gotten a good amount of decent cards for refining, so... <laughs> I'm going to save real quick. Same as if your card matches the numbers on two or more cards on each side. We'll flip those cards. Oh, so it can't just be one? Shit, that's confusing. That adds a fucking level of pain as well. That means sometimes the math just ain't gonna math. If it's out, Christus Diablos defeat. Yay, best boy! Okay. And fuck, they made me go first. Shit, fuck. Um, um, uh, even with best boy in play, I could hide at the bottom right. Yeah, he can't break that, just barely. He's probably not gonna throw out Angelo too early, though. This is okay. I've got good cards. Oh, he threw out Angelo, you fucking mad lad. Now I'm going to make Angelo mine. And how are you going to fit? Oh, then I'd get taken. Um, 
Maybe I don't make Angelo mine. Maybe I play defensive. <laughs> but I like the idea of leaving the option of taking Angelo on the board. Such a nice dog. Yeah, he's best boy. We all love Angelo around here. They can't take me here. Unless they have another ace. No, we're good. I take your dinosaur. And now I take your fucking zombie mummy thing. Whatever it is, it's mine. Now I take your bat and I take Angelo away with me. Best boy. Oh, look at him. He's just an adorable fluffy puppy, but he's got insane stats. He's best boy in FFA. Of course he is. He's a dog. Dogs are always best boy. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Oh yeah, I can save on my main slot now. Bum, bum. Now I trust myself. <laughs> okay, let's go wake up the princess. Best is best boy? Hell yeah. Wow, doesn't she look familiar? This song. Hey. You're... You know, from the party. So... Does that mean... You're a seed? I'm Squall, the squad leader. There's two others with me. Yes, yeah, seed is here! <laughs> oh, the way she glomped him! Oh, this is such a 90s game. I love it. Take it easy. You ain't paying me for that, lady. It's just that... I'm so happy. I've been sending requests to Garden forever, but nothing. So glad I spoke to Sid directly. She's so cute. People shit on Rhino a lot for having a boring design, but honestly, the jacket where it just buttons in the front around the chest and then flows down at the back is sexy. The short shorts, amazing. The spats underneath, the skin tight, fucking amazing. Screw everyone that says her design is boring. I think she's awesome. The brown streaks in her hair are nice as well. Oh, so you were looking for the headmaster at the party. And yeah, the wings on the back are adorable as well. The song is My Mind. I love her sweater. Yeah, her sweater is adorable. I didn't know the name of this one, though. But yeah, again, it's another Eyes on Me rearrangement. God, I love Final Fantasy for this. You know, safer? Yeah, unfortunately. Well, he's the one who introduced me to Sid. Sid is such a nice man. I really didn't think Seed would come out to help a measly little group like us. But after explaining our situation to him, Sid gave the go-ahead right away. That sucks so much. Imagine the first girl you're probably interested in in your whole life, because let's be honest, school is a little emo douche who probably never paid attention to anyone ever. And just him immediately hearing, oh yeah, Safer was the one I was actually looking for. He introduced me to Sid. Oh man, Safer's so awesome. <laughs> You don't understand how I lost my mind when I saw those on Leon's back? Yes! The fucking ship was complete, man. This is a romance story above everything else. Now that you guys are here, we'll be able to carry out all kinds of plans. Yeah, you guys will do well. And then when I'm bored of you, I'll go talk to Safer again. But you'll be useful for the time being. Come to think of it. No, I'll wait for her to be in the party. Yes? I'm going back to the others. Okay, let's go! I didn't say I wanted to go together. Um, Squall? Is he here? He? Safer. No. He's not a seed. Oh. <laughs> the disappointment. Oh, yeah. My name's... Rhinoa. That works for me. Very pleased to meet you, Squall. Seed members dance quite well, don't they? Approach your target inconspicuously at a dance party. There may be missions requiring this sort of subterfuge. It's expected of Seed to learn various skills. Oh, so it's work-related. That's too bad. Best boy! What's up, Angelo? Oh, pet the puppy. Here, let me introduce you. This is my partner. 
you know what I gotta do. <laughs> We've had dog. We've had dog two. Does this become dog three or do we just name it dog? What do you guys want? Doggo dog three. Doggo. We could also go doggo. I'd be fine with doggo. Doggo in game real. Dog, 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 three. Dog, 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 dog. Dog the eighth is kind of sick, actually. Doggo three. Dog woo. Okay, most people said just dog. Oh, now most people are saying dog three. Doggo, 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 doggo works. Doggo three point. Okay, you know what? We're going to go with doggo. We'll keep it just slightly separated. Doggo. There's not enough space for like three. Well, you know what? That looks even sillier. And I also like that it has the general idea that maybe Rhinoa is already, this is her third dog. And you guys might understand why when you see her fight. <laughs> Doggo 3. Doggo 3 is really smart. Here, let me tell you. Rhinoa's limit break uses Doggo 3. <laughs> the tricks Doggo 3 can learn are listed on the status screen. The fourth status screen lists all the tricks that Doggo 3 can learn. The gauge on the right indicates how much it has been learned. When the gauge is full, the trick has been learned. If the gauge is not full, the trick is yet to be learned. To learn a new trick, move the cursor to the trick and press A. Now as Rhinoa walks around, the gauge will fill up and Doggo 3 will learn the trick. If you select a trick that's already been learned, there will be a message before you close the screen saying, hey, you're an idiot. Are you sure? There you go, dumbass. You can learn new tricks by learning, reading a magazine called Pet Pals. After reading Pet Pals, access this screen to change the settings. That's all for Rhinoa's Limit Break. Smart, huh? I mean, yeah, he's the goodest boy. I have some important work to do now. Be good, Doggo3. Oh, the little wine. Okay, I'll meet you there. I wonder... Oh, I need to check my cards. I need to know if the... Oh, look at his pained expression when he turned around. You are so cute. Aww. <laughs> so fucking cute, man. He loves you so much. Okay, let me see if that new magazine does anything for me then. Pet Pals, Volume 1. It may just be Doggo 3 Strike. <laughs> pet Pals, Volume 1. Welcome to Pet Pals. We bring the latest pet news to dog lovers. Your dog learns a trick to damage enemies in this issue. I love that. Hey guys, did you ever want to make your dog into a certified absolute beast murderer? Here you go. <laughs> your dog comes to your rescue when you're in grave danger. It's called Doggo 3 Strike. As you dog lovers already know, walk with your dog to help him learn this trick. Also, yeah, the dog... He, he, I'll show you guys later. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> um, where do I find that? Is that in Junction? Junction... Oh. I'd have to have a GF to give you. Oh, it actually unequipped Zell. Holy fuck. I'll come back to this. I'll teach you what to learn later. You're not technically in my party now anyway, so you won't be running around. Do I have an elixir? I have a phoenix down. Can I make an elixir? <laughs> it's my next question. Um, oh, or magic. Is it stone? Curagas. Cures. No, no, nah, shit. Um, water slash ice magic, lightning slash wind tool. Hypno crown into 10 aura stones. That's it. <laughs> That's okay. Screws, M stones, vampire fangs, mystery fluid, black hole, zombie powder, spider web, cockatrice pinion. Cockatrice pinion's really fucking good. Uh, cactus thorn, sharp strike, running fire, orchid tentacle, north wind, curse spike, dino bone, sharp spike, venom, lactic wind, magic stone, chef's knife, wizard stone, bomb fragment, wizard stone, red fang, fast ammo. Don't look at these, it's too tempting. Oh no, that's exactly what I want. <sighs> 10 holy stones, one expert. That will do, and I can get more Wedge and Biggs whenever I need them. 
X potion. Yes. Okay. Goodbye, Wedge and Bidge. It bigs and Wedge. I can't words right now. There we go. That's what I needed. The temptation to break the game. Yeah, I mean, if I just pumped myself full of aura stones and turned those... Those could turn into flares, right? Unless I'm wrong. And flares are like the ultimate strength junction magic. I think that's how it works. Wags and bitch. <laughs> Look, man. My mouth don't work so good after six and a half... Wow, it's been six and a half hours. Careful transmogging named cards. They're gone unless you follow specific steps. Oh. Um... Yeah, that's the thing. If it's like a very rare card, like one of the golden ones, I wouldn't have done it. So for Wegs and Bidge. Fuck, I did it again. <laughs> no, I got it right. Wedge and Biggs. Biggs and Wedge. I'm just used to saying Biggs and Wedge. Um, yeah, for Biggs and Wedge, it was fine. We can get more Biggs and Wedges. But yeah, the other ones, you only like transmog them if you're finally done with them. This is Zell. And Selfie. Hi, everyone. This way. Wow, that guy's stomach suddenly isn't hurting anymore. Pretty weird, isn't it? Pretty weird. <laughs> Little dyslexic? No, I wish. That's just my dumb mouth. It has no reason other than being dumb dumb. <laughs> just stand anywhere you want. This is a full scale operation. Our resistance, the forest owls, will be forever known in the pages of Timber's Independence. Exciting, huh? <laughs> the way we don't give a fuck. Just give me my money, money giver. It all started when we got a hold of top secret info from Galbadia. I got the info, sir. There's a VIP from Galbadia coming to Timber. Super VIP. The guy's name is Vinzer Delling, our arch enemy and the president of Galbadia. Vinzer Delling is a scoundrel. He's a dictator, not a president. Not even popular in Galbadia, sir. President Delling is taking... Oh. President Dalling is taking a private train from the Galbadian capital. Our plan is to... Blow it to smithereens with a rocket launcher? <laughs> uh, not quite. <laughs> I fucking love them. <laughs> so get to the point. Just tell us what to do. Shall we begin? Hell yeah. First, I'll go over the model. The yellow train on the top right is our base. We're riding on it right now. Right next to it is the dummy car. We made it to look just like the president's car. The train has three cars. First, there's the locomotive, followed by the first escort. The red car is the president's car. Delling should be inside. The last car is the second escort. Once we get on this one, we begin the operation. Our ultimate goal is to seize the president in his car using our base. That means we'll have to switch our dummy car with the president's car. We use the two switch points leading up to Timber to carry out this operation. Okay, now I'm going to explain the procedures in seven steps. One, sneak on board the second escort. We'll get on the roof of the second escort by jumping from our dummy car. Two, proceed cautiously across the roof of the second escort. The second escort's car is the only one that's equipped with sensors, sir. A high-tech officer is aboard. I'll talk about the sensors later. 3. Proceed across the roof of the president's car. We can move across the roof of the president's car without worrying too much. Elling hates the company of his guards and being surrounded by sensors and keeps them away from his car. 4. Uncouple the first car. We'll have to complete the uncoupling before the first switch point. If we don't... Boom! Game over, right? Yeah, so we'll have to move fast. I'll explain the uncoupling process later. Five, have the dummy car in our base move in after uncoupling. This is actually genuinely a really fucking good plan as well. Took notes in this scene as two as a kid. Yeah, this is one of those ones where even though it's mostly flavor text, like it's actually a well, uh, a well thought out smart plan, <laughs> which I like. This sounds like something a mercenary operation would actually do. Five, have the dummy car in our base move in after uncoupling. After the car is uncoupled, we'll have the dummy car in our base move in. At this point, our train and their train will be linked and we'll be moving together. Bum, 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 ba -da -bum, bum. Uncouple the second escort car. This is the last uncoupling. The process will probably be similar to the first one. Seven, escape with the president's car and our base. 
your bases belong to us. Felt like a badass? Yeah, it is. It's overly complicated, which has a greater chance of failing. <laughs> I don't think it's even overly complicated. It just requires a lot of speed and finesse. Like the fact that between those two stops, which are only like... Realistically, it looks like they're only like 300 feet apart. And at a train speed, you probably only really have like... 10, 15 seconds to uncouple and recouple. That shit would be crazy. Seven, escape with a president's car at our base. If it all goes well, we should be able to escape with the president's car. After that, we'll return to our base and prepare to confront Delling. We have exactly five minutes to complete the seven procedures. There we go. If we fail, our train will collide with theirs at the switch point and it'll be all over. Don't forget that. Five minutes? You sure that's enough? According to the simulation that we ran, it should only take three minutes to complete the operation. Piece of cake for seeds, right? Of course, too easy. Okay, now let's talk about how to avoid the sensors on the second escort. <laughs> Go ahead, Watts. Five minutes? I mean, that's the thing. It sounds like a lot, but it gets done quick. The guards have a sound sensor and a temperature sensor, sir. Any sound will trigger the sound sensor, so move across very quietly, sir. The blue guard is carrying this sensor, sir. The temperature sensor will go off if you remain stationary, sir. The guard in red is carrying this one, sir. When a guard opens the blind, that means he's checking the sensor, so be careful. The range on these sensors is equal to the length of one window, so keep an eye on the window below. So, exactly how do you avoid them? He just told you, my boy. <laughs> um, basically, run or stop, depending on which guard is below you. Stop if there's a blue guard below you. Run if there's a red guard below you. That's about it for the sensors. Next, let's talk about how to uncouple the escort cars. Yep. Question. How can you uncouple the cars from a moving train? Um, we can't uncouple the cars directly. Instead, we'll have to tamper with the control system that manages the coupling. We temporarily disable the circuit for the connection. The car will uncouple automatically. To disable it, we have to enter several codes. And we have the codes. Rhinoa has them, sir. I'll be in charge of relaying the codes to Squall. Squall, you'll slide down on the side of the train using a cable and enter the codes into the system. Now I need you to listen very carefully. Fucking hate this. This is the only hard bit. Each code is made up of numbers between 1 to 4 and has 4 digits. 2341 is an example. Why couldn't they just say the buttons? Ugh. But the keypad won't have numbers. Instead, it'll have 4 buttons. AXBY. For instance, if I relay the code 3124, you'll push YBAX in that order. Or you could just give me the fucking button combos. You have that ability. You're not the one on a moving train while this goes on. You have to be quick and precise. You'll have about five seconds to enter each code. Otherwise, the code will change and the past entries will become invalid. It's not like they're in an order that makes any sense either. It's like bottom is B, right is two, but then left is three. It doesn't go in a circle in any direction. <laughs> When I played this part, I had to remap my buttons because they were all over the place. Yeah, this is kind of... It's fine. So like we said, we have to enter all the codes to disable the connections. After we uncouple the cars, we'll wait for the others to operate the rail switch. Remember, we only have five minutes to do everything, so make sure that you're prepared. Okay, let's try practicing entering the code. Enter three codes and you'll be finished. If you want to quit, hold down L. Four, three, two, four, four, two, three, three. Four, two... Three, three. Code one confirmed. Four, one, one, one. Four. Four. One, one, one. Code two confirmed. Four, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. Code three confirmed. You got it? Yep. In the real thing, there's a strict time limit leading up to that switch point. Don't forget this. Um, that's all. By the way, this model's nice, but the president's car looks kind of shabby. Why is that? Yeah, Rhinoa made it. That's why. We bought everything else at the gift store. <laughs> oh, man, they threw Rhinoa onto the bus immediately. Oh, I thought some kid made it. The paint job sucks, too. <laughs> Jesus, dude. It doesn't look that bad. The color's just off is the only thing. Yeah, it kind of does. <laughs> Shit. Oh, shut up. I made it look like that on purpose. It represents my hatred towards Delling. There we go. A true artiste. Hatred, eh? Yeah, right. It's one of the ugliest things that I've ever seen in my life. 
he must really hate him. <laughs> Damn, selfie. That was the most backhanded thing I've ever fucking heard. Jesus Christ. Are you guys finished? Enough about the model. Can we get on with it now? Yep, let's do this mission. The time in which you complete this mission affects your seed rank. Don't worry, we're gonna speed run it. Six hours, I hope I can self-study as long as you play a game. That would definitely be a lot more useful. Actually, we're 10 minutes away from seven hours. <laughs> do you understand? Yes, for the love of God, never explain that again. Let's decide on the party. Gathering information is my specialty, sir. Ouch, my stomach. Yeah, he can't possibly go on a dangerous mission. He's chummy horse. We're moving again. I'll go take a look. Well, I guess I know my partner. Talk to Watts when you're ready. The sooner the better. Just the three of us. We can make it. They really unequipped their fucking GFs. And their magic. I have to do this all over again. <sighs> this is fine. This is this is fine. 12, 17, 17, 19. Why would they do this to me? <laughs> Why? Magic, draw, no, draw at the top. Magic, odd. But GF for emotional support? Yeah, we do need our girlfriends every now and then. They help. Strength. 24, 29, yeah, 29. Vitality. Shit. <laughs> well, yeah, let's go with that. Spirit, 11, 12, 12 it is. Okay. Um, draw, GF, magic. Wait, do we have someone who uses items? No, you got item. Bum, 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 bum. Did I do his magic properly? Yes, I did. Okay. We're good. Why did they unequip my people? <laughs> That's so mean. Guy friends too? Oh, yeah. And everything in between. This is just a study in the ways of Foo. We learned all of the things here. This is my favorite game. Hey, there's a new guy in this room. You know what? Yeah, I will save on a new thing. Because I'm that scared. Who are you? I'm in a bad mood right now. If there's nothing in particular, I order you to leave immediately. A dummy looks real, huh? No one will ever realize that it's a fake. Ah, oh, it's the dummy of the president. I also enjoy watching on the stream. The time seems to fly by. Thank you. Sorry that I'm doing so much other stuff. <laughs> Pick up the magazine. There we go. Can I trade in my party yet? Switch. Wait, can I actually trade in quests? No. Oh, that's junction exchange. Oh, okay. Oh, I want to... Okay, you can't switch members yet. Um, You went back to selfie, right? Yeah, good. Bum, 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 bum. Have you 100%ed this game? Yes, once. I 100%ed it once, and I also beat it two other times, but neither time did I bother to get, like, all the cards and stuff. Have you seen the dummy of the president, sir? If you haven't, please take a look-see. It's a piece of art, sir. I know the kidnapping plan must be tough, but the best of luck to you, sir. Are you ready, sir? Not yet. Where the fuck did Rhino... Wait, there's nowhere else on this train. Where did Rhinoa go? She's not in... Unless she's in this hidden... Oh. Yeah, okay. Angelo's protecting her special room. Her secret room that's just for her. That's our good boy, guard doggy. Okay, let's do it. I want to finish this and then we can stop for the day. No worries, sir. Happy to see you having fun. Thank you. The woman cave? Oh, God. I know what you mean, but it still sounds so wrong. <laughs> Skull! Over here! We'll catch up with the second escort soon. Let's get ready. We should time our jumps well after we catch up to them to save some time. From now, we have exactly five minutes to complete the operation. Let's try to use every second. 
What a beast of a jump. Fucking legend. How did they get in front of me? Squall! Over here! Oh, shit. Which one do I not move in front of? Oh, they're both defective. Um, I think I'm good to just run over. <laughs> Wait, is it defective? No, I made it. It can't be defective. This is the... Oh, run on red, stop on blue. Thank you. That's the opposite of what I would have guessed. <laughs> this is the president's car. After we get across, we'll proceed with the first uncoupling. God, this mission is so fucking sick. Sir, everything is in order, sir. You again. That's 27 times now. How many more times do you plan to disturb me with this meaningless report? Sir? I'm sorry, sir, but it's my duty, sir. It's hard to believe that anyone would put up with this nonsense. I guess it's none of my business. Dismissed. Sir, yes, sir. There goes next month's paycheck. How am I going to propose to her now? I'd have to put it off again. Man, stop humanizing the soldiers. I'm about to kill so many of these guys. The theme is the mission, by the way. Yo, so many of these tracks are so fucking iconic. This is the first escort. We're going to uncouple this first. Like what's said, there should be two guards on this car. Selfie and Zell, you guys keep an eye on the guards. Let us know if you see any of them coming. I'll never see it coming. All right. I'll watch the blue guard. I'll take red. The red guard is closer. Scroll, you might want to keep an eye on him too. Hold down L to look to your left and release it to go back. Okay. You ready to enter the codes? Remember everything, right? Yeah, sure. Why not? We'll have to enter three codes to disable the circuit for this uncoupling. Okay, Squall. Get the cable ready. Down I go. The system to enter the code is down there. You can't miss it. Press down button to go down. <laughs> right over telling me how to go down. That's adorable. To come back up, press the up button. You won't be able to come up while you're entering the code, so be careful. Okay, let's do it. We have four minutes left. Good luck, Squall. Four, three, two, one. Two, one, two, three. Two, one, two, three. Code one confirmed. Go the blue. Three, one, three, four. Three, one, three, four. Blue means I have to move, right? Go up, go up, go up. And red? Uh-oh. Um, uh, no, don't go up. Go, go, go up. Oh, we're fucked. I didn't press down. I tried to move left. <laughs> what happened, Squall? Uh, it's nothing. Yeah, we just get to restart. You got it, Squall? Yep. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. I thought you had to... I'm so confused. I have five minutes left. Wow, it restarted my timer as well. Who really thinks I'm an idiot? 3114. I don't get it. I can't move when I go back up. 2111. 02 confirmed. No, keep going. Actually, no, go up, go up, go up. 1313. 1. Three, one, three. Go up, go up, go up, go up. I'm fucked. <laughs> Squall, this way. Oh, it worked. That should not have worked. They got so fucking obviously seen. Ah, look at me. I'm doing a Naruto ninja run. Yeah. <laughs> look at me go. <laughs> this looks so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> but again man the fmvs combined with that so fucking good okay two more couplings to go what should i do no he's not gonna like it but it's my job sir everything is in order sir huh he's not angry you know that's strange oh he's reading the paper I wonder where he got it. What, is there a problem? I'm in a bad mood right now. If there's nothing in particular, I order you to leave immediately. 
Sir, sir. Aye, aye. Yes, sir. You, don't just stand there. Get back to your station. S sir, yes, sir. There goes another paycheck. That's two in one day. Oh, my poor boy. W what the heck? Is this the right train? The interior looks different. Looks shabbier. Maybe not. What am I going to do? No ring and now no more candlelight dinner? I'm never going to get engaged. <laughs> this poor dude. This is the second escort. After this, we're home free. I think there are two guards on this car, too. Zell and Selfie are up ahead working on uncoupling our train from theirs. So you're on your own this time. Watch your right side. To do this, hold down R. Let's get this over with. You know how to enter the code? Yes, I remember. I'm stupid in some ways, but not in all ways. Are you ready, Squall? We have five minutes left. It's amazing how it keeps going back to five minutes. Two, three, two, four. Oh, it takes so long to look right. Okay, hit me with code two. Two, three, two, three. Go, go, go. Up, 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 up. Okay. Do I just stand here? I think I just stand here, right? Okay. Everything's good. <laughs> two, three, four, two. Two, three, four, two. What do they mean about having to go up or go down then? That's bullshit. Three, three, two, two. No, I think we've got time. One, two, one, one. Code five confirmed. Are we done yet? Oh, thank God. Niji Sanji? If only, man. <laughs> no, I want to be in the shop. I'm coming. Just give me time. I'm running down the train. See, this was a really cool idea for a mission. Should not work, but somehow it does. Fuck it. <laughs> He's just like Spider-Man. Hell yeah. He's just that good, man. Even better. He's Squall motherfucking Leonhard. Finally. We've waited so long for this encounter with Vinezer. Excellent, sir. Well done, sir. I missed the final words. <laughs> well then. Leave the intelligence up to me, sir. Ow, 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 ow. It's my tummy. I'm gonna go lay down. <laughs> I love these guys. Yeah, Rhino is so sick of them. You three, tell me when you're ready to go. As soon as you're ready, I'll begin serious negotiations with the president. Serious negotiations? Better sure, make sure my girlfriend's equipped. And by my girlfriend, I mean Rhinoa. She's still not in my party. God damn it. Why'd they say let's think about the party if they're not going to let me change the fucking party? Rude. Just rude. Yeah, everyone's equipped. We're good. She's babysitting? Yeah, pretty much. Um. Ready? Nah, let me save first. Best of luck, sir. I'll keep watching, sir. Yeah, keep your eyes on... Fuck. The three times speed made it too fast to get in there. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Okay, let's do it. Take me, Rhino. Shut up, Watts. Ready? Oh, yeah. Bum, 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 bum. President Delling. As long as you don't resist you won't get hurt and if i do resist what should you do young lady <gasps> what's wrong boo hoo too bad i'm not the president i'm what they call a body double all these rumors about the many resistance groups in timber you pass along a little false information and they fall for it. How <laughs> pathetic. Seems like there are only amateurs around here. Am I? Sure's? 
Ah, oh, my butt hurts from all this sitting. Young. Lady! Oh, so what did you have in store for me when I resisted? Why don't you tell me? Ah, quite amusing, though, for being such amateurs. How dare you insult that president? He's a fun guy. <laughs> yeah, he tricked us. Oh, it's so creepy. I hate it. Oh, we're going to murder the shit out of this guy. You fell for it. The way he just bites me too. How fucking dare. Well, he has his cure. Not useful. I don't have GF on cell. Fucking idiot. That's okay. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da Boom! 165 is not bad for this early. Wait, I had the option to rend the Kukin? That's insane. Hell, he just chewed Squall. That's only for Rhinoa, man. I mean, I don't think Rhinoa is that level. She's not quite the same level as Julia. Ew, that's a... That's a nemesis-looking bitch. What the... Bro! Ooh, I could Renza Kook at him, but I'm not gonna. Berserks? Fuck yeah. And zombies! Both are fun. Let's go with Berserks for now. Ba -na -na -na. Uh, no. Oh, that's a lot of damage, actually. That's fine. We're just gonna draw for a while. I'm sure we'll be fine. I think Berserk is good for attack, and then I think Double is good for magic. And possibly defense. I can't remember if defense does good. Oh god, you don't have cure. Ah, fuck. At least Zell has cure. He can heal himself. Bam, 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 bam. Ouch. <laughs> poor Zell. Now he's blind. You actually do have to cure yourself again, my poor boy. Oh, hello, Super Shiggy. Creepy? Yeah. Zombie dude is not the prettiest to look at. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're having a lovely day. <gasps> Your original song releases tonight. Let's freaking go. For anyone who doesn't know, Super Shiggy's releasing an original song for the first time in ages tonight. And it's got an exclusive um, brand new created music video with her pixel art. So that sounds incredible. So be sure to check that out. Oh, wait, he silenced me. You dick. That's actually such a dick move. <laughs> now I can't draw from him. Um, bam, 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 bam. um, yeah, you can cure Squall now. He's getting pretty beat up. Gotta keep stocking my things, though. Remedy, please. Oh, now Squall's in darkness, too. <laughs> That's fine. Not silence it, you piece of shit. You know what? Fuck you. I'm killing you. I'm sick of you. I don't need these things. I'm going to rend the kook in you for no fucking reason. And then I'll finish you. Phoenix down on him. Here's a secret, kids. If something is undead, using a healing item on it does the opposite. So whereas a phoenix down normally brings something back to life, it's a one-hit death to a murder eat creepy zombie thing. I could have finished that fight whenever I felt like. It's just that easy. <laughs> he angered me with the fucking darkness and the silences. I was just like, you know what? I don't need to deal with this anymore. Get out of here. <laughs> that makes sense, you know? Yeah, it's like using holy magic on an undead enemy. That works in D&D. It's a cool little fact the way they put in here as well. It's like a cheat item? No. It's just like knowing your enemy. If I'd scanned him, it would have said the same thing. Anytime you use Cure or Curago on him as well, it does that kind of thing. 
I'm procrastinating right now. I have so many things to do, but I need a break. Oh, that's all good. Thank you for hanging out with us. I hope you have a wonderful evening and thank you for being here, Super Shiggy. I'm so excited for the song. I I don't remember what the elf Rick. Yay, the mods linked it. I'm gonna check which time the song comes out in my time zone. For the music video. Oh. Midnight in your local time zone. Okay. <laughs> Link in bio. There we go. Yeah, I can't wait to see the music video and hear the song. But good luck with everything, Laura. I hope you're having a good day. Take everything one day at a time. Every day is a long day. That's all that matters. Games should always reward knowledge. Yeah, it was one of the best things about Baldur's Gate 3. It was like, like the more you leaned into the game, the more you looked up stuff, the more fun things you could do without the game like holding your hand and telling you. Hey, by the way, you could stack up like 3,000 boxes here and get to the moon, essentially. <laughs> a very classic RPG trope with using holy things to get rid of the undead. Yeah, there's so many skills like invented just for that when it comes to Dungeons and Dragons. Man, I can't believe the president was fake. I can't believe we fell for it. Info, sir. New info. It's big news, sir. I found out the real reason why the president's here, sir. The president's going to the TV station. Security's super tight, sir. The TV station? Why in Timber? It can broadcast just as easily from Garbadia. You think the Dalek communication tower has anything to do with this? It was a giant fucking tower. <laughs> What's that? Oh, it's story time. Dalit has a communication tower that can transmit and receive radio waves. It had been abandoned for a long time. The Galbadian army got it up and running yesterday. Oh, I get it. The only TV station that can handle broadcasts over air is Timber. Other stations use HT cable, which only supports online broadcasting. That's funny. Because this came out in 1999. Before we had like... I mean, I guess we had Ethernet cables. We just didn't have like fiber optic cables running around everywhere. They actually saw that coming. I guess the idea was just to have like ethernet cables running everywhere. <laughs> we were almost a fiber. Yeah, it's crazy. But yeah, it's interesting that that's a fact. They're using old technology, but for this time it was, you know, the current technology. <laughs> I had a bedtime playlist of FF8 music. It's so good for helping me fall to sleep. Tracks like the Lamb Garden. Yes. This has one of the best soundtracks. So what's that supposed to mean? They're planning on using radio waves. This way they can transmit images to regions without cable. I know that. What I want to know is what is the president going to broadcast? <laughs> Shit, poor Wedge. That way, did Safer take away Wedge? Is that what happened? That why, that why he wasn't there for a while? <laughs> why use radio waves? There must be something they want to say to the whole world. What can it be? Everybody. Love and peace. <laughs> oh, Selfie's such a fucking adorable child. Everybody just being like, nah. <laughs> if I remember correctly, radio waves haven't been used in 17 years. It's been that long? Wouldn't it be wonderful if the first broadcast could be the Declaration of Timber's Independence? Hey, that might be possible. Let's come up with a plan then. Is your tummy gonna hurt again? No, okay. You'll deal with plans. You just won't deal with the actual drama. What's dial up again? Dial up is modem. It's the one that used phone lines. If you ever picked up a phone when you were a long time ago <laughs> and heard like a and it disconnected the internet for everyone in the house, that was dial up. It fucking sucked. That's not something that anyone missed and nah. Was broadband around in 1999? I feel like broadband was like early 2000s, but maybe it was 1999. But that's when it stopped using phone lines and started using radio signals. And then they started getting like ethernet cables and what are the light cables called? Oh, high fi fiber optic cables? Fiber optic cables. Yeah. Can you guys give us a minute? I mean, sure. We're being paid to be here. So <laughs> there's a clipping from a magazine. Anarchist Monthly. First issue. Why did anarchists need a magazine? They wouldn't want to be in a... Okay. Galbadia's Dictator. Wait, no. Galbadia's Dictator. President Finzer Delling Special. How does he stay in power? We reveal his darkest secrets. That's it. 
They clipped the intro. They didn't clip the actual fucking secrets. Okay, that's fine. These guys seriously having a strategy meeting in a corner. What I like is the fact that they're all crouched down like they're being hush hush. As if they have to hide from us. <laughs> they call that a strategy meeting. Can we go home now? What about our contract? Shouldn't we check its score? <laughs> you know it's bad when even Selfie's like, fuck this shit, I'm out. This ain't worth my time. You good? Oh, good timing. We've come up with a plan. Don't say what anarchists would or wouldn't do. They're anarchists. I'm just saying. Creating a magazine is very much like uh, adhering to some sort of structural order. The publishing and printing presses were like the first, mm, uh, first way to spread word about things. I guess they kind of need it. It's just, yeah. Before we get into that, can I see your contract with our garden? Oh, sure. <laughs> I love how she knelt down again. Where the fuck was she keeping it in her boot? Well played. Give me that. What's it say? Lamb Garden, hereafter referred to as Party A. Knowledge is the Forest Owls, hereafter referred to as Party B as the hiring party. Seed, hereafter referred to as Party C, shall be dispatched upon signing of this contract. Party C shall operate under the supervision. The hell? I don't get it. Oh yeah, that one's pretty confusing. When I told him I didn't understand, he gave me a different one. I wish that was an option in life. No, best case scenario, hire someone else to read the contract and then summarize it for you. They want to confuse you, man. Sid is such a nice man. <laughs> What's it say this time? Oh, I love this one. To the forest owls. This seed deployment contract will last until Timber achieves independence. Please make good use of each seed member. I wish you the best with your objective. Please understand that this contract is an exception and no replacement of any seed members can be made. The Lamb Garden Headmaster Sid Kramer. Sid in background, yeah. It's not even, can I triple speed? Yo, look at him go. <laughs> but yeah, this is just Sid being Sid. This is just the major fuckery of like, hey, you guys stay there for as long as it takes. You literally need to give this city independence. Ah. <sighs> We, we basically belong to Rhinoa until we solve this. Until Timber's independence. That is so vague. Hey, you're paid professionals. No complaining. Okay, let's decide on the parties again. You just know that there we go. Gathering information is my specialty, sir. Oh, tummy ache. I bet there we go. You were fine when mating, making the goddamn missions. So, the four of us, the ones who will be heading to the TV station, will be... <gasps> I can finally use Rhinoa! In fact, I don't get the choice to change Rhinoa. That's okay. Wanted Rhinoa anyway. And I'll take Zell. We still have our status effects? That's crazy. Okay, Selfie, you give your shit to Rhinoa. There we go. Now she's ready to fight. At least we have Angelo slash Doggo 3. Hell yeah. We may be Rhinoa's pets, but we also have a new pet of our own. Ta da 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 da. Okay, selfie's happy. She's on a train. She likes trains. She's doing great. A lovely team. How oh, yeah. We're gonna do great things. I was gonna stop here. But now I'm kinda interested in finishing the TV station first. <laughs> I think we're going to finish the TV station first, guys. First, we need to heal ourselves. Oh, sh I've only got one remedy. Uh-oh. <laughs> I guess we have to use magic. I know what. Have you got some as soon as? Nice. How about some cures? Bam, bam, bam. That'll do. Okay. Bam, bam. Maybe until we see Dogo 3 Party Trick? Um, I'm not sure if we'll get to see Dogo 3 Party Trick. Depends on how much they attack Renoa. The TV station, sir? It's quite close if you take the local train. But the local and transcontinental trains have stopped running, sir. 
Nothing to worry about, sir. There must be someone in town who knows. Oh, wait. No, we are going to stop here. I just remembered. We have to do quite a few things in the town before we get to the, uh, the TV station. I thought it was just like, I remember the stairs leading up to the TV station, but now I've just remembered there's, there's quite a bit of fighting through the town. <laughs> well, fighting and exploring. Very much reminds me of the early game Final Fantasy VII when you get to the area where you need to collect like dresses and shoes and stuff right before you head into Shinra HQ. So yeah, we'll stop here for today. We're at seven hours. Yeah, we're over seven hours. Okay. Hi, I'm seeing it for the first time. Hey, Hanon Masaki. Yeah, sorry. I'm trying not to spoil things, but at the same time, just explaining why I'm doing things to people who know things. But okay, let me dive over to just chatting screen. We'll close that down. Continue that very soon, actually. I can't remember which day. We'll be back to the Final Fantasy soon. Bam, 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 ba -da 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 bam, bam. Let me put on, actually, since she's here, <laughs> I've got to use the Laura Shigihara track again. Get to play this every time she shows up. <laughs> Atsufu-chan, let's go. I hope you guys enjoyed it today. Like I said, this is one of my favorite games. I'm surprised to see how well it holds up, in my opinion. I've been enjoying it. I haven't really noticed too many things that are like, oh, this is too classic. <laughs> there have been a couple of things where I've been like, oh, this control scheme could be better, but it is what it is. Atsufu, thank you. The multi sheep collar is still the cutest. Yeah, this is so adorable. The whole idea is there's supposed to be three sheep all holding onto each other's legs and arms to keep the collar going. <laughs> Saku, thank you so much for donating the food funds. I have a feeling you're going to end up going to the next AMV. No, thankfully. <laughs> I was thinking about it, but yeah, I realized how long it would take to get to the TV station. The TV station would have been an awesome ending point for some of the plot points that happened there. But yeah, you have to do quite a bit and it's fine. We did seven hours. We've set ourselves up so that we're pretty damn beefy and strong. I can't believe we had the ability to render Kukin at still having like 700 HP with school. That was crazy. 700 HP is about the average that most of the other party members have. <laughs> Enjoying very much. Good memories. It's great to experience it all together. Yeah. School only gets crazier from here and the plot really goes insane. Um, it starts off like kind of intense once you get to the TV station. But from the TV station onwards, shit just goes wild. <laughs> so it's going to be great. This is awesome. It was so cool to experience the game for the first time. Thank you, B Cream. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'll still be playing it for like... I'm sure we're going to have more than just the three streams this week because it takes an average person like 40 hours to complete it. So even though we've got the fast forward and stuff, we're also trying to do a lot of the side stories and stuff. Um, so yeah, it'll probably... I'm hoping to finish it by the end of next week, though. The end of disc one spawned crazy theories. The end of disc, disc one is wild. But I mean, this, like, it all came out together, right? They didn't, yeah. Yeah, they didn't have, like, any, like, oh, you can play up to disc one as a preview kind of thing. That's a lot of game. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, as soon as you finish disc one, you could just jump immediately into disc two. <laughs> so much good nostalgia. Thank you. Seeing you play this is bringing me back to my childhood, and I'm loving it. Same. Uh, I can't wait until they do the vocal version of Eyes on Me. It's so beautiful, and I'm just going to sing along to it. I don't care. <laughs> it's all together. Yeah, they're all in one. I thought so. I didn't think there was, like, any... Because that's way too far in the game to even, like, release a demo that was that long. So, yeah. The end of disc one? Well, we'll get there when we get there, is all I'll say. It is pretty wild. <laughs> the game is also my childhood. Do look into the ending theories if you hadn't yet. I, I actually have... Um, we'll get there when we get there. We won't spoil things yet, but yeah, I I like the general story. <laughs> Kit, thank you for donating the food funds. I took off work because I was ex I was excited for the stream, and it did not disappoint. Also, let me load up my comfy grabber. Sorry. I'll load that up. Um, thank you for the stream, Fuchan. No problem. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a wonderful day. And you may hire. Thank you for donating the food funds. No message, but thank you so much for being here and supporting us. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Akuku, Otsufu And thank you for the beautiful artwork, Akuku. That's 
Wait, I clicked the wrong thing. I was trying to grab the link. Thank you for the beautiful artwork for the thumbnail today, Hakuku. It's so gorgeous. I'm so glad we got to use that for the first stream. It's so nice. Um, Atsufu-chan. So happy I get to relive this game through your stream again. When the remaster came out, the three times was such a game changer. It really was. I like it so much too. It's saving so much, especially when it comes to drawing things. Um... So excited for more FF8 this week. Thank you. Yeah, we're playing it three times this week. I think three times next week will be enough to finish it, but we may do four just to be safe. And then worst case scenario, if we finish it in the three next week, we can just replace it with something else. Uchan <laughs> humming and singing was so fun and mellow. Was I humming at some point today? I don't remember that. Uchan, <laughs> I brought your standee. Thank you. I hope you like it. I love the artwork in the finale um in the new anniversary i didn't like it at first but actually it was confidence that convinced me <laughs> as soon as i saw some people drawing fan art in that outfit and that like pulling the hair back it was like damn actually that's amazing i have a slight memory of like if you had an ff8 save file and then played legend of mana you could get a chocobo pet or something don't quote me on this i wouldn't but yeah i i don't remember that but i wouldn't be surprised if that's true they were always connected very well. I'm pretty sure, don't Biggs and Wedge show up in one of the Mana games as well? I think somebody mentioned something about that earlier as well. Um, ba -bum. You hummed and sang along sometimes? Just old habit, maybe. <laughs> That's the thing, a lot of the time when I'm streaming, my mind just turns off and I just do whatever comes natural to me. So especially when it comes to Zaldatsu dance, I've been singing hum humming a lot. I guess it happened in this one too. We're simps, what did you expect? Wow. You guys made me like it, so thank you. <laughs> God, I love the Final Fantasy series. Yeah, we're going to be playing a lot of it over these next two weeks. Hopefully going to finish all of eight within six streams. If we have to do seven streams, that's fine. That's fine. We are trying to do all the side stuff as well, so it may take us more than 40 hours, but I mean... Yeah, yeah it should be fine. <laughs> should be fine. <laughs> Sounds very familiar. I think that's right. Chocobo, no... Vix and Wedge of Vix and Wedge. Oh. Vix and Wedge and Piete and Chrono Trigger. Shit. Okay, I was wrong. It wasn't even in the Mana series. <laughs> I forget. They had something like called Chocobo Dungeon or something, which was a tie-in, I think, with originally FF8, and then it became an actual, like, important part of FF9. And there was, like, a mini thing you could play. It was like a Tamagotchi kind of thing, wasn't it? I think Boko was a Tamagotchi. Oh, was it Boko? Not sure if Boko was outside JP. Um, if you do, I think it's the original PC version. There's one version where you can actually play that game um, alongside FFA. I think. Let me Google it. Bum, 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 bum. Pocket Station Wonder Swan. Oh shit! The Wonder Swan. I forgot that even existed. Um. FF8 Chocobo World? Chocobo Forest. No. That's a different location thing. Uh, um, FF8 Boko? Boko is a Chocobo in FF8. Summoned using Geishal Greens to battle. Shit. Ah. Hmm. Maybe I'm just remembering it wrong. Was it Chocobo Dungeon or Chocobo World? Eh. Chocobo game? I know there's one that crosses over with Mystery Dungeon. Yeah. I can't remember, though. Oh, Final Fantasy VIII. Chocobo World Guides. Yeah, okay. Chocobo World is a pocket station game compatible with FF8. The player controls Boko the Cop Chocobo, who enters who embarks on quest to find Minimog, and is assisted by Moomba and Cactuar. As pocket stations were never released out of, outside of Japan, international PlayStation owners could not play the game. This connection to the main game was still programmed into every localization of Final Fantasy VIII. So it's possible to play the game by buying a pocket station from Japan. Chocobo World was ported and included in the PC version of FF8, including the 2013 re-release. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's not in the remastered version. Honestly, kind of a good thing, <laughs> because that would be like another eight hours of gameplay. <laughs> so I'm kind of glad that's not in the remastered version, so nobody will get on my back and be like, hey... Do the chocobo thing. 
<laughs> but yeah, it was like a pocket station mini game that you could play. Um, and whatever you did in it, like some of the progress moved over to Final Fantasy VIII and some of the stuff to do with like Chocobo World and some other things. But yeah, they included it in the original PC release, which like we were talking about earlier, you can get the non-remastered PC release still uh, if you want it. It's still available. Um, so you can do that if you want. You're based with Crystal Chronicles. Damn, I used to love Crystal Chronicles for the offline multiplayer mode. It, man. <laughs> I really wish FF15 had a multiplayer mode where you could just play the main story with the four characters. If I, if we could do that, I would just get Noctix together and be like, hey guys, this is going to be the next 80 hours of our life. We're going to play this shit weekly. <laughs> Five hours a day for the next 16 weeks and we're going to play FF15 because it's a good bro bonding game. Unfortunately, I, 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 I thought that's what they meant when they said they were updating with like a multiplayer mode. I was like, yay, this is going to be awesome. And then they released that like World of Darkness, whatever mode it was. And it was like, I know. No, we don't need this. Uh, it is what it is. I would love that. Yeah, no, nah, if you could do the main game multiplayer, I would be all over that. Unfortunately, they don't let you. I love the song from Crystal Chronicles. Do you mean the main menu theme? Because I can't remember much of the music otherwise. I remember the main menu theme. <sighs> Although no main menu theme will ever be like Dearly Beloved from Kingdom Hearts. Which changed in every game and got like more powerful and emotional as you spent more time with it. Just four bros in a car? Sayuki, basically. <laughs> exactly, it's great. It's the vocal theme, Kaze no Ne. Oh, I don't even remember that one then. I like most of the vocal themes from Final Fantasy though. Even the newer one, I don't like that they changed the localization for some of them. Like, I didn't like that we had, like, a really beautiful Final Fantasy XIII music theme, and then they changed it for the English version. Eh. Just keep the Japanese ones. That works for me. Also, like, when they just change the lyrics, they just feel less powerful. Ayaka's Y in Japanese from Crisis Core hits so fucking hard. But then Ayaka's Y in English... It's still a great song and it's still an incredible singer. It's the same singer. It's just, I don't know. I, it doesn't hit as hard. <laughs> Dearly Beloved is so good. Yeah, it is. It sounded so fun and mysterious, like it's setting off an adventure. Ah, It kind of sounds just from the description of it, like the... They've made some fan themes for Final Fantasy XIV and there's one that's made specifically for Lalafels, which is like an adorable, like Celtic music theme, which is really nice. Toby TVC, thank you so much for donating the food funds. Oh, yo. And YouTube randomly decided to tell me it's your third one. <laughs> That's cool. Thank you for donating. I hope you enjoyed the stream today and I hope you have a lovely evening. God, I should do a Final Fantasy songs tier list as well. Stecky the name must be up there. Eyes on me is definitely up there. Ayaka Y is definitely in like the top three. No question. And then I actually really liked the Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth one where it's the man's deep voice singing. It's very different from most of them, but that was great. Melodies of Life, I think that's what it's called. Melodies of Life. F-F-X-I-E. Oh, that's from Final Fantasy IX. I, I know this is an unpopular opinion, and especially since I'm a huge fantasy nerd. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of Final Fantasy IX. I, it was never the one for me. FF7 was great, and then FF8 absolutely stole my heart. And then with FF9, I, I just didn't actually like Zidane. Zidane and Garnett just weren't it for me. It had one of the best Chocobo minigames. I loved breeding Chocobos. Um, people loved a nine story. At some point, I probably have to replay it. Because that's one of the few Final Fantasy games I've never replayed. I've played seven like three times. Eight like three times. Nine only once. <laughs> Plus the characters were just so comical. Like, Vivi was adorable, don't get me wrong, and giving, like, the original Black Mage look is awesome. But then you had, like, Queenie or Quinna, I forget her name, who just ate people. <laughs> the Dragoon was badass, and the Swordswoman was awesome, and Steiner was cool. But so many of them were like, eh. <laughs> it's fair, we don't need Quinna. Oh, Quinna. Quinna. Freya, my beloved. Freya was incredible. Eight people? Yeah, they're, they're... she just put people in a cooking pot and ate them. That was one of her main attacks. <laughs> Art style of nine was kind of jarring after eight. It kind of felt like when Zelda went from Ocarina of Time and that, um, well, Majora's Mask actually, and that incredible tech demo for the original GameCube 
where I had Link fighting the spider in front of Ganondorf, which was all fucking sick. <laughs> and then, yeah, jumped down to Wind Waker, which was very different. Nowadays, I appreciate that because, like, the art style is timeless. You don't even need to really remaster that game. I feel like the only reason they really remastered it for the Switch... Oh, they didn't release it on Switch. For the Wii Plus release was just for, like, some of the graphic overhauls that weren't too glaring. Like, they didn't look too different. But the fact that you get, like, fast travel in that one is really good as well, because moving around that water world was pain. <laughs> what FF9 stylistic changes were a direct result of people's reaction to FF8, which was that it was too realistic? Possibly. I mean, that, it was definitely a return to fantasy as well. Because Final Fantasy, like, in the original, like, couple of them... It's all like medieval, just magic, crystals, summoning things, that kind of stuff in castle settings kind of stuff. And then when you started to get to like six and seven, they had like giant mech hawkers and everything was diesel punk. And then by eight, everything's like super technological. You got like the weird 3D floating screens and shit. And you know, Hi, fiber optic cable. <laughs> FFA got so much flack, not just the junction system, but even the graphics were criticized as not being fantastic enough. But like, come on, seven was polygons. Yeah, seven, they didn't even hands. In seven, it looked like they just had little pig hoofs. <laughs> Their hands just turned into like, I mean, I suppose it was supposed to be gloves at the bottom, but they were just like pure black fists. And it was like, they look like pig. <laughs> Pig hoofs. <laughs> Seven were Playmobil figures? Yeah. Plus the fact that in eight, you get like the cutscenes that you could still walk around in. FF6 has tech too. That's what I said. I said from like FF6 onwards. Um, I remember the giant mechas in FF6. I can't remember much else from six. That's why I didn't bring up six when it came to like a replay as well. I hope they do a remake of that one because I've heard that's one of the best games and Kefka is a fucking insane villain. But I just do not remember it and I honestly... I don't want to play a game that looks like that right now. I mean, I'd have to play it off stream, if anything, because it's just so simple. Well, having said that, I'm going to play Fi uh, I'm going to play Zelda a Link to the Past eventually. That's not much different. How long is FF6? Final Fantasy 6. How long to beat? Shit, yo, it's still about 34 hours in length. Final Fantasy, honestly... <laughs> They delivered, man. <laughs> even back in the days, they were giving you... That's a SNES game, isn't it? That's not even PlayStation 1. God damn, dude. That's... Wow. 34 hours on a SNES game. My king, my kingdom for a remake of Final Fantasy Tactics. Tactics was incredible. The art style was beautiful. The gameplay was good. Not overly complicated, but good tactical gameplay. I'm surprised they haven't done a remake of that one yet. Um, I remember Kefka did something fucked up. <laughs> That's like everything Kefka does, honestly. <laughs> Tactics is so good. Yeah, it is. Oh, man. The first FF I played was FF8, but I couldn't beat the last boss and gave up. So I'm happy seeing FF8 on Fuchan's stream. Looking forward to the next stream. Arigato gozaimasu. Kanoshikata. I had fun. Asami, thank you so much. Arigatou gozaimasu. That's so sweet. Thank you for donating the food funds and I hope you have a lovely evening. Oh my god. I hope you didn't watch the whole stream today. Because <laughs> if you did, we went the entire way through what is... I made you nocturnal. I hope you get some good rest after this or that you just woke up and you have a lovely day. That's what I will say. <laughs> thank you for donating the food funds. Like real fucked up? Yeah, he did. He was wacky, but also terrifying. <laughs> My first Final Fantasy game was Mystic Quest on the snares. I don't even remember that one. Uh, My first FF was Tactics on GBA. My first was Seven. And then I eventually went back and played like some of the originals. Um, But yeah, from Seven, I started playing them all like as they came out. Because Seven was really like one of my big things when I was a kid as well. And then I grew up a little bit and I started hating Cloud. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've talked about this on stream before, but there was a long period where I was like, fuck, cr fuck Cloud. He's so whiny and annoying. Saying that as somebody who loves school, Lee and Hart. <laughs> but yeah, just the amount of times like he whines and acts emo in FF7. And then you find out Zack's story and you're like, why the fuck are you the emo one? How dare you? <laughs> and then... And then, 
Advent Children happens and you're like, dude, you had one fucking mission. <laughs> what are you doing? Soldier first class cloud strife. Just remember your friend and you know, stop being so emo to everybody around you. Fuck you. <laughs> I think my first FF game was four. Let's go. Listen, you don't have all the facts about Cloud, mainly that I love him. See, I'm back to being okay with him again, because in the remake, he's a fucking incredible character. Um, he has like full on PTSD, which they show expertly. And he has like memory problems and all kinds of things. They deal with his mental health really well in the remake. Whereas in the original seven, not so much. And I heard like a lot of like the plot problems when it came to the original seven was like translation issues. Um, but yeah, they never really properly explain the Genova thing and the whole like alien from another world thing. <laughs> I just remember as a kid being like, ah, yes, the Genova's witnesses. I get this. <laughs> did you see the animation for it? Hell yeah, I did. The animation for Crisis Core, you mean, where Zack defends Cloud? That's the thing I mean. Oh, Zack worked so hard for Cloud. Uh, I can't say much more than that. I can't say much more than that. Ugh. But just, yeah, everything that happens like in seven is like me constantly screaming, Cloud, you fucking idiot. You had one job. Anyway, thank you for donating the Foo Funds Asami and I hope you have a lovely evening. But then I ended up loving school Leonard and then I ended up like getting back to Cloud, you know, now that the remake's happening and they're exploring is... PTSD and all the buried trauma that comes with Sephiroth and Soldier First Class and everything. It's like, hey, you know what? I judge you too harshly. You have good reason. You have better reason than school to be emo. How old is Cloud, by the way? Cloud Strife Age. Because I feel like Final Fantasy is another one of the... Yeah, he's only 21. Fuck me. <laughs> he's 15 and before Crisis? That's ridiculous. This is, uh, he's 21 and he's already like soldier first class, retired mutiny, going on revenge rampage. 21, but emotionally stunted. Yeah, I really wish Final Fantasy had like, oh, I wonder how old Clive was after all this time jumps. Clive Rossfield age. Let's see if they fixed this problem. <laughs> Clive Rossfield age. Do, 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 do. Starts is 16. Oh wait, starts at 15. Just give me the age numbers. You don't have to... Okay. Starts at 15. There's also a flashback to when he's 12. After the jump forward in time, Jill is roughly 25 years old. And he is roughly 30 years old. And Torgo is 18. Holy shit, Torgo is 18. But yeah, he's just barely 30. We finally got a Final Fantasy protagonist who isn't a fucking child. <laughs> he had facial hair, so they definitely make him at least 30. You can get facial hair when you're like 15. Some people are just, you know, it depends on the person. People from Gongaga are just built different. Me, Gongag. <laughs> Not in an FF game, you can't. Yeah, you're either a young Bishonen or you're an old man like Sid. There is no in between. <laughs> there is no in between. I guess you can argue like Angeal, maybe. Uh, even fucking Sephiroth and what's his face. The other one from Crisis Core and Dirge of Cerberus don't look super old. In FF15, they're past 30s in the time jump, at least. Yeah, that's what I mean. They're still pretty young. Well, Gladiolus and not Prompto, the other one. Bruh, Gladiolus and the other one might be like 25 to 30. Weiss? Who was Weiss? I don't even remember Weiss. Barrett is kind of an older adult. But do you like Barrett? <laughs> is my question. I never really vibed with Barrett. I don't know why. Like, even in the remake, he's just kind of loud. <laughs> the gun arm is sick. The powers he has is sick. I like his relationship with Marlene, but that's about it. It's pretty much just his relationship with Marlene, and then otherwise, he's just constantly like, Don't you hear the world crying? And it's like, Chill, dude. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of, yeah, it's the same feeling as like Zell to me. He's a funny guy, but I don't necessarily vibe with him. Only one of the four characters in FF15 has facial hair, and even then it's barely there. After the time jump, though, Noctis actually looks very sexy with his facial hair. He has stubble rather than a full beard, but it looks damn good. Vincent was over 50. 
Does it count, though? <laughs> Does it count, though? No spoilers, but I mean... Look, look at how he looks. <laughs> Score was gacked. Man. I don't know if they actually, like, based Score on gacked. I heard a, peop a few people saying that during the stream. I know for sure that they literally um, built... What's his name? The Loveless Guy. I still can't remember his name from Crisis Core. They built him essentially to look like Gact and to act like Gact. Genesis, thank you. God damn. I can remember the name of the play he always recited, and I can remember Dumb Apples, but I can't remember Genesis' name. Bum, bum, bum. That was Genesis. I heard Score was Tom Cruise. Fuck. I hate that I can kind of see that. That. That hurts my love of school Leonhard a little bit. <laughs> no! <laughs> he kind of looks like Tom Cruise in maybe Interview with the Vampire. When did Interview with the Vampire come out? Interview, not the television series. Fuck off. Interview with the Vampire movie. 1994. Okay, so that was five years before FF8. So yeah, I can kind of see that. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I mean, it's still a pretty face. I'll give him that. I'll give him that. A little. I still think Laguna has gender swapped Sandra Black. <laughs> Fuck, the face is so similar, actually. <laughs> oh my god. How dare. How dare. <laughs> interview was great. I loved the interview movie. I still haven't watched the show, to be fair. Um, it, it just seems very confusing to me how they changed so much of like the plot line for Interview with the Vampire, the TV series. I'll give it a go at some point. It may be really good. Um... But yeah, it just makes zero sense to me how they changed so much. And Anne Rice was apparently fine with that. Even though she was so against, like, fun fan fiction and fan art and all the other things. It's like, wow, she really changed, I guess. <laughs> She's fine when they're making all these changes. Interview movie stays in my mind. The movie was freaking fantastic. And the book is incredible. It's written so well. Every time they get inside Louis's head, it's such a good book from Anne Rice. Um... The stats POV is a bit more whiny, <laughs> a bit more pretentious. Louis hits like very poetic, like purple prose kind of speaking, but I still like it. Like everything feels very like tight. Whereas Lestat is just constantly like, oh, woe is me. I was sentenced to the dark for a couple thousand years. Oh, I hated it at that time. And then he turns into the fucking brat prince of the dead. <laughs> And just becomes like full. Fuck you. I do what I want. I'm a rock star now. <laughs> yeah. Then his storylines get more interesting and then eventually fucking crazy. <laughs> the stat is so dramatic. Yeah, he is. Sorry. Valley the sheepy sleep. Oh, God. I forgot you changed your name because I read it wrong once and now I can't read it properly. <laughs> New Gunblade funds. Thank you. Probably still won't buy one. Not at least until I move into a new house. And then I genuinely may go ahead and buy a Gunblade and a Master Sword. I might even, like, interlink them. <laughs> Fuck, maybe I'll buy a shield from something as well. Then I'll have the shield with the Gunblade and the Master Sword linked in front of the shield. I just need to decide what shield. Still hasn't noticed, Veli? I just said, Veli the Sheepy Sleep. It will, you used to be Sleepy Sheep. And I got it wrong, and now they've changed their name to it. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds and have a lovely evening. Casey Deedy. Daddy? Casey Daddy. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds. No message, but I hope you enjoyed the stream and have a lovely day. And enjoy Final Fantasy VII Rebirth tomorrow. Today? Tomorrow. Well, depending on your time zone. <laughs> hope you have a lovely time and enjoy it. Gunblade past Master Sword equals Gun Sword. I mean, the Gunblade is already a Gun Sword. <laughs> New house funds instead? Um, I'm working on that. I'm just finishing off my lease more than anything. I still didn't change my name. So it was always Sheepy Sleep? Oh, then I never read it wrong. I just doubted myself. <laughs> Either that or I read it as Sleepy Sheep for a long time. Um, my brain. <laughs> Alicia the Heart, thank you for donating the food funds. Happy belated second Noctix anniversary for China. Thank you for playing one of my favorite childhood games. You made it extra fun, numb and warm hugs for you, Fuchan. Thank you, Alicia the Heart. I love this game. I love fanboying about it. I'm trying not to spoil things while also talking about fans that enjoy things he still hasn't noticed. What the fuck? I don't get it. What did I miss? 
But thank you for donating the food funds, Alicia the Heart. Thank you for the anniversary wishes. Glad we got to celebrate our second anniversary together. Glad we got to do Noctix level up. I'm glad we got to do so much. Okay, you guys are just gaslighting me. I even went back to see if there was something in like the avatar. It's Veli the sheepy sleep. There's nothing weird with the avatar. Leave me alone. <laughs> I see it now. Get out of here. I refuse. I don't see anything wrong with it. Everything's completely normal. There's no silly joke. Y'all are trying to gaslight me. That's my job. Orange Jow Fua Fua Fuchan. Yep. What's you foo? Sadly still working, so I'll watch the VOD later. Ah, that's all good. It was a long one today. I mean, we're going to end up being around the eight hour mark. But I think we played for more like seven hours, 20. So yeah, not the 10 hours I was wondering. It's fine. <laughs> uh, uh, thank you for donating the foo funds and have a lovely evening. Shiki MSHTS. Loving 8 slash score and hating 7 slash cloud was my counterculture rebel teenage phase. I think that was part of it a lot as well, was the fact that I loved score and I wasn't a super fan of cloud. And I mean, 7 got like Dirge of Cerberus and then before Crisis and then I fell in love with Zack and that made me more angry at cloud. And they got like Advent Children and then they got the remake and it was just constantly like, okay, 7 was a good game. But can 8 get some love, please? <laughs> can we can we get school into Smash Bros, maybe? We have fucking Cloud in Smash Bros. And Sephiroth. FF7, truly the favorite child. Yeah, and I can't even blame them. FF7 seems to connect with a lot more people. I, I get that 8 is like kind of childish, kind of angsty, kind of tuny, but it's fine. Oh! There's Veli the sheepy sleep and Feli the sleepy sheep. I am such a fucking idiot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but nine got even less. Um, yeah, but I don't like nine. <laughs> I know there are a lot of people who would like defend themselves to their final breath saying they love nine. I'll play nine again at some point to see how it goes. FF7 is very of its time to be fair for it. Yeah. FF7's message, on the other hand, is just going to be there forever. But yeah. It's just, hey, maybe we should stop hurting the planet. That message came out 25 years ago. And we're still like, hey, guys. En environment. Uh, ozone layer. Global climate. Okay. Okay. We're still mining our Mako. 13 got tons of stuff, too. It did. That one was more egregious, to be fair. Because I feel like 10 had like a big release and people love 10. 13, it came out and people weren't super happy with it. And then they did a 13-2. And it was like, huh? And then they did a 13-3. And it was like, huh? <laughs> but I mean, then they made 14 and everybody loves 14 and 15. Eh. <laughs> 16 though. 15, I, you know, I, I'll still, I'll still fight to my end. That 15 up to chapter 7 is pretty fucking awesome. Um, it's after chapter 7 that it goes downhill. I really wish they would just, like, remake those parts of the game completely. And 16, 16 was amazing, but 16 didn't get, like, the big iconic release that, like, FF7 Remake and Rebirth have been given. Which is kind of sad, because I really liked 16. I liked the writing in it. The gameplay was freaking incredible. Did 13 have lightning? It did. Lightning, who is just essentially female Cloud. Like, mercenary. She's literally got the same face as Cloud in Advent Children. Uh, <laughs> she's just Cloud. And her name's literally Lightning. Um, she also, fun fact, did some modeling for, I think, Louis Vuitton. It was either Louis Vuitton or, like, it was either LV or um, Prada. I don't know. Some really fucking big fashion line. They like 3D modeled her and the clothes onto her and like the handbags and stuff. It was LV? Okay. So yeah, it was Louis Vuitton. She was technically a model for Louis Vuitton, even though she was virtual character. <laughs> Have you guys seen the new Sephiroth advert for the Cup Ramen? <laughs> that shit's fucking hilarious to me. Sephiroth comes down with his fucking fox ears on and offers Cloud a thing of, of, of ramen. And it's just like, here, Cloud. 
You'll never escape the delicious taste of this ramen. <laughs> Donbe Udon, thank you. Of Donbe Udon. <laughs> and Cloud's just like, eh, No, I can't resist. And he's just like, Donbe, Donbe, Donbe. <laughs> Cloud's just screaming in the background. Sephiroth would eat ramen? I don't think he would. That's the funny thing. I think Sephiroth's a very much like clean eating kind of guy. <laughs> Cloud definitely would. Cloud would eat whatever gave him enough calories to get through the next fight. Calling him a good boy too. Oh, fuck. I forgot that. Yeah, the final line is him just being like, after, after Cloud eats some of it, he's just like, good boy. <laughs> oh, my God. Fun fact. Originally, Vanille was planned to be the protagonist of 13. People like lightning in the air to promotion so much that they changed it. Oh, my God. I liked Vanille. Wait, was Vanille the sister? Wait, no, that was Sarah. Which one is Vanille? Vanilla Final Fantasy. Was he the little boy? Oh, it was the other pink haired girl. <laughs> no wonder I forgot her. It's the one with the dragoon. Vanilla was annoying. She didn't annoy me, but she wasn't very interesting. I liked her accent. Her and the dragoon had the really nice. They were either Australian or New Zealand accents. But either way, it was a beautiful accent. Um, I liked the voices. Selfie 2.0, pretty much. <laughs> Vanilla was sweet. Yeah, she just wasn't very interesting. Whereas, like I said, Lightning is just basically female Cloud. So it's like, eh. People liked Cloud. Put her in. <laughs> Vanilla and Yunfang were so cute together. Yeah, they were adorable. Fang is such a badass. Fang, I remember 100%. Wouldn't have remembered her by name, though. That's why I was just like, the Dragoon. <laughs> I remember her looks entirely in the spear. But yeah, I don't remember the kid's name either. He became important in 13-2, I think. Not Snow, because Snow was the dude who wanted to marry Sarah. Hope, thank you. I didn't like Hope. He was annoying. He was obnoxious. I didn't want him around. There were a lot of things about 13 I didn't like. Shiki MSHTS. Loving 8 slash school and hating... Oh, wait. It was my counter closure. Sorry. I immediately jumped onto that and went completely off tangent. I've mellowed out a lot now, and yes, Remake Cloud is excellent. He really is. I like his interactions with Tifa and Aerith a lot too. Like the PTSD is what gets me the most because they've handled that very well in my opinion. I like seeing him have his little breakdowns as fucked up as that sounds. <laughs> but it's leading into some very interesting stuff when it comes to um, the proper breakdown when you get, oh, well, I can't spoil anything. But later around, like, the beginning of Disc 3, the end of Disc 2 for FF7. Yeah, that'll add up into that very well. Um, so, yeah. I like that. And I like the cute little interactions between him and Aerith and Tifa. Aerith and Tifa both just teasing him, which I find really cute. Like, normally you just expect the stupid love triangle thing where it's like, he's going to be my boyfriend. No, he's going to be my boyfriend. But instead, they're just both happy to tease him, which is awesome. I love their relationship with each other as well. <laughs> and then there was Jesse. Jesse was hot as shit in FF7 Remake, which made zero sense to me because she was like a nothing in the original FF7. <laughs> it was suddenly like, oh shit, maybe she's a real love interest. <laughs> you could even go on a date with her as long as you did things right. Jesse was thirsting. Yeah, she was. God damn, her model was incredible. But yeah, I don't think she'll appear much in Rebirth. <sighs> she was in the game for like 10 minutes in the OG. Yeah, she was basically one of these people on the train. <laughs> Not Rhinoa, but the other two guys. <laughs> she was just there. She was a member of... What were they even called? Avalanche. She was a member of Avalanche, and then she was just gone. Jesse was in the desert for Cloud. <laughs> Jesus. You're not wrong, but poor Jesse. <laughs> That's another one of those games where it's like... My man is right there. Well, shit. What was his name? Jesse. Who's the other guy she hangs out with? Because he's good looking as well. But also, I'm pretty sure he's just not interested in anything. Biggs. It's actually Biggs, isn't it? Wait. Oh, shit. Biggs and Wedge are both in that fucking game. I forgot that's a Biggs and Wedge. <laughs> Fuck. Johnny? Exactly. Johnny. <laughs> that's what everybody knows him as. But yeah, no. Biggs is... Kind of damn fine. I just... I don't know. Everything about the way he acted around Jesse, the way he shut her down and also shut Cloud down. Like, she had the moment of being like, oh, maybe Cloud's more your type. And he was just like, nah. But at the same time, he wasn't flirting with Jesse either. 
I just feel like he's probably ace. Wedge VA is Badger from Breaking Bad? I, I've not watched enough Breaking Bad to know that. I watched like the first few episodes of season one. I never got too into it. <laughs> Big's got a glow up from the OG as well. Yeah, he became a beast. He was a fun character. So were Wedge and Jesse. They faked out their... Oh, I won't say anything. Sorry, we're going to move on. I keep almost going into spoilers from 7 and 8. I'll hold back. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. I see foo! Yay, Final Fantasy VIII. Also, sorry for going off topic, but belated congrats to you and Noctix for your second anniversary and new song. You are completely fine to go off topic as long as we're done with the game. Um, it's only annoying if people like continuously post like the same things that are off topic and are just like not getting that I just don't want to bring it up and be interested. So yeah, no, once we get into the Zatsudan section, feel free to talk about anything. I dare you spoil a 20-year-old game. For all I know, Reimu's here right now. Reimu's still playing FF7. And then she's going to work her way through all of them. <laughs> I'm glad this 16 dragged her into the Final Fantasy hole because there are so many good Final Fantasies. But yeah, she's playing FF7 because she wants to play Remake and Rebirth. But she was told, thankfully, by people, no, it's not the same thing. You need to play the original. Play the original and then you'll actually like the story so much more of Remake. <laughs> Which should not have been called Remake. That shit was mean. They should have called that one Rebirth and then found more rewords after. Yeah, it's cheating. Anyway, <laughs> um, ba -ba -bum. a new song. I really loved your rap ad libs. By the way, curious, what was the line after Uki's Never Will Die? Was it We Live? Never Will Die? Let me listen, actually. I'm allowed to play this on stream because they can't really copyright claim me for my own song. <sighs> Noctix, break free. So from the rap bit, yeah, one of the ad libs. No, I don't want to hear a fucking advert. God damn it. <laughs> Give me two minutes. She wanted to play a remake first, but couldn't get... Oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Um, But yeah, I'm glad she's playing the original FF7 now. You'd be surprised it happened to Eden before. They copyright claim me, but I mean, as long as you tell management, they're like, okay, we'll get that fixed up. Okay, let me listen to the rap bit. What is it after? Never will die. Oh, it's just yeah, yeah. It's nothing. <laughs> it's nothing will die. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they actually had me record a ton of those. They only used the ones that f they thought felt the were the like, the best fitting. But like, I had like, I did a bunch of those ones where it was just like the same lines that Uki said, just like never will die, will die, shit like that. But I also had a couple like. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. Oh boy. Here we go. That kind of shit. I'm imagining they did that kind of stuff for Albin as well. <laughs> they had us just like play through the rap parts like three times. Um, at least for me, we played through the rap parts like three times. They were like, okay, you can just repeat like the final lines for them or you can just make shit up. Like, so yeah, I was just sitting there for like a good 10 minutes with Kanada Okajima san just being like, yeah. Oh yeah. Baby. Just making shit like that happen. <laughs> she was laughing her ass off. <laughs> Why do these sound like gameplay voice lines? I mean a very similar thing. If you've ever heard any voice actor talk about when they record for any kind of character in a game that just like says the same thing a bunch of times, like any of those kind of kill phrases or any of those kind of grunts, they could sometimes sit there for like five hours just recording damage noises. So for five hours, they can be there in a photo booth just being like, uh, 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 for like five hours. I cannot fucking imagine that shit. I, that would destroy me. <laughs> and there are people that have to do like full on like death noises for a couple of hours at a time, which means not just doing a little like, uh, but doing like a full on, uh, or, no, please! Ah, kind of shit. Like, I can't imagine what they did to the people doing the... The Last of Us 2, that had some of the best fucking death noises. Like, some of those people, if you shot them in the head or the throat, they full-on, like, death rattled. You got, like, the full-on, like... Ah, kind of sounds. I can't even imagine. Out of context, that's crazy. Yeah, and for, like, a bunch of, like, fighting games and stuff, things like Devil May Cry, where they have to, like, have a bunch 
of voice lines ready to go so they can interchange them whenever they need to. Yeah, that would just be saying things like, Here comes the big boss! Get ready! Yeah, I'm gonna fuck you up! Check out my ultimate technique! You're going down! That kind of shit, just for like hours. Just so that they can use whichever ones they want. <laughs> Slot them in and not be so boring. Unlike... I mean, I think everybody knows the fucking horror that is Shulk in Xenoblade Chronicles. That does the full on like, I fight for my friends. I won't lose. You're going down every fucking battle. <laughs> I fight for my wait, I fight for my friends is Ike, actually. What's his iconic line? There's some line that he never, never, ever shuts up about. He says it like at the beginning of every battle in that game, and you have to play a lot of battles in that game. Anyway, that's why they do that. It's so they have a bunch of things they can interchange in, so it's not just every time you use this technique, it's the same voice line. Because then you want to kill the character. <laughs> so many people wanted to make Shulk walk right off an edge. Oh my god. Anyway. <laughs> I'm really feeling it. That was it. That was it. Backslash. Backslash as well. Backslash, I feel like, is more of a... I don't know if he said it that much in the main game, but he definitely, he says that a fucking lot in Smash Bros. But yeah, the, I'm really feeling it. It was just all the fucking time, man. I'm really feeling it. I'm really feeling it. I'm really feeling it. And I think they did that as well with Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which made zero sense because they must have heard what people said about number one. <laughs> but they did it again anyway. This is the Monado's power. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know why. The Xenoblade character. Well, actually, I do know why the Xenoblade characters are European. It's because Xenoblade Chronicles, as well as one of my other favorite games of all time, uh, Pandora's Tower, um, and also The Last Story, all never came out in America. And they did this thing called Project Rainfall, where they like begged for them to be released internationally. And they eventually released them at least to the UK. So the UK and Europe got them, but America still didn't for a long time. <laughs> but because of that, because they were only going to release in Europe, they just hired a bunch of like European voice actors to do it. Which is why those three games specifically are just like full of British people. <laughs> Don't know any of the other ones you mentioned. Oh, Pandora's Tower is freaking amazing. I'm definitely going to play that at some point. I actually got permissions to do it a long time ago. I just still haven't felt the kind of feeling like I had with FF8 recently where I'm like, okay... Now's the time. I need this. This will heal me. <laughs> but yeah, Pandora's Tower. Um, essentially, you and your girlfriend run away from a place where I think they were trying to marry her off or something. Or just she was cursed or something. But either way, she's got a curse. This isn't spoilers, by the way. This is just the basic beginning of the story. Uh, she turns into a monster if you don't keep feeding her other monsters' flesh. Uh, so you have to like go into this tower, which is full of monsters hunt your way to like a bunch of monster flesh and then come home and feed her monster flesh. It's pretty fucked up. And if you don't do it enough, like if you don't get back to her every 12 hours in game time, which is something like three hours, I think, in real world time, you come back and she's already a monster. You lose the game. She's just already gone. You can't feed her anything anymore. Vaguely remember there was a curse so dark. It's a really good storyline. It's a really good mechanic. The one thing I didn't like about it, it originally came out on Wii, and you had to use the Wii Mote to control where you like shot your chain whip attack. And oh god, is that not annoying to control? <laughs> Cursed or married, similar feel. <laughs> I mean, either way, it's a thing you can never get away from. <laughs> but yeah, that was that 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 was the line after um never will die. It's just yeah yeah. It's not even we live, it's just yeah yeah. <laughs> Not Poopa? Yeah, let's not talk about Poopa. Poopa is a problem. Catherine taught us that. That's another one I wish we could play. Catherine's relationship drama is actually handled well. Until you realize that Vincent needs to just stop being a man-child. I mean, that's the whole fucking point of the story. Is, hey, Vincent, quit being a fucking man-child. <laughs> Either settle down or break up with your steady girlfriend and be with the young girl. But fucking hell, pick one, you damn man-child. Saku, thank you for donating the food funds. Captain Malice Miser era has an outfit and hairstyle that looks exactly like school, but I think it was after FF8. To be fair, I do know Gact is a fan of the Final Fantasy series, even before he became Genesis, so it's quite possible that he based his outfit on school, or it's quite possible that just like 
Oh, he may have even worked with Amano. Amano has done some big, high, prolific things outside of Final Fantasy as well. Jack was always a huge nerd. That's how we like him, man. The one that surprises me the most is still Henry Cavill. The fact that Henry Cavill knows everything about The Witcher and everything about Warhammer 40k and so much about Warcraft. Like, I was shocked. <laughs> Dude is huge and, and he knows his shit about DC as well. Dude is huge, but he is also crazy nerdy. <laughs> and Vin Diesel is like super into Dungeons and Dragons as well, which is always a fun thing for people to find out. Like he was even on the Dungeons and Dragons voice actor show Critical Role. They did a special thing called Dean Diesel, which was really good. Um, he played his character from The Last Witch or something and played like a du Dungeons and Dragons game with them. Um, ba -bum. Same with TM Revolution. I didn't know TM Revolution was a huge nerd. I love his anime openings though. TM Revolution has one of those voices where it's just like so action sounding. I don't know how to explain it, but it reminds me of like Sonny's voice, Shu's voice, people that can hit like the high notes, but is it like with the rock kind of vocals. I don't know the words for it. He belts. Belting! That's the day. Hey, that's the term everyone uses. Yeah, okay. People that can belt are fucking impressive for me. So worried for more Witcher without Cavill? Yeah. I'm going to try the new series, but I'm not expecting to like it too much. We'll see how it goes. I mean, Cavill was the one who really wanted it to actually stay closer to the books and closer to the games, and they booted him, but uh, maybe it'll be good. I didn't like some of the things they did with Yennefer, but some of the story parts were still good. And so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Peppy4, thank you for donating the full funds and thank you for this adorable asset. I love my confidant fur collar. <laughs> Even though I guess it's a wool collar, but close enough. <laughs> thank you for donating the food funds. Um, foo. Oh no. Fua, fua, uh, fua, 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 fua. Shitemasne. Oh, it's fluffy, isn't it? Fua fua, like fua fua time. It is. It's very fluffy. Thank you so much. It doesn't smell great, but it's it feels amazing around my neck. Very relaxing. It was the scenty sheep. <laughs> God, I'll call it a scenty sheep. It's only three sheeps. It's oh God, that is how many they did for the human centipede. No, <laughs> now it. No, they're just holding on to each other. They're just holding it to each other's hoofs. It's okay. It's a scented sheep. Uh, it's not scented. I can tell you that much. Ah, <sighs> sounds like sheep. At least it's not wet. Maybe if you brushed us, we'd be cleaner. These ones I can't brush. The hair needs to be gelled. It needs to look like spiky hair. <laughs> Why well, don't wash it if it doesn't smell great? I mean, I could just throw them out the window. Let them get rained on. I do have a dishwasher. I could throw them in the dishwasher. Why did you smack your lips though, Fuchan? I did it. Sniff? I don't remember smacking my lips. I did. Fair enough. But thank you for donating the food funds, Peppy Ford. Thank you for the beautiful asset. I hope you have a wonderful evening and please rest well. Dishwasher? Yeah, it gets things clean. Some very hot scalding water in there. It'll deal with everything. No problem. <laughs> They're not your cyanets. Exactly. I worry more about my cyanets. These things, they'll be fine. I don't have to worry about them. They'll survive. <laughs> Shiki MHS, uh, MSHDS. When Remake Cloud says, Let's dance, a-hole. Yeah. The Cloud voice actor does a really good job of doing like pure no emotion, but also having a really rich voice. I wish I could hit those kind of tones that he hits. Um, I feel like Vanto would be good at doing a voice like that because he has the natural, very rich, very deep voice as is. So if he just made his voice monotone, I think he could do a pretty good cloud. Dishwasher roasted lamb. Next new fat off the dishwasher steak. Oh, God. Sheep has a scar on it. Yeah, one time I accidentally left a knife in the dishwasher when I put him in. It didn't go great. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds, Shiki, and I hope you have a lovely evening. Please rest well. No ween, small guy. Thank you for donating the food funds. No message and no super sticker, but thank you so much for being here. Thank you for supporting us. And I hope you have a lovely evening. And rain the food chan sheep. Same thing. 
no message but thank you so much for being here i hope you have a lovely evening rest well thank you so much accidentally i mean yeah i didn't want to leave a knife in there with the sheep that's almost murder you like to treat sheep as dishes but dishwasher eh? <laughs> i treat sheep as food oh i get what you mean by dishes that's actually a good line shit fuck nine out of ten claudines it took me like a full second to get it too ah oh, i feel like a dumbass asami thank you for donating the food funds thank you for naming the gf diabolos roxy Tuscaru fuchan totsu yeah, now he gets to sleep in the pet house if I ever needed to heal him up. That is a very voxy coded character. I think I'll probably name Bahama if we get Bahama. I can't even remember if Bahama's in this game. I feel like he is. Maybe he's Bahama Zero. Um, but if we do, that's got to be a Lyra. Um, if we get a bird, maybe Enna. Oh, we already had Quetzalcoatl. But maybe the Chocobo. <laughs> if we get the Choco, yeah. That's going to be named Anna. That'll piss her off. That's fantastic. <laughs> no problem, Asami. I'm glad you enjoyed it. We got Siren. Oh, yeah. That technically is more Anna than anything else in this game. She is the bird singer of harmony. Bird singer of paradise. I don't know. I forget what it was. Something about bird of paradise. Bird of paradise. Luvea Lucid Avenblu. Hi, foo! You started streaming before I went to class, go to work, and got out of work. Oh, shit. Anyway, have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye, you. Yeah, I'm actually so freaking hungry right now. My stomach has been physically hurting for like the last two hours. But I was just like, hey, we'll finish the train mission. Then I was like, maybe we'll do more than the train mission. And then there were cards to get and stuffs and... Yeah. <laughs> this is the longest stream we've done in a while. <laughs> the sun is completely fucking set fun times but it's fine we have a day off tomorrow i'll recover this is why i scheduled a day off after this it was mainly so people could catch up if they want to watch the rest of the parts oh just give themselves a chance to watch the first episode but also yeah so i can sleep after this I'll be okay oh no he's hungry run sheep run uh you guys are fine i had lamb 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 chops lamb shanks yesterday took a picture of it so that can go up on my next month's <laughs> image of lamb meat no, it's not going to be lamb meat. It's going to be a bunch of different things this time. <laughs> Last time it was pure lamb, though. You do know how food is allowed during streams, right? Even if it's not your habit. Yeah, but then some people cause shit in the comments or just, just, just in the chat. Some people be like, ew, mouth sounds disgusting, piss off kind of thing. And it's like, eh, I'll just wait. It's fine. It's, it's only just over eight hours now. This is fine. This is fine. My, I'm sure my blood sugar's doing fine. I'm not feeling like headachey or tired or anything. I'm just hungry. It's all good. Anyway, thank you for donating the food funds, Luavea Lucid Ivan Blue. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day too. Thank you so much. You can have a smoothie at least. That would actually be fucking genius. <laughs> I used to start every day with a smoothie from Panera Bread. Man, those are too expensive. But I could make my own smoothies. I could pre-make like a bunch of them and use them over like five days. Oh. That would be really healthy too. That's like all the vitamins and minerals I need. And then I don't have to worry about streaming until like 5 or 6 p.m. Skipping lunch. Huh. You've given me something to think about. <laughs> Big brain energy? Yeah, maybe the then the broin will stop not broining after like three to four hours too. I mean, I think it's fine once we get to eight hours if I'm just saying stupid shit. But yeah, when it's only been four hours and I'm like messing up words, that's not great. That's not great. <laughs> Luvea, thank you so much for donating the food funds. I hope you have a lovely evening. Please rest well and take it easy. Love that I can finish work and you're still streaming. I mean, this isn't much longer than our normal streams end. We normally end like two to three hours before this, which isn't... I mean, that's the average stream length for some people, but... <laughs> I don't know. I enjoy streaming and we play lots of long games. We don't play as many games that are just like drop in, drop out kind of Minecrafty stuffs or like the one off games that are like two to three hours long. We need to do more of that. But the next two weeks are Final Fantasy weeks. Bum, ba -da -bum. Okay, Ske, thank you for donating the food funds. Not over the fact that you can speed up shit and remastered. I've been playing this game in normal speed dying. <laughs> I feel so stupid. Wait, do you have remastered and you just never found out you could fast forward things? Because that would be painful. But I mean, if you're playing it at normal speed and you don't have the remastered version, that's completely fine. I mean, 
that's how we all had to play it originally. And I'm not going to lie. Drawing magic for like an hour at a time do be kind of sucky. <laughs> Especially that point when I suddenly got two new party members and I was like, ah, here we go again. <laughs> no, you're going to have to be drawing things for another 20 minutes. 20 minutes is pretty bad. And that's with the triple speed. I do have remastered and I'm stupid. Oh, you're not stupid. They only tell you that once. I mean, they give you tutorials for everything else in the game. But when it comes to like the speed up and also the battle boost that you can get, you can just cheat through the game if you want to. So, I mean, it's not even just like quality of life things. They straight up said, hey, you want to finish the game, but you can't beat an enemy? Here you go. You can unlock infinite health, infinite magic, infinite time. It's crazy. Anyway, thank you for donating the food funds, okay, Sky. I hope you're enjoying it even. Well, now you know you can go three times speed. So I hope it works out. <laughs> Baby mode for real? Yeah. I mean, I get why they do things like that. That's the thing. You don't have to use the cheats, but if you want to, there's always that option. I liked back in the days when all games used to have like cheats and you just had to be told the code by someone. Like, hey, did you know if you press up, up, down, down, left, left, right, right, B, A, B, A, Y? Boom. You get a super power up. You get an unlock thing where you get big head mode and you get like a bunch of healing items and you can change things in the debug menu. Shit like that was crazy. And then there were the lies back before the internet was a big thing. Oh God. I remember running around in the original Lara Croft Tomb Raider for so fucking long because so many people had convinced me <laughs> there was a way to see some really... 18 plus things in that game which i mean they were just polygons anyway nothing looked particularly good but my little teenage brain was like yes i need it i think it was something about like have you had to like go into you had to beat the game be in lara croft's estate go into like the meat freezer or something interact with the meat three times and then do a backflip off of the diving board and I remember hearing about that and being like, that's so stupid. And then trying to do it for like two hours. <laughs> God damn it. Desperate but understandable. The things we do when we are horny teenagers. Hormones are not fun. <laughs> but yeah, in the days of the internet, at least as soon as somebody posts something like that, you can instantly have like 10 people saying he's lying. I tried so many times. I can't even imagine how many people tried that back then. Don't we still need it? I mean, <laughs> that's so stupid while wearing the clown hat. Exactly. That's what I mean. I'm just sitting there like, wait, no. you guys are idiots. There's no way that's actually in the game. If you do that, you're just wasting your time. Anyway, let me spend my next two hours of my life doing this exact operation. Meat locker, you say? Interact with, dive off the backboard. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, that's so me. I'm also the person who... I, okay. I'm not sure if I've told this story before. Did I ever tell you guys how I... Hmm. No, this is an 18 plus. Well, I mean, my community in general is 18 plus. Um, did I ever tell you guys how I found out the Santa Claus isn't real? Did, did I ever tell you guys that? I don't know why I like had to double check myself to be like, can I talk about Santa Claus not being real? That's so fucking dumb. No? Okay, good. So this is one of my incredibly stupid stories from when I was a child and perfectly illustrates how much of a smart ass piece of shit I was as a gifted and talented bored child in primary school. Um, so one of my friends in primary school went around like telling all the children in class, Sanny isn't real, you know? <laughs> it was when we were like in like the first year of primary, so reception. So I was either like four or five. And one of my friends at the time was going around telling the other kids, he isn't real. We were doing some sort of project where we were like writing our Christmas lists or writing thank you letters to Santa. And this other kid was just going around telling everyone, he isn't real. You guys are idiots for doing that. And me being a smart ass, I was going around doing the same thing because I heard him say it and I was like, I'm not stupid. Yeah, Santa Claus isn't real, dumbasses. Not dumbasses. It was probably like, you booger eaters. <laughs> Anyone who believes in Santa is a child. You should be two years old in the nursery, not four years old in reception, you nerds. That kind of thing. And one of the teachers came over to both of us and like said, Hey boys, can I talk to you in the corner? Took us both over to the corner, like really respectfully, really good for a teacher. 
separated us from the other children and just like knelt down and very quietly whispered to us like, Okay, I know your parents told you about Santa not being real, but a lot of the other children don't know that yet. So don't ruin their Christmases. And I'm just there like... Santa really isn't real. <laughs> I I think I started crying in front of the teacher. I'm pretty sure she thought I was crying because she thought I'd like I thought I'd been told off. Um, but yeah, no, I was crying because I was like, Santa really isn't real. Well, where do my letters go? Am I not getting presents? Uh, uh. <laughs> And that's why you don't be a smart ass, kids. <laughs> so yeah, that's how I found out Santa wasn't real. I was like four or five years old. It must have only been like, okay, December. So we start school in like the end of September in the UK. So only like two months into my school journey. Two months into my school journey, I went running, crying home to my mom like, You lied to me. Santa isn't real. Come on, I feel so stupid. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. Baby Fu got Uno reversed. See, that's the funny thing. The rest of the kids in the class, they didn't know why I was crying. They they were fine with me and the other kid being like, Santa's in real, you idiots. Because they were just like, you're just trying to put us on the naughty list. We're going to be nice to Santa. Screw you, turd eaters. So yeah, none of them believed that Santa wasn't real, but I got told the deep truth. <laughs> At age four. Villain arc starts. You know what? Maybe that is when I started to hate Christmas. <laughs> I was too young, man. I was too young to have that innocence ripped away. Then I found out about the Easter Bunny and Toothberry like immediately after because I remember talking to my parents and being like, wait a minute. Were the Tooth Fairy and Easter Bunny real? <laughs> You guys been lying to me about everything? <laughs> no wonder I had a fucking existential dread moment at like six to seven years old. Oh man, I learned to question things early. <laughs> Chain reaction, yeah. I mean, at that point, how can you really hide it? You gotta sit there and tell a four-year-old, okay, I know you know that Santa isn't real. But yeah, totally, the Easter Bunny... 100% real. Tooth Fairy, she sneaks into your room and gives you money. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> that would have been so much worse when I later found out that wasn't true. <laughs> God damn it. Kushami, thank you for donating the Foo Funds. Atsufuchanya. I just accidentally fell asleep and dreamed that you were shaving off our wool to make a bikini to wear. I understand the shaving off the wool. Why would I make a bikini? <laughs> How dare. Um, I woke up scared. As you should, Kashami. Live in fear. Maybe I will make a fur bikini. Well, no, it would be a wool bikini. Maybe I will make a wool bikini someday. For a video. Well, the goddess could probably pull it off, honestly. Shepherd and archivist, probably not. Some people would like to see them in it. Eh, the goddess could probably pull it off. A video definitely could. I need more for. Uh, the video needs to look like a badass. Anyway, thank you for donating the food funds, Kushami. Have a lovely evening. Rest well. And thank you so much for being here. No, 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 no. I'd like to think that artists realize that doing that would just be a waste of their time. Um, Do not do that, artists. I don't want you to waste your time. I will not wear it. It would look very silly. <laughs> and I'd probably get demonetized. So no, maybe someday I'll get an official model. But... <laughs> no, I'm not going to get an official bikini model either. Baini. Hey, Foo. Noctix's new song is so good. Everyone did amazing. Thank you for the hard work. I'm really happy and proud to be a confidant. Take care of yourself. Thank you so much, Baini. I'm so glad to hear it. I really like that song. It's such a good earworm. It gets stuck in your head so good. Not even a bikini. That does make it feel more tempting, but no. No. <laughs> Next time, Summer Goods is Foo in a bikini. That I'm fine with. If they want to make it an official piece of art, that I'm fine with. That's up to them. Shit, I've still been begging them to give me a, 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 a hug pillow. Or like some more risque stuff. We had the booba window in the two-year thing. Um, We had armpit in the anime impulse thing. We've had like thighs and legs nowadays. We, we're getting there. We're getting there bit by bit. Um, Give it time. Give it time. Bum, 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 bum. Take care of yourself too, Bainy. Thank you so much for donating the food funds and I hope you have a lovely evening. 
Um, I was considering, 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 considering. I was considering continuing for a while. I had a topic I wanted to jump into, but that's kind of spoilers for some next week's stuff. So I'll shut up. <laughs> I will shut up and we will finish today as we are. We did a lot of gaming today. We did a decent amount of Zatsudan after actually as well. About an hour after the seven and a half hours of gameplay. Okay, so we're going to head off for now. Tomorrow, I have a day off, but you know what is happening tomorrow? Something on Pio-chan's channel. I've been calling it his dog drop, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not dog drop. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Just show up to that, I guess. I'm excited. Um, And yeah, other than that, the day after tomorrow, we're back playing Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> And then we're doing Folga Two Day Fan Appreciation on Saturday, and then on Sunday, more Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> you can't escape the Final Fantasy VIII, so I hope you guys are strapped in for the ride. And then Goose Goose Duck in the evening, hopefully. Um, it looked like we were gonna have Goose Goose Duck. A couple of people. Uh, we might not have enough people. We'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys updated on that one. But I'm hoping we get Goose Goose Duck. Anyway, that's the plan for the week. Thank you guys for being here. I hope you enjoy your day off tomorrow. Hope you enjoy Pio Chan's thing. Hope you enjoy the week in general. I'll be back on Friday. So have a lovely evening. Rest well. As always, do not be led astray, my confidants. And I will catch you guys next time. And the chat's broken on here too. What the heck, chat? Come back. There we go. <laughs> Much better. Okay. On the way out, I'd like to... Oh, shit. Try Princess. Thank you for donating food funds. No message, but thank you so much for donating. And Miss Munchkin's overheater. Sorry, I can't believe I missed these two. Shiro and Bleep Bleep swim trunks, though? That would actually be adorable. Not Shiro and Bleep Bleep in swim trunks. But, like, Shiro and Bleep Bleep, like, one half of the leg of the swim trunks is, like, black with like the red lightning, the red lion heartbeat on it. And then one is black with like a red lightning bolt over the eye. Oh my God, that would be adorable. Interesting. <laughs> Thank you for the idea. Thank you for donating the food funds and I hope you have a lovely evening. Okay. As usual on the way out, I'd like to say thank you to everybody who joined the membership today, including Claudine's Hakuku. And thank you again for the beautiful thumbnail. It's so amazing. I love it so much. Kian Jimenez. Yo, thank you for the artwork you do as well. I love seeing your art, Kian. Um, ba -bum. E, welcome back to the membership for a year. Happy anniversary. Kodama Kido. I wonder if that means you started at the anniversary last year. Jesse Nordy, thank you so much for donating the membership. Claudine, thank you so much for donating 10 gifted membership to the sheep, mem the, the sheep pile. Hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you for all the gifteds and please rest well. Also forgot, congrats on the necklace selling out twice. They already restocked it and it sold out again. Holy shit. Thank you guys. I hope you guys get your merchandise soon. Thank you for all the support. I wonder how many times the chopsticks have sold out because those were going hard. <laughs> but thank you guys. I hope you enjoy the necklaces. I can't wait for them to send me my own one. I might. Maybe I'll take a picture of dog wearing it. Since I know you guys will like seeing dog wearing it. And the only other thing I might attach it to is like... I like phone charms, but I think I'm going to make mine a key ring. Because I don't want another necklace. <laughs> I have my sleeping lion heart necklace. And that's actually it. <laughs> I used to have a bunch of necklaces back in my tuny day. I used to have like a little wing, a little feather, a couple of different things. But yeah, I think I'll take a picture of like dog wearing it. Just hope he doesn't bite it and swallow it before I can get it out of his mouth. We'll see. <laughs> Billy Bala, Billy Bam, welcome back to the membership. Dreahid, Erica, Kairos Akuma, Moonflower, Joy H, Sha Mie Mie, Maybe I'm a Lion, Mochi, welcome back to the membership. Kara, Ginger, Irari, Kanami Skazesli. Wait, it's Kanami Skazesli. It's the S-A-Z-K thing that I don't quite know how to pronounce, so I'm sorry. Konami Skelly? Yumi, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. I hope you enjoyed the stream today, and I hope you have a lovely evening. Inori, welcome back. 
Toium. Oh, and Luthia, thank you so much for donating the food funds. Congrats for the virtual Rhapsody event, Fuchan. Looking forward to it. Oh, shit, I didn't talk about that yet. Um, yeah, me and Pio-chan are doing a virtual Rhapsody event in, um, virtual Rhapsody HK. Um, we're doing an interactive stage, which I can't explain to you guys yet, but when I found out what it was, I was like, that's fucking sick. <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to it. I actually misspelled Lamal, but you pronounced it correctly. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, the virtual stage should be very interesting. I hope they release like what we're actually doing soon because having to hold that back for the last few weeks has been kind of wild. I'm so excited. Miss Munchkins, Overheater. Welcome back to the membership. Hi, Toa. Ellen Yar, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. MJ Lim, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. You, welcome back to the membership. And Saku, I'm sorry I didn't get to read this one at the beginning of stream. Sending my super now because work's going to get me. Ooh, I'm so excited to watch you play this. I don't know many who like FF8, but I love the draw system and a lot. I could play triple triad for hours. Super excited. <laughs> well, we did a lot of drawing and we did a lot of triple triad today. So <laughs> I hope you enjoy the VOD, Saku. I saw you were here earlier. So yeah, I hope you didn't get too many spoilers. I guess if you already played the game and you love it, you're all good. But yeah, thank you for joining us later, and I hope you have a lovely day. And finally, you welcome back to the membership, and Udaha, welcome back to the membership. I hope you all have a lovely evening. Let's see if I can raid anybody on the way out. I should be able to. It's super late now. It's officially eve. Are you serious? Why do I ever open my fucking mouth? <laughs> no one? <laughs> okay, um... Yeah, okay, we just won't raid today. I'm not going to look into who's streaming next. This is fine. <laughs> this is fine. Um, Yan Yan, thank you so much for joining the membership at the last second. Thank you so much. Um, I'm on break tomorrow, so everybody have a lovely day without me. Have a lovely evening. <laughs> As always, do not be led astray, my confidants. And I will catch you guys next time. For more Final Fantasy VIII, at which point, yeah, we'll be going to the TV station. Look forward to that. And bye-bye. I'm going to get me some good dinner after this. I hope you guys do too. Get some good food. Make sure you hydrate. And for the love of God, get some sleep. <laughs> what time is it in your place? Not too late. It's evening. It's dinner time. That's what I'll say. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. Bye-bye.